show. show. RTM podcast show. To the world and girls. Young Spree, Queen Ice Cream. I hear me. In Northwest London, born and raised. In Kilburn is where she spent most of her days. Of day. Chilling out, matching, relaxing, all queening. Then her and Mafiella did start diva twinning. And young spray well, I was up to no good. No good. Always making trouble in the neighborhood. What? Did a one liquor ups and the judge didn't care. He said, I'm sending you to prison right now for two years. I blew my mama kissing them when I saw tears. The face showed the limit of the face you could bear. If anything, I could say the sentence went fair. But I thought, nah, forget it. Your mom had no fear. Have no fear, mama. I know I'm only 16, but I'm built for this. Built for this. Uh, That's Yo, I pulled up to the jail around 7 or 8 and I yelled to the sweat. What's your, your fam, fam link you later? You later. Welcome to Feltham, I was finally here. Yeah. They took me to Swallow and it started from there. Yeah. That's where it all started, man. You're just like me, I'm just like you. I was a bad you too. Bad you too. But you could change, man. You can change, have faith, have faith. RTM. RTM. We did a more, did a more. Yo, this is. Yo, fam, I've never been a one for no loose lips I remember getting spun, feeling stupid For ten years I've been locked, see the blueprint I'm verified in these jails with my blue tip So much pain, I'm like, God, why'd you do this? Car never took his life and that's true shit But they still gave me life in these units I lost my life in the Bailey as a school kid I say a prayer for them youths that I beat up I roll them B caps, calm with my feet up. I'm in a C cap dog getting peas up. I need a D cap bus and a reefer so I can smoke that straight to the halo. I wasn't there when they put nanny by the gravestone. I wasn't there when my mommy had that chemo. So much stress in my heart when I see road. People always say they'll visit, I don't see them. Everyone's a fucking gimmick, I don't need friends. Everyone is screaming, free me, it don't make sense. Cardi Sick has never even sent me one pence. So I guess it's just me or my Jack Jones. Now I've got to stay trappy till I land road. I can't tell you about cash and a chat phone. Cause it's bank details and a Zan call. I've seen shit that I can't even mention. I want answers, but I struggle with the questions. Like why my girl get fucked by my bread gin. Now I struggle to put trust in the next thing. So my stress, now my feelings are numb. Like why my daddy always cheat on my mum. He made her feel insecure when it's wrong When she had cancer to cure it was long Look, so many questions I'm speaking with God Like why my ex go leave in a rush Like why my ex go breathe for a mug I can't lie, I cried tears for a month But that's life, I had to take it on the chin Look, they gave me life, I had to take it on the chin Look, so nowadays I'm reflecting on the wing Dog, I can't lie, I'm respected on the wing Dog, I've had nights that I didn't really want to live Dog, I've had days when I was rolling with my shiv Looking for excuses cause I was feeling pissed And if a nigga move quick that nigga's getting ching But fuck all the negative I stay with the positive Every time I lose a relative I can't stomach it Every time I'm sitting down I block mummy's worrying Every time I jump on a beat man I body it Every time I jump on a beat man I body it Fans in my DM say I'm sick like I'm vomiting Friends wanna pre but they never wanna sponsor it Girls say they wait but these hoes always waffling Girls say they wait but these hoes always waffling Stress on my plate and there's no way you're stopping it Like Dave said I've got a big bird like the ostriches Feds been in jail with the hostages Kidnapped by feds and in jail with the hostages Yo. Boom! Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show Done now season 8 Episode 7, mm. still got the G57, you get what I'm saying, mind games, but boom, big bad spray, young spray, here with my co-host, cream, you know the vibes, queen ice cream, and you don't know, every episode, we like to have a range of new guests, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know what, they tried to get on to me, because it's like, every time spray has a guest mm. that's not a criminal, yeah. ex-criminal, he always says, <laughs> we have a range of different guests, no, yeah. We have a range of different guests all the time. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And as you know, obviously, we like to give out flowers to like the legends in the game and whatnot. And we also don't forget our people behind bars. 
You know exactly. what I mean? We say freedom and them on yes, this freedom. platform. So you don't know. Mm -hmm. and, um, we shed light on IPP situation. Um, we shed light a few times on that. You get me? Mm -hmm. We got Jojo, mm -hmm. we got Tengiz and um, Yankee and that. But yeah. um, we Stunner. always wanted to shed light on joint enterprise because we think, yeah, that's a nasty... Like, depending on... Obviously, we're going to get into it. Depending on your situation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we don't... Well, there's a lot of people behind bars on that. That shouldn't be there. So today's special guest, we've got Cliche, the Yo. building. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Respect yeah. for... Oh, big up for letting me... Respect for featuring. And then, mm -hmm. obviously, we're going to hear your story today because Cliche has been a, um, a victim of joint enterprise, but mm -hmm. we're going to hear his story and hear if we feel like he's a victim or if we feel like he deserved <laughs> it, you get me? If he deserved it, if he was with them, if he was really with them, if he done it as well, we're You're gonna, joking, we're gonna find out if he, wanted him, <clears throat> if he wanted him gone as well. I'm going mad, but let's calm down. Boom, because it's a serious thing, someone mm -hmm. has passed, someone has gone. <laughs> right. Do you get what I'm saying? They've been gone, so let's calm down. But yeah, today's special guest, cliche, and he, he, he raps now as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, big up as well for getting a million views. Yeah. Big up, big up on his freestyle, and um, that's on SP's channel as well. We got SP, big him mm. up, delinquent nation. But yeah, mm. so yeah, now big you up. Um, we're gonna hear your story, man. And um, yeah, man, where was you born? Um, I was born in Lewisham Hospital, nineteen ninety four. Yeah, young and they're not young now. Nah, but got, man got called old. You got called old? In jail by some youths. I don't lie. It's all gone mad now. Not on a boy thing, but he's like, nah, you're old though. <laughs> you know, I, I got humbled still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mum and dad together? Together now. They're not together right now, you know. But When you was born? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were married in that store. Yeah. They still are. They still are still. Siblings? Uh, I got a younger brother, yeah. Yeah. Just the two of you, like? Yeah, just the two of you. Okay. Two boys. Older? Like, or no, younger? He's, he's the brother. oldest. He's younger still, yeah. So, yeah, the yeah, basically. Simple. Oh, but he's a grown man now, isn't it? Where's your parents from? Uh, my dad's from Ghana. Mum's from Japan. Don't lie. Really? Mm. <laughs> nah. That's mad. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a different store. Have you been Ghana? Been Ghana. I've been once. Charlie. Is it? My mum loves it. Charlie. How to think? To what I know. Who to think? We got out there. We got jump. You get what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. aunt forward. Mm -hmm. Naughty. I'm going in as well, slightly. Okay. Dominican, but. Uh, you're looking okay. at me mad. Is no, I was mad? just thinking. No, because you said that I was just mad? wondering. Why you got Because you were thought it was Dominique. Shut up uh, about. You're an idiot. Yeah, I am Dominique. I'm <coughs> saying I grew up with the Ghanaians. Okay, innit? cool. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, well, My mum goes Ghana enough as well. Yeah, she I'm, loves like the Ghanaian jollof is better than the Nigerian jollof. You get me? But anyway, <laughs> boom. And your mom's Japanese, Japanese, have you been in Japan? Yeah. yeah, see, that's the thing. I've been in Japan like every year my whole life. Really? Sometimes like two times a year. Serious? You know I'm saying like the mom does more in it, if that makes sense mm. for the culture. Like, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. why everyone speaks their mother tongue. I even speak Japanese still. No, for real? Yeah. I speak my mother tongue. Yeah, Say yeah. something to us. Um, Konnichiwa boku no nama wa cliche in my young spray no show this. What does that mean? I just mm. know about young spray. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I name, know hello. Hello, my name is cliche. cliche. This is young spray show. Simple. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> say ice cream. Sorry about that. How do you say ice cream in Japanese? Uh, they just say ice. Ice. Simple. It's like a British word, isn't it? Okay. English word, yeah. Mm. That's sick, though. You mm. should um, use some Japanese in your lyrics. Yeah. At some point, man. You know what it is? I was trying to be the first one to do that, but man got beat. There's already a girl out there that she's Ghanaian, Japanese. She's really? Ghanaian and Japanese? Yeah, bro, Same I, I think her name's Kaede Kaede son. That's a Japanese name. Okay. Malaysian baddie or something. But yeah, it's a girl, I beat though. to it. Yeah, so I, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. First, oh, man's gonna, you man's know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to think That's sick. Yeah, <laughs> for the guys. That's different, I like him. Yeah. Japanese, that's mm. different. I want to go over there still, but to the COVID and all that. They, they no, it wasn't them, that was the Chinese. Oh, it was the Chinese. That's what they Not say. the same mm. thing. That's what they say. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, no, the same thing. That's like saying Nigerian Ghanaians, they, they slide over and okay, feel each other. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. What's it like over there? Um... Over Japan, mm. oh, that's different. Still. What's the capital of Japan? Tokyo. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why I feel like. And they got raves over there. Yeah, the bro, well. they love, they love the, they love the Jamaican. I got a bridge in that club. I know. Like, if you see Pat, them pass, yeah, pass, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there, and they can dance over yeah, there they as can, well. They can speak like, if you didn't know, yeah, who was I know. Chatting, you think it's mm. one of them. And they got um, a fashion thing there as well, isn't it? Yeah, bape, bape, a bass. You know, like it's Tokyo. Am I getting mad? 
No, no, they do. They do. Yeah. Like, ba- yeah. Bathing ape is Japanese. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. No, but I'm thinking they're, but they're into fashion. They're mm-hmm, really, like, mm-hmm. you got Paris. That's why for that. I I'm going mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going mad. What are we <laughs> even talking about? I'd be going mad at you if you took it. So, yeah. Well, primary school, yeah. Primary school, yeah. I went primary school. Finished primary How school. How was you in primary school? I was... I went into fights on that. Mm-hmm. I was always trying to, like, be the class clown. Okay. I, th- I, th- I think I slightly had ADHD. I was never diagnosed, but mm. was he book smart? Yeah, I was smart still. I can't lie. Like, where my mom was from Japan, like they only studying thing in it, just mm-hmm. like Chinese. Why are, all you, why are all Japanese smart in that and Chinese? <laughs> Mad in it. Mm. This is, it's in their culture to study. It's not in their culture to be bummy in it. Like it's don't feel like, like they're aliens. Nah, that's an alien. <laughs> nah. They just they, nah, they've, but they've, they've a lot more. Smart though. They've mm. a lot more in it. That's what they say. They've a lot more. They're brain in it, but. Yeah, over there, like, you don't even see homeless people in that, bro. Like, the homeless people get took away. Is like, it? feds will just beat you up and take you. For really? being homeless? Like, yeah, it makes the, they say it makes the country, it's mad over there. Like, it's, mm. They say it makes the country look mad, so they get rid of you. Death? Yeah, there's, like, not death, but oh. Like, oh there's, there's, a, there's a secret guy, and it's mm-hmm. mad. Like, I've mm-hmm. seen it live, all like, they get removed. <coughs> How's your people over there? People, yeah, they're good still. They're on a the pharmacy, and, like, they're doing their thing. Upper like, class? Yeah, my, my grandparents are still in their 80s, but they're still still running the pharmacy. Really? What, what class mm. are they in, like, upper class? No, they like middle, isn't it? Middle. Oh, just I won't, I won't say upper, that's like the least, isn't it? Okay, so no, not normal, not normal. No, not working class, middle class. Okay, like, okay. They got, they got no, bread still. What part of um, um, Japan? It's a place called Imaichi. Oh, okay. Imaichi, it's a Nikko. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How, do, how, how do you feel about, like, you know, like in this country, yeah? Mm. <coughs> like, being like working class, but mm. when you know back home, your yeah. people, because it's like me, <laughs> I know I always bring it to me, mm. <laughs> but in Dominica, like, my mm. people are like, I put that. That's proper. Upper yeah. Class in it, and then I come here. Yeah. I can't lie. Like, like that has always made me had like a m- different mindset to my brethren. Like, mm. if you like niggas that I was rolling with when we was young, from eleven. Is he allowed to say niggas? So, uh, who <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. no. Oh my! I thought you meant because of the. Oh, oh my! Nah. What do you mean because okay. of the? No, no, go on in, go on in, go on in. Jesus, man. I'm going, man. What I'm saying, like my brethren. Am I cheap? No, but you're not sure. You might not be sure. You wouldn't be sure if he's going in or not. I thought you meant because of the censor. You know, not even because. <laughs> you're like, no. you don't like parental advice or anything. No, no, like, no. What was I saying? Um, so you can say it because yeah. No, because Queen went mad at Skinny Man, innit? After. Who's Skinny Man? She snaked who's him. Who's, who's no, she was I cool didn't. when I he was on the show. I when he said it. She was cool when he was on the show. Yeah, he's white. Yeah. Yeah, but that's... But he's I know, white. I'm just, and I'm just... He's just trolling. He should have done that no, but, still. See? <laughs> skinny, big up Skinny. No, I don't know. Skinny. You know I don't but know, it's not, he was telling a story about somebody that was saying it. I've got white bitches that are like man him though. But anyway, let's... What was I saying? Do they say nigga? Who? Creamy always no, yeah, yeah, the yeah. They do. Yeah, but they're like, but they don't even like. It's, oh, it's mad. They, they don't, don't like niggas. No, no, they, they don't. say it. He says. Uh, yeah, yeah, they say it, but <laughs> I've got, they, they, they kind of trash. Like it's mad. It's mad. They don't even like their own thing. But Mm-mm. yeah, let's move on. Like, what was I saying? So out of my brethren's like, I feel like where I saw that lifestyle, mm. I was always like hustling from young. Mm. Even like lid from lid hustling days. Like I must have done the Lucas, the donuts, the cookies, <laughs> yeah, all of that. Flipping in school, like mm-hmm, from mm-hmm. young, I was doing it in like. When no one's really trying to do it at them young ages, like, to, but I went to I went to a grammar school, you know. Did you? So when I'm doing this at the grammar school, no one's rating it. Is that what's that private? No, nah, so no. private school, prep school. <laughs> that's where you like pay. Mm. That's when you got bread. Mm. Grammar school, you have to take like an exam in year is six. That even, oh, is that even primary school? You went grammar school? No, 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 no. Oh, that, so that was in the end. That's okay, in the so end. Yeah, yeah, that was it. in Grove Park, uh, Lewisham. Mm. When I went um, secondary school, secondary school, that was in um, Sidcup. Sitcom. And you had to take a test to go there. take a test, yeah, in year six. Mm. And then, like, halfway through the year, you get results sent through your door. Either pass or you fail, innit? We'll see my mum being Japanese. When we got the thing, I'm, I, was in, I was there in my yard. I was like, how old was that, like, 10 years old? Yeah, because mm. I'm the youngest in my year. It's like 10 years old. She did a little prayer, like, we looked in the mirror. She done a prayer. The boy man passed, still. Mm. And then, yeah, so I started going to school off ends. So my man's around different kind of youths now. My man's around middle class kids. These are like sharing off like, see in the ends when men are stunting that. Like, mm. mm. Men are stunting, it depends what age group you are, men are stunting jewelry, cars. These lot would have like birthday parties at the age of 11. They're mm-hmm. just showing their yards, big swimming pool, mm. big Madness. this, big that. They're all doing it. Man can't, bro, man live in a two bed flat mm-hmm. in the South. Like, <coughs> I would even lie. I'd say, they're my mm-hmm. house. Man ain't got a house. That's how they had my feeling, like it was mad, like. Mm. But that's just the environment I was in, innit? But, mm. Yeah. What what lessons was you good at? <coughs> I was good at um, I was good at math still. Good at math. Yeah, good really? At maths, yeah, I was good at numbers. Um, P. I, I used to do athletics. What what would you use to? I used to do two hundred meters sprint, four hundred meter hurdle. 
the GCC Athletics. What did you see? Yeah, hurdle. 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 <laughs> nah, that's fine. Well, but anyway, hurdles. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have her off as a hurdle. Hurdle up like, for real. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. That's strength mm-hmm. still. <laughs> you get me. You do hurdles as well. Yeah, yeah for why for that? But but anyway, why <laughs> 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 did I know nah, that nah, was coming? Nah, why nah. <laughs> nah. did I know mad, that was coming? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mad. Even the action of it. But anyway, oh, yeah. and shot put. Shot put. You used to do shot put. Yeah. You but, put your but, chung in it. But that's what I used to do. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah now eight hundred meters and relay. Remember, relay is like a popular. You, mm-hmm. you have to be popular. So you, whether I, I don't think I was the fastest one, of the mm. fourth fastest. It's just mm. popular popularity. Got to mm. be in the relay. No, I feel you. But yeah, why for that? I know, I no, but it's only true. Started me. No, I was, I was trying to leave it. Why did I lie myself? As a normal mm. shot, now forget that anyway, because this is serious <laughs> business anyway. Someone's gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Calm down. Well, so did you get any GCSEs? Yeah, I did. Still, I got eight. Eight passes. Yeah, I got ten. Oh, you got one. Yeah, there we go. Done your thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, done your thing. Still. Yeah, yeah. What did you get? <laughs> I got English, maths, uh, drama, P, R S. What grades did you get? I was getting like B's throughout for maths and drama. Got A's. I done Japanese. Got A star. B at IT. Citizenship, and yeah, that should be about eight star if you're not mistaken. Go on. <laughs> I got an eight star still. Yeah, you done yours? You get me in English. You get me you in Japanese. I just got a B for English still. Yeah. Really. Yeah, eight star in Japanese. That's hard. But mm. so bomb. So where did you go after that? What do you think about doing college? No, so I, like, see, I got my case was from when I was young. Oh shit! Yeah. Really? So from even when you was in school. So I was in year eleven when my case happened. You was in school? Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Hmm. So you missed all of that from there? Um, so you got to do your exams and then what, it happened after your exams no, then? So I got to do my exams. Yeah. It happened. Got to do my exams, but I didn't go to jail straight away. Okay. Yeah, like, um, there was a trial, everything. Mm. Where there was like nine of us. Obviously, there was a lot of us in it. So four of us got bail. So imagine we got remand, like, where should I take it from though? Because this is. Like, this I is think really we hard. should go to the yeah. beginning. This is where you're jumping in. Listen, we're going to get there. We need to find out how he was as a child. We need everyone to know how he was as a child before all of this. Hmm. So we know. Do you know what I mean? Mm-mm. How was how was how home life? How was. Um, do you know what I mean? Was you getting into trouble? Um. I was getting into trouble at school, but not like trouble like that, like getting kicked out of school. I, I always stayed in that same school, even though it was a grammar school. Mm. Like, so I won't get into trouble like that, but get a lot of detentions. That's just for like, for getting home. I kind of- Crime? Like, crime, you know, is crime come a bit later. I got, um, crime come a bit later. I think when I was 13, that's the first time I got nicked. Okay, yeah. so you'd already been nicked for that other thing? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That was later, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 13 you got nicked yeah, for? Yeah, I, I got nicked for a knife. Oh, yeah? Mm. Okay. And why was you carrying a knife at 13? And a base. In a grammar school as well? Mm. I don't know. Basically, it's like looking back on it now, obviously it was dumb, but mm. th- this, these were the times where like, do you remember when everyone's getting just robbed for their phones, happy slaps, all of that? Okay. <coughs> so it was for protection? Yeah, at 13, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't on road them times. That's the matter. I wasn't even on road, but I saw too many of my friends get robbed. Mm-hmm. And like it's like it traumatized man. Like I was like, yeah, I can't, I'm not getting robbed. Do you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, so even when I had it, it wasn't even for like, oh, I'm gonna stab someone. It was more like I'd feel more confident to say no mm-hmm. if I had it mm-hmm. to get. It. And mm-hmm. then like, yeah, bro. Like I just like even my friend, he was 13 at the time. I was 13. He got stabbed. Like, bro, they got the wrong guy. They thought it was someone else. They just bored him. Mm-hmm. So I thought, no, no, I can't go out like that. Obviously, people did he? So did he live? Sorry, did he live? Yeah, he lived. He lived. Oh. Luckily, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like, and he was, he was my age. That's what I'm saying. He got some older, some older youth thought he was someone else. But like, I was just thinking, nah. Like, I think people take it differently. Some people look at it as like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go out less, or I'm gonna be careful. Like, I just thought, I still gotta be able to 
enjoy my life, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just, yeah, I went on getting robbed. Anyway, I was 13. I just remember, like, I think we were just, like, these are the days man was so young. We call it playing out. Man was playing out. Did you get mm-hmm. it? 13. Mm-hmm. I think it was like 8 o'clock at night. Summertime, so it's dark, innit? And um, just some bully van went past, and it just saw three of us at the bus stop. Like, we weren't really doing nothing, but it's f- mixed race, mixed race, black pulled us. And then, yeah, basically, like, I threw it. When they come, I've thrown it. I threw it behind the bus stop. And, like, they, like, stay where you are, blah, blah, blah. They didn't find it. Like, we was about to go. This took, like, 10 minutes. We were just chatting to us, took our names, all of that. Mm-hmm. They didn't find it. And I was thinking, raw, oh, like, that's mad, man. Like, I threw it in a bush. They didn't see it. They saw me, like, when I moved, they're like, what did you do? They grabbed me. What did you do? What did you discard? They were looking for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they didn't find nothing. And as they were, as they were leaving, one guy's like, Sarge, Sarge. And then mm-hmm. he had a torch out, he found it, and I was gutted. I was, he's like, who's just that? I just owned up straight away, I was like, that's mine. Cause, mm-hmm. And then they said to me, yeah, if you didn't own up, all, all free. You're all coming in the van. But yeah, it, was, it was mine, innit? And then, yeah, I went to the, I just played guilty to that went police station. Mm-hmm. Got sentenced on my 14th birthday, that's why it's crazy. Like, it was a week before my 14th. Went caught on the 14th, Bromley Magistrates. And yeah, I got a four month yacht, youth offending behavior. Youth offending team, all that, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. What did like, you have to do? Um, so attend meetings and kind of like reflect on the crime, obviously, how I want to do better, things like that. I remember I wasn't even rapping these times, but I had a lot of friends that used to rap. I even recorded like a little, it was like half a track, like a minute, 20 seconds. Recorded a track talking about like trying to turn my life around and that. Like, yeah. And I, I, yeah, I showed, I showed him, he was, he was liking it still. His name mm-hmm. was Renford. <laughs> on okay. yard man still mm, yeah. Lewisham probation Lewisham yacht youth offending mm. yeah this was but that's 08 that was 08 mm. so after well, how that, did your man, mum take that yeah they were shocked because obviously like I didn't really show signs or anything to mm, do with that but mm-hmm. where I was out I'm just out in it like they mm-hmm. don't know what's going on when I'm out and obviously I want to play out I don't want to feel like this area so mad I got to stay indoors mm-hmm. I always I just it's like being defeated you know? so I'm, not, like, I'm not on the roads these times remember I got no one like I got friends that are good youths I thought, nah, I'm definitely staying out. I'm staying out. So I just, that was, yeah, I got nicked. So after mm-hmm. you got nicked in that year, mm. did you still um, feel to carry a knife? No, I'd be real with you. So like, for like a year, for like a year, I didn't, I didn't even like, I didn't carry a knife for a year, put it that way, yeah. <laughs> Not even a year, like, is it that long? Like a year or something, I didn't even carry a knife. And then, I don't know what it was. I think like, when I started hanging around with a certain group, um, I felt more unsafe. It's mad, like, I felt unsafe before, then I'm with a group, that's, certain man might say, you might feel safe if you roll with a group, but at the same time, where they've got beef, you might feel unsafe now. Mm-hmm. So it was just, it was too conflicting. And I think, like, I didn't really carry knives again that day, but sometimes, like, I might have been around people that, like, might have had knives, or mm-hmm. I know they're known for knives, do you get what I'm saying? But it's not even like I was hanging around with them for, any sort of like protection. It was more to do with like, like I had a friend and obviously that like, way I started chilling with him more and he was like more involved. It's like naturally I can just come along, if that mm-hmm, makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then that's how, kind of how I just basically started ending up getting involved in it, like just chilling with certain people. I was going to school these times as well. So I remember like during the day, like I'm at, school, I'm at grammar school and then like when I come back, the people man's around. They're older than you. Involved. Um, yeah, like one, two years, yeah. By now I'm like, 15 or I'm 15 now, mm. so I'm a lot of I'm, I'm what a music you're listening to. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's grime, it was grime still, grime, crime, yeah, grime, yeah. So it was, I'm just we need to know what they were listening to because they always blame the music, mm. yeah. They always say, Oh, they're listening to drill and all, mm. he was listening to Skepta and that. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Still, I can't so lie. Skepta, no, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Drill wasn't even out, that's no, the but do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. They were still murking, mm. yeah. But not even just drill, like, before that. Okay, all man. Sorts, I like all sorts of stuff, but yeah, 15. You listen to Jammer? Nah. Merkel, was, man. Coming nah. in and circle, man. <laughs> nah, 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 not, not, not Jammer, do you know what it is? I was listening to like, I'm trying to think of who was like, oh, 10, oh, oh, 10, oh, 09. What, what, what are we talking about? I'm 14, aren't it, or 15? Oh, yeah. No, 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 you know what, tell a lie, tell a lie. I was listening to UK, you know. <laughs> Mm. I just clocked, yeah, all, all nine times. Graham is UK as well, but, yeah. No, but when I say UK, UK, UK rap, rap yeah, yeah, that's, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for my days, it was like, 
a gas gang versus the PYG, do you remember okay. that stuff? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. our dads in that, innit? Yes, that era, yeah. do you get it? Yeah, got our dads. that's, that's, that's mm-hmm. that era. I just clock, it weren't Graham, you know, yeah, you're mm. right. When I was 13, I think Graham, that's like 07. Mm. So it was really gas gang and that that got them doing it for yeah. real. They're right. I'm not even saying that, but hey, I'm not even saying that. I listen they're to right, other right. stuff too. But yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You guess. The, jo- the, the Johnny Guns. Mm. Johnny Lala. That, that was Lala. the era. That era was. <laughs> Johnny Lala. Fuck it, that was there. Johnny Lala, and you did. Everyone was outside still. That era was mad. Till you was inside. Yeah, for real. For real. It had a lot of men outside still. Mm. Mm. And a lot of men inside. Yeah, true. Some men are still inside. Mm. Yeah, I got a floor. Why for I'm that though? Oh. <laughs> Why for some man still being inside? But you can be inside though. Huh? No. No, it's... Uh, say can, nah, yeah, nah. I, I what I was going to say was very straight still, but mm. out of respect. I'm never, yeah. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> it's very straight. Well, <laughs> nah. This is a serious part now. Mm-hmm. Talk us through. Mm. What like how? Furthermore, how did you? What was the day like when you woke up? That day, it's a normal day still. That like you didn't have no English. Yeah, no. You know, sometimes you, you can know, say sometimes I felt you have funny a, that yeah. day, or I no, knew I shouldn't. Bro, oh. it was a normal day. Like I remember, yeah, I even went uh, doctors, so mm. I went into school late, and I all went to school for like midday. Um, I think my doctor it was a hay fever checkup, like an allergy. I was trying to get my. <laughs> no, no, go on. With this serious time. The, the nostril thing. Sh- I was trying mm. to get the nostril thing um, patterned in it through mm. prescription. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I went to school like midday, and I remember like school finished, and then basically I, I got a call from one of my friends, and he's like, "Oh, can you remember how school was like that day?" It's a normal day. It's a I normal promise. day. I remember like just a normal day, literally. And if nothing, <laughs> if nothing of it, usually mm. after school I go Molly's. Mm. With a couple of my school friends, we just get chicken, mm. mm-hmm. we just cut. But that's our little social spot. Yeah, that was the plan. Like, but I got a phone call. Um, my bridge is like, oh, like, we basically got G checked. We got G checked at the school gates. Um, these times, I'm 15. These men are one of my friends. No, they're both. One's 15, one's 16. But it's that age group, in it. Oh. Um, yeah, I got a phone call. Like, yeah, man, just got G checked at the gates. Saying right, what happened? Apparently, like two youths must have like come to the school gates when everyone's coming out. Apparently, like they've said some stuff to them, like embarrassed them, you know, like basically like just put it on them in front of everyone. Teachers mm. were watching, but in fear. These youths are a bit older, in it, so fifteen to eighteen. It's only like a three-year age gap, but mm. when you're that age, it makes, it, it a, makes big a difference. difference. Yeah, yeah, come on, it you're does. High. Yeah, it's a big thing. Like you can't say I'll smack him up because yeah, these yeah, 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 come on, they're yeah. animals to man. So. They literally got G-checked at the gates. Obviously, nothing happened physical, but they just felt a type of way. And these youths that come to the gates, they were basically saying, like, oh, come link, man. Like, come link, man. But in their block, and like, come to mm-hmm, our block. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm in Kent. I'm not even in London. I'm at school. <laughs> I'm coming at a lesson and that. It's all these little girls and that makeup and that blonde girls. You know, like, it's just, I'm mm-hmm. in a different world right now, different mm-hmm. realm. Mm-hmm. But when my bridging rings... He's just like, yo, man, just got checked. Like, they were so angry, like, they were pissed off. Yeah, I just thought, all right, cool. They're saying, yo, come link, man, innit? So I've got a train from my school. We've gone back to uh, where, like, where where I live, where I'm from. Um, them and there, two of them. And they're basically like, we were ju- we just linked up, innit? And we were basically, three of, see, three of us now, we've linked up. And then, like, man was saying, like, nah, we're going to try it. I'm gonna try to go back to it. We're gonna try to go there, mm. and then basically it's three of us um, ended up linking up with like a few more people, but they were like already there in it, mm. like not not already there even for that, but they were at someone's house that was a bit closer to the other area. Mm. So like when we've all linked up um, all together, there's like um, seven of us, and then I remember like two youths, um, one was 13, one was 14, like they're not even involved at all, like in the roles at all. But you know you get them impressionable young kids and they see things going on, they're like, hey, you man, mm. let me roll. And you're like, bruv. Like, you know, it really happens. In the movies, you see that. Like, you're like, Shut up, go home, youngers. But these men really came. They just came. Mm. Mm. And they got in they the, really they came, got mixed up in the thing. Go, go on, go on, go on. They really came and mm. it was so mad because mm. instead of saying fuck that, because he was in another area, and it was like, the numbers. We just thought like, yeah. It's like, if, I, I can't even say we just thought. I didn't say nothing. It's just... Mm. They just rolled. They just rolled. No one said fuck off. No one. Did. Yeah. These men are gas. They're with us now. Like, gone to the ends. 
and then like, I remember like we see some a couple of men they see that like, we see some youths but you know, remember them days like people you know like you could you know you can just tell a man's swag you can just look at an outfit and go my man's on the roads you can just mm. know like certain things he might be wearing but we could just see some youths at the top and then like they just look like road youths and then I just remember like my group just started running mm -hmm. so obviously naturally man's just following everyone's just running as well like these men ran across a road um there was like a fence in a, into a park and then like they've kind of like hopped over the fence and they've like ran through and then like as everyone was running towards like when we run up the road to get to see where they were like we could see like it was like a fence but in the park there was like a lot of people i can't remember the exact numbers but there was like a massive group in this park mm -hmm. so them three youths that just started running they've like ran towards this group but that's their group but i just remember thinking <laughs> i even stopped like when i got to the fence i was like oh there's a lot of men in that park you know mm -hmm, like it was mm -hmm. mad but some of the people ahead of me they'd already hopped over they were like yo 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 mm -hmm. so i just thought if i don't hop like man's got like everyone's going i just thought fuck it i'm just going as well but long story short this group that was like free at running towards this group they started all running like as a pack but they all running away and as they're running away like there was just knives getting thrown all over the place like i mm -hmm. see there was objects flying everyone's just thinking right what's going on but people are just still chasing towards this group the groups ran off and then like that was basically like a win like Mm. Everyone was like, Dr. Martin, I don't know if you remember that. Like, see, this day and age, I've clocked. I've got, I'm on social media. If you do that, that is not a point. You cannot brag about that. But like back in them days, that's like, you got chased out your ends, boom, that's, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you lot lost whatever. And I remember like, people, like we didn't leave straight away. I think like the adrenaline of like, even everything going on, chasing mm. everyone, like everyone's a bit high, but they've cut. And then it's more like a, I was like, yo, that was a mad thing, whatever. And then basically like, um. I remember like five minutes, no, not five, like eight minutes later, like, I just heard like a loud, a loud shout, like, someone was like, I just remember someone said, hey, puss yours, like, but he said it exactly like that, hey, puss yours. Then everyone was like, what the fuck? Everyone just turned around, and then like, I'd say half of that group had come back, but this time, like, they looked ready, like, mm -hmm. they looked ready, you get me? Like, I saw, like, knives, I saw poles, I saw bats, one, the main you even had like a samurai sword, so, at the time, I thought he had two, like one in each hand, but I found out later on in trial through like, CC, um, you know, like the pictures on the paper. One was, it was a sheath, innit? You know, like mm -hmm, the thing mm -hmm, that he put mm -hmm. it in, mm -hmm. but he was holding it like he had two and he was like moving like he had two. And like, yeah, he was basically calling us back, like saying, what were you man on now? And it was it was just a techie one where like, you know, like I say, it's like, it was like, you know, like in Green Street when there's like a mad standoff mm -hmm. and everyone's like, roll up, come, you know, you might come, you might come, but it's like a back and forth in it and then basically like um after like i'd say like five minutes of shouting i forgot to say as well this happened in broad daylight like five five p.m in like a may say it's, like it's bright it's bright it's mad bright like and there's like a lot of witnesses and like mm. it was just it was like it was mad bro was like, people like, filming it no nah, because you see them days it wasn't smart okay. it wasn't smartphones right, to get it it was right. um blackberry messenger yeah, BBM yeah, phones yeah, but yeah. or walkman's but yeah it wasn't filming was mm -hmm, not a culture mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. everyone's just watching if this was today wow mm. that would have been everywhere that would have been crazy everyone um, might as well just pre yeah like, not <laughs> to get it's it but um what was i gonna say um yeah like basically it was just broad daylight and then everyone that was like in, in the area, people that were in shops, like they'd by now, there's, remember so much had happened, like the first chase, they've run off, all of us like in the park, like, shh, like yo, that just happened, man. That took like, what, eight minutes, these men to come back, they're shouting again, like, so everyone's kind of watching. And then like, someone from my group, he basically like got frustrated and he just started running towards them. He's like, fuck it. He just started running towards them. And then everyone from that group, once again, they just started running. Mm -hmm. But like, there was one, guy obviously that later on i found out like i found out who he was obviously he was the um, victim um he like ran in, yeah obviously yeah, respectfully um he ran in a different direction mm. but obviously like my group we're kind of running straight but he was running like in a diagonal kind of position kind of kind of way mm. and then like we were running towards that group running head on and obviously like we're all pissed like we're all angry i forgot to say i forgot to even mention you know like when these sort of come back now sorry yeah there's, remember I told you, like, I thought it was two samurais, knives, this and that. Do you remember mm -hmm. earlier when I was like, they were throwing weapons, like, mm -hmm, behind mm -hmm, and that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I said this in court, like, I had, wit had like, two different witnesses that said the same thing. Like, they said they see me pick up a knife that was on the grass. So I picked up one of the knives, and obviously, like, to me at the time, I just felt like, I just felt a lot safer, like, 
remember man's 15 bro these youths are older than me like they're 18 17 and i just felt like i need something for my protection in it like i need to remember like before when i was younger i refused to like be bullied to not going out mm. so i need something for my protection um i've picked up one of the knives this is like still during the time where everyone's just doing the back and forth mm. um and then obviously even when we've remember i told you my friend he got pissed and he just started running at them mm-hmm. um as he started running, like we've all started running as well. Mm. Um, obviously, I've got the knife in my hand as well. Do you get me? Um, He's got the knife. Yeah, I've got the knife. I've got the knife still. It's not the knife, but yeah, I've got but I've got a, a knife. knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm running at the group. Um, Dave ran off. Remember, I told you as this happening, uh, the victim unfortunately he ran in a different direction. So I'm running at the main group. He's running a different direction, and then like when we've got to the this park is a two hundred and I think it's two, I don't want to get it wrong, 210 yards, 210 meters, 220, 210 or 20, long yard park, sorry, meters, <laughs> sorry. I've run across the park and we've basically chased that group off again. They ran in the same exit again outside, gone. Mm-hmm. And then like when that's happened, I remember there were some bikes, they even dropped their bikes, some big mountain bikes. I didn't even have a bike at home. Like I've never had a bike, bro. Like, I think I had a bike when I was young, but I've never had a grown man's bike. <laughs> Um, me and my friend we were like yeah can we take their bikes my friend was like yeah yeah he took one I picked one up and then like realistically where I don't ride bikes like that I just thought I'm not confident enough to ride back to my ends I can't get on the bus Mm -mm. so I put it back down Uh, and I've turned around to see what's going on and I basically clocked like my group wasn't with us how how he was like bunched up to get it like Mm. everyone was scattered in different places Um, some people some people had like almost left, but I didn't know they'd left, but like the group was a lot smaller now. And um, I'm looking, people are like slightly going, like they're leaving, like, you know, like everyone's heading towards mm-hmm. the other exit, but some people are out, like some people are gone, the numbers are low, so I know some people are gone and like, everyone's kind of going in that sort of direction. So my friend that's with me, he's on the back, he's cycling, he's cycling. I'm like jogging, I'm jogging. So we're all leaving the park like one by one, one by one. And when I've come out of the park, I remember like, um, that you that the guy that was running earlier, I mm. saw him, but he was in like a chicken shop, like a window, and then basically like he was um he was holding onto the door in it, mm. and was it, I found out later on like he'd been stabbed. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at this point, I didn't know he'd been stabbed because he just looked. I don't know how to explain it. Like he looked like he was scared, but obviously everyone was scared. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everyone looked like it's it's a mad intense thing that's going on, but he's just like leaning on the door, and I remember seeing him, and I didn't. I just I seen him, and then we just but I just carried on running. There's like a higher street that it's on. Um, what I forgot to say was when we come out this park, when you come out the park, it's a main road mm. and uh, there was still traffic. Mm. Like everyone's just still. It's mad, mm. like car after car after car. So when we've all come running out, all these people in cars can just see everyone one by one coming out, all these kids running, like some have got weapons. I've still got the knife as well, you know, by the way. Mm. Um, but yeah, I can see, as, as I've got to this road now, I'm looking straight and I can just see people are like, some are far so I'm a bit behind, everyone's going, but everyone's basically going in the one direction. And then um, one of the guys I was with, he was like, yo, let's just go this way. Because everyone's running one direction, let's just go this way. We've gone a separate way. Um, as we're walking up another road now, we're basically heading back to our area, but we're still in their area. We're mm-hmm, a long way away, mm-hmm. but if we was on a bus, we're doing that bus route. Mm-hmm. Um, we're walking up this road, and then we just hear a lot of sirens, and like there's some, like you know, bully vans, TSGs, mm. the Navy vans big bully vans, all of them are just coming like, shh, 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 just whizzing. But like, they're coming towards us and and like, um, they're coming towards us and I'm just thinking, raw, like, this this mm. is a this is a madness. Like, we might get nicked for, for like the, the whole, do you get me? Remember, I had the shank. I forgot to say, sorry, I forgot to say, I threw it, you know? So, you know when we've come, remember I told you, we all come running at the high road with these cars, mm-hmm. still traffic. You see, when I heard the sirens mm-hmm. now and I'm walking. You dashed it. Yeah, I dashed it, but like, I didn't even, I, it down, obviously. I didn't do and I didn't even I literally just went like that in front of everyone it was mm, mad like mm. I just heard the sounds I thought nah I can't get in there for a shank like, not today like I thrown it and then like it was in broad daylight and when I threw it I saw everyone's heads go <laughs> everyone was like bam it just hit me like some little construction yard thing but um, we have done that and then we've walked up and then like as me and my friends are walking we're just walking them cars all them police vans they've gone past us now and um me and my friend, we were just walking, walking, and we heard some banging. And then when we went banging, we looked, it's the bus, but that bus, remember all my other guys that I was with, they 
all that running they're mm-hmm, all mm-hmm, same the way they were on the bus but they mm-hmm. saying boom like roll get on mm-hmm. we've got on the bus but the bus is packed because the stop they got on that was like the start you know like the bus station so that's where it clears everyone in, in at the same mm-hmm. time so the bus is packed so when we've got on they're all sat at the back me and my friend were at the front but um we can't like get through to the back obviously we would have gone and sat with him like naturally but it's packed we went the front and then basically when we've got off the bus um in our area one one you was like yo my man got touched but this you like he wasn't even the you that done anything like everyone mm. literally just it was almost like everyone was in such shock here everyone just went their separate ways mm. but one guy was like yo my man just got touched and then it was like what yeah my man just got touched but like i didn't that can be anything mm. but like and I didn't know really know who, but I was assuming maybe it might have been that guy. And, uh, but mm-hmm. he looked, to me at the time, that's what I'm saying, he looked like, he was like full of adrenaline, he's holding mm-hmm. the door. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think nothing of it. And I remember like, I think I got home. I literally got home, it was a mad experience, but when I got home, I think I just felt at peace. My mom was just at home, I was just at peace. Didn't speak about it, she's like, how was your day? I just, mm-hmm. I was just like, just a normal day. I was still in my uniform, by the way, you know, I forgot mm-hmm. to say, yeah, like, cause I remember I went from, straight from school. I wasn't even in trainers or tracksuit, nothing, like mm. school uniform. And my school uniform was a bright purple blazer. It was a very distinctive, like, very distinctive, like, but I had a jacket over it when I was like, I don't really roll my blazer only, but I had a jacket over it, but like tie purple, everything is very distinctive. Yeah, I went home like it was, I just went home, got a phone call two hours later. And then um, my friend was like, yo, hey, like, you died, that guy died. Mm. I'm saying, bro. How did like, you feel when you heard that? Bro, I, c- I couldn't believe it. I was just like, what? Because remember, I didn't know, no one said like, or confirmed, mm. yo, this guy mm-hmm. got stabbed. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think everyone was just like, in their own world. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I think mm. like, more time, if anyone saw what had happened, they were just in their own world. So, I was just like, what do you, like, and then I, and then he explained to me like, yeah, this will happen, man. And then I thought, mm-hmm. oh my mm-hmm. days. And then yeah, he hung up now. And then I think like I went on the news, I could see it, and I was like, I was like, raw, that's mad, that's mad, that's mad. But do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking like, like I was actually feeling sorry. Not for, it sounds mad saying this now, but I felt like my friend's gonna go to jail for this. I was like, I was actually sad. Like yo, my friend's gonna go to jail. What's he done? He's fucked. He's ruined his life. Mm. And then like a week later, um, I had some. I come home from school like another normal day. So you didn't feel no remorse for the victim? No, 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 I didn't. What do you mean? You didn't no. feel sorry for the victim. You felt sorry that your friends <laughs> might go no, to jail for that. No, no, <laughs> this guy's That's what you're saying. No, no, that's not what I meant. No, I felt sorry for the victim, but I meant like, like what I was trying to say is like, he's my friend, he's going to go to jail. It's a thing. Like, it could be my son, it could be us. Like, no, 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 of course I felt, no, 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 I, for, I forgot saying? to say that. I, forgot to I say can't that. be here like laughing about this. So. I feel, I'm not you laughing. Saying, you mm. uh, it's I'm a not, madness what's happened. No, 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 I'm not laughing. Mm. I'm trying to say, I forgot, I didn't like, when when it happened, mm. I didn't know. How old was it? You need to remember, he was 16. See? Yeah. Mm. No, no, kids. no, what you don't get is, when it happened, I didn't know it happened. So what I'm mm. trying to say is like, I couldn't picture it. In your young mentality. I didn't mm. see Remember, it. you're older mm-hmm. now. Do you get what I'm saying? Remember, you're older, I couldn't, I you're couldn't older now, it. innit? But in that mm. young mentality, you're just more worried about your bridging. Mm. Do you know what it is? I'll be honest with you. I, f- I did feel bad that you didn't died. Feel the, you didn't know the gravity of... No, yeah, yeah. So, like, I did feel bad, mm-hmm. but mm. being a kid, it's almost like... It's mad, but you you you, you felt like, oh, my friend got fucked up his yeah. life. Do you get what I'm saying? You didn't feel it the gravity mad. of actually yeah, do you what's happened. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that still. Do you know what I mean? Because, like... It's true, still. That's you know it's, it's, it's kind of re- like immature like, and yeah, it's kind of selfish. Yeah, you don't realize that someone's mm. actually. Yeah, it's kind of like mm. immature and selfish. Yeah, it's almost like yeah, that's true. Because mm. I was like, I was actually stressing for my brother, thinking, yeah. yo, what's he done? Mm-hmm. That's mad. Do you get? <laughs> yeah, it? Mm. But that's I probably. Do you know what it is? No, but do you know what, that probably is. It's like I didn't. It sounds mad, but I didn't really. I didn't know the guy. Mm. And obviously, like, you're more thinking, oh, this is mad. This is a mad situation. Mm. I did feel bad. Don't. Like, I promise you, I felt bad, but. Mm. I did feel like oh, my, my friend ruined his life. He ruined his life. Not knowing you ruined everyone. Yeah, life. yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's what. That's that's when at a little point, like reality kicked in. Mm. I was like, um, I think remember I told you a week later, come home from school and um, as I'm walking towards my house, there was like two. They were detectives. They weren't even like armed police or anything. Mm. Um, they were like just detectives, and they asked me like, "Oh, are you so and so?" I was like, "Yeah." And then they were like, oh, can we speak to you, please? 
And they've just took me in my house, but they were moving calm. But they were asking me, they were basically saying, we're here to speak to you about a violent disorder that took place a week ago when someone lost their you life. Felt warm, I just felt you like. Felt bait. Yeah, yeah, it was it was bad. It was peak. It was peak. But I'm I was just, saying you felt like you felt bait, like you, you mean like, hot? like raw, like yeah, like 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 stress like shit. Like, yeah, yeah, cool, like cool, shit, cool, cool, cool. Like, do you get what I'm course, saying? Yeah, like course. raw, like you know, no, no. I forgot to tell you. I forgot means to tell you. Bait, I forgot like, to on. I forgot mm. to tell you as well. So mm. I got arrested a week later, but mm. about three within two days, three people got arrested straight away and a straight remand. Okay. Yeah. Straight remand, like literally. Well, the, the, um, alleged, the, the, the person that actually done it, or obviously. I don't even. I thought I'm not. Did they ever get to? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Well, but no, but that, that's out there. Like every mm. my man's yeah. remorseful. He's admitted okay. that he's done okay. restorative justice and that. Mm. But um, I think within three days, I'd say within three days, mm. three people were nicked and remanded, remanded instantly. I think someone even got nicked the same day. Whoa. But they come from yeah. a madness, like, it was, like, I think it was, like, armed police and that. Mm -hmm. Mine was just speech about violent disorder. Bear in mind, remember, there's nine people, you know. So out of three, there's three straight away. And there's six of us, we all got the violent disorder treatment. Like, just we just want to speak to you. Mm -hmm. um, they Obviously, they questioned me. And, like, at the time, I was just, like, denying everything. I basically said I was playing football. Mm. And I, they were like, who are you with? I was like, I'm with my friends. They were like, oh, what are their names? I'll give some fake names. And they were like, what are their numbers? And I said, I don't know them like that. I just see them in cages and I play. And then like, yeah, I was literally just removed myself from the entire thing. And then they arrested me for violent disorder. So like after speaking to me, they're like, okay, we're charged, no, arresting you with suspicion of violent disorder. I've gone to the police station and I remember thinking, ah, oh, how am I gonna like better this football line? How am I gonna add to it? How am I gonna just get out of this yeah. with the football line? Um, they were even saying to me like, oh, if you get a solicitor, it will take longer. And he's like, we know you're a good boy. You know you ain't done nothing. Like, just just tell us what it's gonna be. And then I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. But obviously I was just thinking like, I'm gonna, the football thing. And I wasn't even gonna get a solicitor, but because I was 15, legally, they can't even interview yeah, me without mm -hmm, an adult. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, I had to wait about for my dad. My dad came. As soon as my dad came, he's like, "What? Well, get a solicitor, yo. Get us. You You're think I'm? Yeah, you crazy. Mm. He's like, Pff. he was not having it still. So I got a solicitor. Then when I got a solicitor, he's like, I'm gonna have to break it to you, mate. They're trying to do you for a joint enterprise. Mm. And I was like, what? Like, what's 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 a joint enterprise? They were like, oh, like you don't have to be the person that's done mm. the fatal blow, or you don't have to be the person that's like." coordinated it or anything like it's like if they can prove that you had foresight or if they can prove that you wanted to commit harm like it's enough to get you convicted of murder and you can get the same person as the perpetrator and I was just like I can't lie like, I, I was just like what are you talking about like it just sounded mad it sounded like one of them mad American laws that just them you know them just want mm. laws that mm. don't make sense in mm. them mad countries and then he's like, yeah, you can get done. And then he's telling me like, I don't even know what he's saying. Was, this is all messing me up. He's talking about, yeah, I had had a case the other day. Uh, three mates, they all grasped on each other. When they got life, they were all punching each other's heads in, in the dock and that. I was just like, what the hell? And he's like, he was kind of like scaring me. It's mad, mm. But he told me go no comment. But he was just, I think he was keeping it real. He's like, listen, you might get life for this. And then he's like, yeah, go no comment. <clears throat> I went no comment in the interview. And then... um. I got released on bail, but you see the other guys that got arrested for violent disorder as well, mm -hmm. they were getting bail, but you were getting like, um, you know, like them signings, you have to mm -hmm, sign in. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. I think that's more to know that you haven't run away. They mm -hmm. want evidence of you like, checking in every couple of days. Um, so yeah, that's what I was on for like two months. And me and the six- Still going to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the maddest thing is like, even when the incident happened, mm -hmm. uh, I think like two days later, I did a GCSE, I remember. Did your school it. know about what was happening? No, no, no. Cause even like no one knew because like I hadn't been arrested yet. Okay. Only I knew in it. I didn't even tell I didn't tell no one. Mm. Like, it wasn't a thing to tell people, innit? It's mm. not like that. It was, I was just like, bruv, that was crazy. Someone Did you have a girlfriend? Uh not not at this point, you know. Not at okay. this point. No. Um I had girls though. <laughs> 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 but what was I gonna say? Um yeah, like I think like a few days later, I literally remember doing like a GCSE. Mm. And I was like, you know, like a uh, multiple choice, you got to do like A, you cr put the cross in the box, A, mm -hmm, B, C. Mm -hmm. The next letter. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I remember looking around at everyone and I was like, no one's even going through what I'm going through right now, mm. man. I felt nuts. Like, I was like, 
no one's even going through what I'm going mm. through. I was just think, I was just thinking, what the f like, what did I just go through? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I felt nuts. Then um, yeah, so like, I've been arrested now. So this is no comment. Got police bill. I got a sign in like every few days, so they know I'm still here. And then um, I'd say about a month later, see, out of my six codies that I left, co defendants. Mm. Mm. Um, every time <laughs> like one of them will sign in, then he's disappeared. Hmm. Another one signs in, he's Gosh. disappeared. Hmm. Then the numbers are just getting lower and lower. And I remember like I spoke to my solicitor and she's like, oh, yeah, you need to be prepared. Like they're all getting remanded for murder. I was like, what? Like I was thinking, cause, cause remember I got questioned over violent disorder. Mm. I didn't even get charged with violent disorder. Like they put me on police bail pending further. Inquiry. Yeah. But now they're just charging man with murder, not even violence. All that it's just jump from you get me from mm. to that, and like six is becoming five, it's becoming four, it's becoming three. I was like, yeah, I was like, I think like the third one. You know, there's a few left after me, and then yeah, I've gone into signing another time, and then literally like they're like, yeah, we're charging you with murder, and I was mm. just like, oh my days, like I didn't even know how to feel. Like I was like me. Me, but like in my head, yeah, it's mad because I was stressed. But I was thinking like, there's no way that I can go to jail for this. Like I didn't. Do you know what it is? Like um, I didn't even know at this point. But like later on, it happened literally like in front of a lot of witnesses. It happened in broad daylight. Like, happened in front of a lot of witnesses. And like I just knew like from where I was based on where it could have happened. Because remember when I exited the park, I saw the boy. So I was thinking like, if I was there with my man in the bike. How? Do you know what I'm saying? I was thinking, how? So, um, yeah, I've got reminded that day. I've gone to court and they're like, yeah, we're going to remind you into custody. Um, and obviously, yeah, that's bas this is basically my first day going to jail. Mm. And then um, I was got on a circle van. And I remember there's like, um, there was, yeah, I can't lie. I was, I was a bit, I was scared still. <laughs> mm. I was scared. I knew, man, that I've been to jail. But like, they were older youths, they mm. were older. I was only 15, innit? Everyone's jail stories. These men are older. No one my age is no one my age is really going to jail. Like I know they do nowadays, but mm -hmm. that was a big thing. Like if you was 14, 15, because you might go secure them ages, innit? So yeah, yeah. you had to be a bad youth to 15, go to jail. 15, you go to the bin still. Yeah. No, I, I, I went um uh juvenile. Yeah, yeah. Cook and wood, yeah, cook and wood. I had a co-defendant, he was my age, but he blagged them. He went secure, yeah, they're nice. Yeah, He's with Gallon. He's with Gallon. Where did you go? Medway. I went cook and wood. Oh, is it? Rochester, yeah. Not this is in 2010. Bad. Not too bad. What is that? Yo, what? Not too bad. Better than Feltham. I've been Feltham as well later yeah, on. Yeah, not that, yeah, well, that's, oh, Better than waking up in Feltham, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> yeah, that was that was bad. Yeah, what was I was saying, yeah, I've, and um, I've got on a bus, and like I can't lie, like I said, I was scared, man. I was thinking, yo, because I wasn't even big. I wasn't even, like, height-wise, I wasn't... Oh. <laughs> I gotta get less than ten for this show, you know. As long as I get less than ten, I've won. Nah, good. Hey, listen. Um, yeah, man, want. Tom. Yeah. Um, a guy's come on a bus, but he's had another court case in it. Mm. But you know, like when you're on remand, I don't know if you don't know, like when you're on remand, you can go court like three days a week, but you leave jail for the day you're going court, and then you go back to jail. He had a case, and he's come on the bus, but he's from my area, and like he see me. He's like, what, right, right, is that you? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, you're good, you're good. He's like, where you going? You're going cooking wood? I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, you're good, man. All the men were there. So when he said that, I was like, oh, so I, I sat up a bit. You know, mm. I was like, yeah, I was, I was all right, <laughs> I was still. <laughs> and I see another you, light skin you, he's come on the bus and he's like, hey, what? He's like, he's banged, he's like, is that you? He's from our ends as well. He's on, he's on another, he's on some street. Listen, these lot catch cases and don't even tell people. That's, I think mm. that's dodgy. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause we don't know the ins and outs now. We, mm -hmm. Cause it's a street robbery, but what, what else did you do? But you get me, but I can't even get into what he's done. But anyway, he's like, is that you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. And then I just felt like, yeah, cool. I know people now. Mm -hmm. I should be all right. These men were moving like they had it good in there. So I was thinking, yeah, I'll be all right, man. But um, obviously you know about it. We had to do induction, tell you the rules, things like that. I've gone to the wing. And like where I knew these two, and then you know what jail's like, like you could be from a certain area, but you can have bridges from all over London. Mm. So, where these men have been in that jail, like a good four months, five months, they're they just knew everyone. Yeah, so, pattern. even when I come, they're like, hey, look after the little man, or they're just telling people, yo. And worse, that's you're young, man. so you're going to get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Man, pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, <laughs> <rude boy. laughs> yeah like, look after the little man, mm. yeah. He's in, he's in, he's in for a madness. He's in for a fucking madness, man. 
Mm. So I was all right in that in that sense, yeah, man. Like, and then, bro, I was just right. I was just, <laughs> I was just in jail. Like I was going, mm. I was, <laughs> I was going gymnasium. Yeah, I was going gymnasium. Mm. Um, I was in education. I was in IT. Like it was, it was mad. Like one thing I'll say, yeah, it hurt man to be there, but I just felt like instead of stressing about being in jail because I knew people mm. and I knew I'll be a bit safe, I felt like. It, it kind of over it gave me it overruled was that. Was there any like, of other Cody's there? Yeah, yeah, there was like two more there, but one was on a different wing and one was on my my wing. How did they take it? <sighs> they they loved it, bro. They were cool, yeah. Yeah, but that, no, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I didn't like it, yeah, mm. but I didn't let people know I didn't like it. If that mm. makes sense, like, mm -hmm. I, like at least in that shit position, in that shit place, if you know people when you're on exercise. Can just reminisce about the roads, talk about gal, talk about Facebook, with this and that. Mm. And then more time, I just felt like, like God is there, like God's God's got me, man. Like come on, like, I didn't do this. This is mad. So yeah, like it was it was a weird one. Like when I look back now, I was stressed, but I feel like in jail everyone's stressed. How long was your own mom for? So that's what I'm saying. I didn't even do that long. I did like thirty something days because basically my parents put money up. You got bail. I got bail, but Ooh. I was the third one to get bail though. Oh for real? Wow. Yeah, like. Four, so three of us got bail, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I, I, even a fourth man got bail. But he, God loves him because uh, the prosecution forgot to renew his remand time, and by law they just had to release him on mm -hmm. tag. Mm -hmm. uh, he was mm -hmm. gassed. He was so gassed because he's been banging out. He was fighting a lot in jail, so he never would have got bail. Mm -hmm. Me, I can't lie. I kept my head down. My solicitor was like, "We're gonna go for bail. Your parents are gonna surrender some money. Mm. Um, don't tell anyone because people get jealous. Shorty. Yeah, sure. <coughs> people get jealous. Um, I had to give them my passport as well." case man flew out mm. but they're like yeah they always told me don't tell anyone because mm -hmm. apparently i don't think that's true though innit apparently people get jealous and they try to ruin it i don't think that's true i don't know what do you think you never know you never know innit? yeah it's not mm. worth the risk innit mm. Mm. but yeah yeah man got bill um but i'm on tag so i have to be in by seven every day by the end of it you probably wish you didn't get bill but go on no 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 i do i do is it yeah you know, for man Get bail and then man end up getting sentenced. Yeah, no, nah, it's it's pain. Just rather it's just pain. It's pain. Are they just rather right It's almost thing. like I got to prepare. Mm -hmm. Got to prepare, and like, man, I got close with my family because I wasn't close to them that lead up to the crime. Yeah. Um, just that ego thing in it, and thinking like, I don't need to chat to them. Like, mm -hmm. and I remember I got told, oh, you're treating your house like a hotel. Mm -hmm. Just come in when you sleep when you want leave. Don't even get me. You're not eating dinner with us. Like. So the relationship kind of went a bit like that, them sort of times. What was, um, your, what was your relationship with your brother like? Well, for now, it was good, it was good still. How did he feel about all that? When when I went in, mm. uh, he was obviously like, it's mad because I wasn't actually there to see it. Mm. But from what my mum would tell me, like, yeah, he had, yeah, it hit him hard, man. I can't mm. lie, because he was, he would have been 12. Mm -hmm. He was 12. And like, he started getting into, like, he started having like, uh, like anger issues at school. And he went to even, he went to a better school than me. He went to an even better grammar school. but. Mm. That them things are happening there, but he's he's going mad. He's he's punching people. He's smashing things at school. So yeah, it must have hit him hard because obviously I'll, he looked up to me and I was his mm -hmm, big brother. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, hit home. Like it hit him. I didn't really know this even till later. You know, like I only found this out about three years ago. That's why it's really? crazy. Yeah, that's why it's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, and not, like no one really wanted to show me in it because I'm in jail. Like you don't want to add more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's. <sighs> so what sort of things was you doing leading up to the trial? On road now. Oh, uh, now, yeah, so, uh, cool. The main reason they even give me bail is because, obviously, my minimal involvement in a crime. Because, obviously, they've got evidence on who they've like, got CCTV, they've got stills, they've got statements, things like that. So, they know, like, they basically know what happened in it. But they're still trying to get everyone down. Um, also, I don't live nowhere near the the crime scene. Do you get what I'm saying? That's in, like, it's more, that, that, that crime scene is more towards, like, even... Dulwich, do you get what I'm saying? So it's a different part of Lewisham, whereas I was more near like a Bromley, Downham Lewisham. It was like okay. different ends of Lewisham, in it. So yeah, and obviously my parents had to put money up, things like that. But I was in school them times. Remember, I was doing GCSEs. I went to a good school. So when we had to apply for the bill app, um, I was doing my A levels. I wanted to do A levels because mm. I got accepted into a sixth form. Mm. So cool, she wanted to do A levels now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, I see now. Now. Now, now, now. Yeah, you know now I want to do A levels. Nah, I, want I, ch I, I changed my life. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want you uni. I want everything. Man, they were Just saying. Please yeah. allow hey, me. Man, what did they mm. say? Man, they were saying. Man, they were saying. The c the case the case the case made him soft. The case made him sweet because yeah. I was wearing I was wearing polo shirts now. 
Back in the key carnigans, they yeah, were ting at one point. Like, yeah. They said the man them turned sweet, but <laughs> yeah, I can't cool. I even care. Yeah, I didn't man care, bro. Off, yeah. I just done 30 something days <laughs> in jail or month for M. I was thinking, <laughs> bro, I, man could call me what day you can laugh. <laughs> I'm not on it, bro. And do you, know, do, you know, so, do you know what I skipped as well? Yeah, this yeah. is what kind of fucked my head up a bit. When I'm in jail with Roman, remember, I'm still believing. Like, you're naive, you know, when you're Roman. You always believe you're busting it. You could do something on camera and man are thinking they're busting it. That's what happens. Like, you hold on to that bit of hope. And, like, I'm still thinking, I'm going home. Man didn't do it. I wasn't there. Mm. Boom. I'm meeting guys that have been left off for Joint Enterprise. And mm -hmm. they're telling me, bro, we thought the same. And I'm like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Like, I'm bare immaturity time. I'm getting mad. Like, I don't want to hear that, bro. Like, I'm... It's almost like I'm I'm lying to myself now, isn't it? Because bare man are telling me, not even just M's, like some man, like, uh, I think like attempted murders. They're like, look, I got done, I got IPP though. Because um, murders, you get HMP if you're under 18. Mm. Her Majesty's Pleasure, it's, um, mm, yeah, it's like a child, like, like child children's life sentence, isn't it? Mm. Um, but I'm meeting IPPs that got done for attempt murders. Um, IPPs that got done for Section 18. HMP, they used to wear the banana suit. When is was, it? Yeah, when I was in jail. I've been in that before, you know. Yeah, they used to have to wear that. Is it? No, but I was... Escape is... Yeah, I was in that because they said I try to escape still. Mm. But that's that's another story anyway. Mm. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? There's the... Uh, what was I saying again? Yeah, the, the, when I was in jail, yeah, I'm meeting guys, they're telling me they got laughed off. And then I remember when I got bail, it's so mad because like, they're like, oh, the gov's like, I need to chat to you, innit? And then... um. I've gone into the office, they're like, solicitor's on the phone. And my solicitor told me, he's like, listen, you've got bail. You've got bail. And I've gone, no, you're chatting. But I knew this was coming up because they were handing it in. Mm. But when everyone's telling me you don't get bail, because listen, certain men ain't getting bail for temp, uh, for GBH stabbings. You ain't getting bail for M's. Like, it's it's not impossible, but it's it's unheard of. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I got bail, I can't lie, everyone was like, raw, I got bail. I was like, yeah, I got bail. But I was in shock. But like, I'm moving like I'm institutionalised I've only done 30 something days but yeah, yeah. I still was so lost in them 30 days I was thinking I got bail so I done and then like I didn't even believe it really till man got to reception they're checking me out and I got bail but I was on tag and everything like I was on strict like I didn't really have a life um, from 10 If so when I was at school at uh, 6 mm -hmm, form sorry mm -hmm, Monday mm -hmm. to Friday and the weekends from 10 till 4 I was on something called um what's it called it's like a children's probation but instead of sitting in probation we go do activities we go do like go-karting cinemas and that oh, okay. but what's crazy is all the people that are on it with me they're all from man's ends they're all gang mm -hmm, members mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. why it was crazy and my license bell condition sorry said I can't, you can't be with you yeah but nothing ever came of it because like it's not like I'm chilling with them I'm on probation with them so like but then after that I can't be with them innit? things like that um, and then yeah that I was doing that school and then the Christmas holidays come and then January, my trial. And then when I'm at trial now, like, they've separated the nine of us. They've put six. They've put, sorry, they've put six in one dock and they've put, like, three in another dock. And then basically, um, my trial was the first trial. And they were basically, like, saying at the start, if you were in that chasing group that chased... Was you with the six or the three? I was with the six. That's okay. the group one. Mm. But, like, in trial... in. Uh, criminal trials so we did this court case in um, the Old Bailey the Central Criminal Court and obviously that's that's like the biggest mm -hmm, court mm -hmm, in the whole country mm -hmm. like you get finished off in there but if you get natural life in there and like there's six of us in the dock um, it goes from like um, defendant number one but they call him the, I think it's the primary party secondary I'm the secondary there's like it goes down in it there's like the main two three I was number four and the number five and number six, they was the, remember them little kids, the 13 and yeah. the 14 year old. Yeah. That's why I was so upset for them. Yeah. As soon as I yeah. heard, as soon as I heard, they got they got bail though, they got bail they didn't even have to put a piece because their thing is like. No, but in the final, did they get end up getting guilty and getting burned? No, they bought, they bust it. But wow. Oh, did they? Yeah, but they done a mad thing. They done a mad thing. No, they, they kind of said, didn't it? Oh, they oh for real? Yeah, they kind of said. But do you know what's mad? Man's oh, 29 sure. now, yeah. <laughs> no, no. And they were... They, nah, were, they parents, weren't involved. <laughs> their parents told them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their parents they told them. They weren't involved. No, they their parents, parents told them. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I got the transcripts, yeah. <laughs> their parents told them. I got the transcripts. <laughs> and it's, it says it, that one of the parents says, 
Just tell him, yeah, yeah shark, shark up, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jamaican parents as well. Yeah. <laughs> tell them, like, nah, you say, know, like, like tell them. 30, you like never that. done nothing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You never done nothing. You need to tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you long need long to tell them about the Japanese. You, <laughs> 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 you know that? Like, you know that? Like, they just nah, think yeah, you need yeah, that. Yeah, no, 100%. They were like, yeah, but it's mad. But even in Charles, like, what's crazy. Um, Fuck them for we was, real. We was 15. Okay. <laughs> we was 15 and, like, they was very young. Um, So when they're playing their tapes in court, their voices are like mad high, mad squeaky, and like straight away I knew yeah, the jury man they're gonna allow them man they they were youths man they, they were treated us cool like, we didn't know nothing we were just there they were proper youths do you know what I mean no, but mm. this is do you wanna hear my honest opinion bro go on, go on. Go on. and this is just me like you know this is the first time I've heard everything yeah, yeah. <sighs> you might not like what I'm gonna say but I do believe you're part of the joint enterprise part of it. Yeah. No, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear no, what but, I said. No, go but on. just on the strip, this, t- hear me out. Go on, it? go on, go on. Not, because mm. see, when I say what I'm going to say, go yeah, on, go on, go on. I don't believe that you should get the same as whoever done it. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you should get the same as whoever done it. Mm-hmm. But I just do believe mm-hmm. that, like, you was a part of it. No, no, because, no. Because from school, you yeah. got the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. got the call. So that like, cool, I'm going to roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? You come down, you're with the initial group that chased down it. Yeah. Mm. Run them down, boom, they're gone. Yeah, Man's yeah. still here, mm. boom, boom, boom. They've come back, still with the group. Uh-huh. Man's picked up a thing, so man's armed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether or not it's for protection or I whatever, hate, man's hate. armed. You get me? Boom, they've sometimes kicked off in it. Yeah. But someone you're with in it, so yeah, it's yeah. one of the man them in it. They've uh-huh. done what? So unfortunately, mm. It's like it's one of them ones. No, but watch this. But this is where I agree with you as well. Unfortunately, no, it's no. like obviously you're just you've kept it real yeah. in the strength of on a sense of you ain't said no, it was it wasn't me, yeah. he done it. Yeah. But no, but watch, but this is where I agree with you as well. Mm. That's why so even when I went for parole, mm-hmm. I explained to them, I said to them like when I was younger, I was like, nah, man's innocent, man's da 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 like I should go home, this and that. But it's like as I got older, mm-hmm. I kind of realised, like, I think it's, it, it took, I'm not going to lie, like, it did take me time for it to sink in, like, how mm. serious the situation was. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, someone really died. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. See, human beings, like, we're, we can get mad selfish. Like, we get caught up in things and we think, what about me? Like, you know, like, mm. what's going on abroad, Palestine, all that. Yeah, yeah. Some people would kick up a fuss if, if the healthcare wouldn't see them over their toothache way more than what's going on over there, if that mm. makes sense. Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, people... Human beings are a bit like that. So it's took, man, years of like reflection and being in jail, maturity as well. Remember, I was young. Mm. I think as I grew up, I started to realise, yo, like, someone really died. Like, for mm. me to say, I should have gone home, gone back to my normal life, I feel like that's a bit mad. It's mm. mad for me to say that because at the end of the day, like, like you said, it's true. Man went there. Like, I can't fully say man went there with them intentions. Intentions. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm yeah, yeah. But you know what they're yeah. going to look, you know what it looks like, though? Well, when you both go to meet up at a place or you're running down mm. each other and mm. both of you have got, you know, both sides have got weapons, mm, mm, mm. if the two came together... They went either way. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? 100%. Everybody was going to... Do you understand 100%. what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like, Every that's what they're looking at. No, 100%. But for me, what what I was saying was... um. So before you get sentenced, there's a thing called pre-sentence report. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And, um, so Wait, I, so the trial did the trial go? Did you, did you plead not guilty? Yeah, so everyone so was not guilty. Everyone okay. not guilty. Yeah. Uh, so how was that? Fuck you know. It was mad because now they had to prove what... It's supposed to be innocent till proven guilty, mm-hmm. but it was almost like guilty. Till proven, till proven innocent. innocent. Like money laundering. Yeah, basically. That's the one case where you got to prove your innocence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like initially when the trial started, um, it, uh, the prosecution's entire case, entire door to joint enterprise to getting guilty was if the defendant was in the final chase, he's guilty. Because in the final chase, a weapon's now on show. That group, someone is armed now and people are still participating in the chase of the victim uh, when someone's armed. So that was how the trial started. And like, as the trial was going on, when like CCTV's coming out, because remember, uh, we've all got barristers. So everyone's saying, well, my defendant's here or my defendant's there or my mm. defendant was seen by this person. So like even in my situation, like where I left the park and remember that told you the second chase, remember like you chased them, they'd come back, chase them again. But after they'd run off the victim and ran a separate way, 
um, when I chased them at the park that time, uh, there was like a tower block and there was a woman on the third floor. So I found all this out during trial when all the evidence come out, but mm -hmm. um, she made like a live phone call there and then when everything's kicking off. Mm. And like she's basically said, all these boys um, have been chased out the park, like towards her and they've run off. This is the second chase when like, they've come back arms, but they've run off. Mm. And then she's described me cause she's like, there's a mixed race boy. He's wearing black sunglasses. Um, he's got a knife and he's basically like, I'm looking down the road. So as I've chased, he's like, We're look I'm looking down the road. And then they're like, yeah, um, he's looking down the road. She described me to a T like black mm -hmm. um, wallabies, black trousers, uh, like a diamond shape, the wet look jacket from Uniqlo, them kind of jackets with a hood. That was the thing <laughs> in 010. And basically like four seconds later, she's like, oh no, they've just chased another boy. They've all just chased another boy. They were at the park, at the park, at the park. So like when I used that in trial, where we were coming from was like, I was here when the stabbing actually took place. Do you get what I'm saying? And I had CCTV stills from buses. I didn't know at the time, buses film mm -hmm, outwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They film outwards. So where this thing happened on the main road, there's buses going past and it's basically capturing everyone in like, it's stills, mm -hmm. but it tells you like the gaps between how people came out of the park. Some people were like 10 seconds, eight seconds, but obviously eight seconds of running is like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of distance to cover. Um, and then basically, yeah, like I could prove I was 47 seconds away from the stabbing in running time, like as in if I was to be running, um, I proved that I was on the other end. But then throughout the trial, like where everyone could kind of prove they weren't there, because there was only actually three people um, in that final chase. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I found out in trial from CCTV, mm -hmm. it shows you like the three. And um, everyone was kind of like showing that they weren't there. So the prosecution, they changed their whole tactic. Now they were saying whoever went there um, is now like basically guilty for the murder. So is that the other three that was in the other dock? The ones that was in the final, you know, when you no, said no, it was no, three no, and six? No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, 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 that was the first, oh. that was the first of mine. Forgive yeah. her, forgive her, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's calm, it's calm. No, that's, yeah. no, you wouldn't know, innit? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then basically they moved, the, we Shut call up. it, <laughs> <laughs> they, they call it moving the goalpost, innit? Mm. Like, mm. yes, the goal's here, but you've moved the it. Mm. <coughs> moving the goalpost. And um, yeah, basically, uh, all the evidence is given. Uh, we give our evidence. They're summing up. Um, I think the judge will sum up. He will. This way, he directs the jury to make the decision and what they should, what steps they should follow, things like that. Um, we will give our summings up of why they what should the, return. What the judge summing up? What was he saying? What was he saying? He's basically like he reads out what happened on yeah, the day. Yeah, I don't. Um, mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> but I'm saying, what was his direction? Like? No, his direction was, was like, if you believe, so if you believe this person uh, went to the park to stab or kill someone, mm -hmm. go to number two, step two. Um, if you believe this person uh, knew someone was going to stab and kill someone, go to the next one. Mm -hmm. If you believe this person was involved in a final chase go to the next one. But you see, if it was no for any of them, it's, it's not guilty, it's not guilty. So if you believe the person went to go do serious harm, step two, if you believe the person knew someone had a knife and was gonna use the knife mm. to cause serious harm or kill, go to step three. And the last one was, do you believe that person was in that final chase? Uh, and then if it's yes, obviously it's guilty. If it's no, I think if it, I think if it was no, no, nah, it was guilty as well. Was, sorry, if it was no, it was not guilty. But um, the jury couldn't take, they didn't, they weren't able to make a decision straight away. Mm. And like deliberation, they call it deliberation. It took too long. Mm -hmm. And then basically um, at the start, they were talking about, you can get majority votes. Um, the jury wanted to do like, we've got majority verdicts as in someone might disagree. There's yeah, 12 jurors. Yeah. 10 um, to two. 10 to two, 10 to two. So 10 out of two, whatever goes, 10 out of two wins in it. So if mm. 10 people say guilty, you're guilty. 10 people say not guilty, you're not guilty. Um, my solicitors were basically saying we don't have to aim for no guilties all we have to aim for is a hung jury mm. so they were like if you can put doubt in three of the jurors minds mm. um, and three people say not guilty six, six. you get a, mm. you get a hung mm. jury and then um, I think you go trial again though which is yeah. mad I think that's crazy you I go trial yeah, again yeah because the prosecution knows what your defence is coming <laughs> with mm. I, think that's, I think that's just crazy mm. but you go again if you get a hung jury again you go home so that's what my solicitors were saying because I think by 2010, so many people went jail for joint enterprise. I mm. think 
slightly the solicitors were like, yeah, this is just a losing case, but yeah, they where the duty, they get paid regardless. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, some of them, just, they're just, not even just on your side. In. They get paid regardless. Yeah. Like, I had some people on my case, I can't lie, the team was not doing nothing for them. Mm-mm-mm. My mum used to say, that was actually bad. I said, I know. Like, that was, they didn't even back them like that. They're just like, yeah, 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 say two, two, and you need to back them because mm. my solicitor was backing me. Mm. A couple of my solicitors, they're backing them. Uh, yeah. I, f- I think they just know it's a losing yeah. battle or yeah. in their hearts they know you was You've heavily involved man. <laughs> so mm. to get it but um, yeah the jury were taking long to deliberate and like the day of so like the final day where I think it was, took like 15 days how did you feel when they were deliberating did you feel like you was going to get a not guilt yeah I felt like I was going to not guilty oh, you, yeah. felt, remember, you felt remember, confident remember, remember four of us are out you know no not four one two three yeah four of us are out now mm. we're like we're on road we're on bail on that mm. And then obviously it's, there's um two that are like in jail. Mm. And obviously like, cause I can't lie, cause I got that bail. I'm saying after the trial, you've heard, do you know what I mean? When you've heard everything, you know when you've like, been through like, the trial, like, 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 like how cool. do you feel? I'll be honest with you, I felt it was mad. Like I felt confident, mm. but at the same time, there's always that chance it's gonna go so left. It was a shock then. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about yeah, your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was they, did they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was okay, shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even now, earlier, I know when like, it feels mad. Yeah, when I know nah, it felt like, mad. Oh, it felt right. mad. It felt mad. Oh, if I know, like, nah, nah man, it definitely felt uh, mad. Do you remember earlier? I was like, um, I kind of got to prepare. So like, subconsciously, I was preparing. Like, so it's like I was subconsciously preparing, but I didn't really think it would happen. Still, I can't lie. I didn't really think it would happen. I was like, raw. Like, it definitely hit man. Still, I think it hit everyone. Mm. Everyone mm. was surprised. Everyone was surprised. So, um, yeah, so how did you feel? Because, like I said, yeah? Yeah. Like, me, obviously, if I was in the jury, I'd have found you guilty as well. Not like, I would have found you not guilty because I'm a rude boy. What, a but I'm saying, if I'm, I'm, I'm a rude boy, oh, so no, I'm no, saying sorry, just on, I forgot. Yeah, just on, on the now. strength of everything. What would you say, Queen? No, but you need to remember, yeah, it was mm. it was to do with the, the final chase. Mm. No, but the forget chase. the final chase. That's what I'm saying. Uh, as cool. as a human being, because yeah. sometimes they will say like final chase and all that shit or whatever. But then you have to realize you're sitting. It's twelve human beings, mm. and they could be teachers, doc, like just normal people. Mm. So like they've got their kids and that. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So they're just gonna be there, thinking on that level, innit? it? Mm. And it's like forget the final chase and all that. It's like what I said. Did all of that come out in court? Ah. Oh. Like that Maybe. you got the call and yeah, yeah, yeah. but 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 Do you know, know what I mean? but but you know that uh, cool. I need to show you the rest of the case though. Mm. So you see that other group. Mm. So still in denial. No no no, it's not even a mm. denial thing. It's, it's cool because you're no, out no, here. Anyway. I'm just trying to but show then, you. I'm just trying to no, show I'm you. Joking, like okay. see the I'm other right, group here. Yeah. Right? Remember like the other group. Listen, you see the other group here. Remember they done the exact same thing we done, but they got different charges. They got done for what they done. So they got like violent disorder possession of offensive weapon they got things like that do you know what I'm saying because what my solicitor was saying see the Merkers did he never think to just it was me no so he just kept it yeah, mm. yeah just mm. come on I wouldn't be saying it was me as well <laughs> no I'm just saying I just did you all with all your brethren's on the line we like all that. better know what we're doing here we all better know what we're doing here because I'm not gonna we all went together <laughs> he knew <laughs> we phoned him that's an he, easy mm. no but I'm just saying no but I'm just saying me, as the Merkers. Was you thinking that he should have just said it was As him? the Merkers. Like, what was the majority did of Did you even like, know I'll be, him? I'll be real with you. I, I, I like, as I, your bridge, I'm saying, was like, it I your bridge I, I, I knew him, but Was like, it like a bridge in I met him that year. Okay. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my bridge is bridge. Yeah, Do you I know what I'm that, saying? I knew him that year, and then, um, um, yeah, look, that's what I'm saying. That same so, like, guy that you that rang you in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you yeah, know yeah, I knew. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so. You know. What's I saying? Yeah, so the other group, they got done for like violent disorder, possession of offensive weapon, mm. and like. So what, they didn't get the M? No, that's what I'm trying to say. So, like, but you need to understand, like, mm. I hear what you're saying about I went there, we've done this about like. Mm. You picked up the knife. They done, well. they, like, what I'm trying to say is like. What did you pick got, up the knife for? Because like, I was scared. So, that's what I'm saying. But if someone, if one of them came, where she had the yeah, night. but that's self defense, you know. I promise you, that's self defense. If the two of you are both, it's no, no, no. Pr- if someone came for you with a sword and there's a knife and you pick it up, that's self defense. Yeah, but obviously mm. it's different if you go for someone in it. Like it's the person that goes for them first. You get what I'm saying? That's like I found out later on. Like that's I would have got less for mm. a manslaughter in self defense if mm. that happened. Mm. That's why it's crazy. But I've always just felt like I got three years difference from mm. the person that done it. Oh shit. Yeah, I got three years difference. He only got fifteen. Yeah, so Rep. what? So what I'm trying to say is like, 
I should I feel like I should have got done for things that I've done. Yeah, like less. at the end of the day, the murder, that's too heavy of a charge. Mm. Like I'm not trying to this is what I say from the start. I wasn't mm-hmm. trying to say I should have gone home. Mm-hmm. Like man committed crimes that they call something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's men that have do you get me? Man committed mm-hmm, crimes. Mm-hmm, like, I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie, but like I just felt like how can I get done for murder? Mm. Everywhere I go, I'm apparently so you should have that so, on your so, name. Yeah, so that's your actual charge. That's actual charge name. Murder, yeah. Life, yeah. Life, huh? yeah. So joint enterprise mm. is like a common law that's used. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't. It's uh, a lot of people think joint enterprise is a charge. Like it's just a law that's used to get you the murder charge. Right. So like, a lot of times like murder cases will happen and like six people will all get guilties for mm. one man's action. So that's like six people on the wing. You'd say there's six murderers there, but it's only one person has done it. Mm. So like, this is why jails right now, even till today, mm, mm. 2023, they're full of so many kids from London that are left off, but only maybe a third of them have even done it. Do you get me? It's like, it's just, the joint the price, like it brings a lot of lifers in, it creates a lot of lifers, um, gives out a lot of big sentences. Some fair still, but you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm with his, but I'm saying like, see like, for instance, mm. if the 13 and 14 year olds didn't snitch, do you understand if they didn't snitch? You know the the, yeah. the young ones yeah, that yeah. just came right at the end mm-hmm. and they didn't really know what was going on. Mm. Remember? Yeah, come on. And them in them situations, them sort of guys getting down for they shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. I think it's an unfair mm-hmm. thing. Because yeah. yeah. they're you know young I mean? and they want to see I what's going with on. With you, I just feel like I'm with you. I just don't feel like you should have got that the same. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I that's don't what I'm saying. Feel but, but like, like I'm not trying to fully say like. I t- like I'm a good kid. I sh- like man, I know things happen, mm-hmm. but no, 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 at the end of the day, you bro, know, it's your honestly, s- your no, honestly, you do seem like a good kid. Though. Mm. No, no, no. I'm, I'm nah, being serious. I hear you. I hear you. I'm being serious. You. you seem like a good kid. I hear you. Not like not like that, but mm-hmm. you don't seem like someone that should have been. But that's doing what I'm saying. If, if you knew life me, sentence, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you knew me at 15, like even that situation, only 15. it was like it's like we look at it as like you knew, you but then again, I didn't know. I was mm. 15. Mm. I was very naive. Very young. That's what I'm saying. I didn't go home to get changed because I knew I was riding up. Remember, I was still in uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, man still had my blazer on. Like, I didn't, I didn't prepare for Bro, what could so have happened. Do you get what I'm saying? It was it's just, so sad. I was very naive. That's mm. why, like, a lot of people, like, so there are obviously people with the opinion, like, oh, but, 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 but like, they're looking at it from what they would have done today. They from can't think back to when they were 15. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know the, you know the maddest thing? My son's 15 now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In that, that same age. And I could imagine him following his bridgings. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, and not, but because you, you, you know, is do you know what I mean? If you <laughs> not don't knowing know, if they phone, if you don't like, know, if they phone and you just go yeah, along. When you're young, you just with, go along. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, you're but, very naive, innit? If you, unless you've experienced similar things, maybe not with a knife and that. Though. It might just go his yard still. But. <laughs> no, but even in that situation, when things got out of hand, I was in an area that I didn't know. Mm. So it's like some people, prosecution were trying to say like you should have just left. But then I'm in a mad area, I don't, like I'm basically in their area. So for me to just leave, I'm just going bus stop on my, remember I'm not driving. So mm. what am I doing? Getting caught at the bus stop on my own. And it's just like, I just felt safer to move with around the, like with the group. Because like alone. But even for, you was already safe. Cause you was out of town. You was at your ends when they spoke to you and said what happened at the From school the when you got G-checked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah, yeah. you've travelled into it, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the part oh, yeah, about got, it. Got, with, we, you we understand got, what I'm saying? We got on the bus as well and we tapped our Oyster cards. Mm. And obviously, them times yeah, Oyster told cards. You, yeah, registered. Told you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it wasn't how, no... Yeah, it wasn't a plan. It wasn't no, we're going to catch an M, let's not use our Oysters. Yeah, yeah, We just went. Didn't go to M's that day. That's what I'm trying to say. hundred percent. That's how naive... Mm. like we was like 100% do you get what I mean like I think because when you're young meeting up to fight is actually quite common yeah that's what I'm saying you know like, what I mean like if someone troubles you you see do you know what I think you should have go got, there but not that you should have got but if they were going to give you that I think they should, you should go at manslaughter manslaughter yeah yeah if they are going to so like, I had cold not fling at M's got, on you like, I had cold defenders that got manslaughter do you get what I'm saying yeah, I had cold defenders that got manslaughter like alright what, what was it what, how come say the difference man- was was they were just there Remember the difference with me because I picked up the knife and threw it. Um, they ha- they could say, "Oh, you touched the knife." They and then they had the stills else. of you running with the crowd. Yeah, 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 they had, yeah. That's what I'm saying. They yeah, but just the fact that he picked up the knife, mm-hmm. he's just moving. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah right. that's what it was. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so and man. F- uh, uh, yeah, out of so remember nine, two got off, come seven, three got murder, and mm. four got manslaughter. It's fucked. Yeah, and used one of the ones that got yeah. the M. I got, so there's a 15 year sentence, 14 year sentence, and I got a 12 year sentence. So when they said guilty, how did, did you feel like you was going to faint? 
No, I didn't feel like I was going to faint, but um, I don't know. It was just like a mad, you know, like when everything you're, so like the sound mm -hmm. was just overpowered by like a shh. And I just remember looking at the floor, like I was just like. Because now you don't even know what it is. I now. was just like. Psh, no, yeah. like now you don't even know what you're going to get. I just couldn't get. believe it. Like, it Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't even know what you're going to get. Because no, the 12 is actually a result. Yeah, 12 was yeah. the. I think 12 was the guidelines. That was what it mm. said. So it starts from 12. Mm. You can get aggra aggravating features, which adds years on. You can get mitigating, which takes years off. Mm -hmm. But they just left me at the starting at 12. Mm. And I remember like even on the day of sentencing, because uh, we got guilty. IPP, yeah? What's up? IPP as well. Did you get? No, no, or no. Or was no, it no. just straight 12 rec? H H H P, rec yeah. Rec yeah, yeah, rec rec yeah, recommended. Um, so what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah. We didn't get sentenced on the day I got guilty. Um, we got sentenced a bit later on because there was um, another trial for the mm. for yeah, other people. They wanted to do pre-sentence report. Pre-sentence report, yeah. And that's where I said, like, you know, I was guilty of other crimes. But um, on the day of sentencing, I remember the judge was like, if any of you lot were 18, when when this crime took place, the starting point, 25. 25. 25. Mm -hmm. mm. And when he said that, yeah, there was mad sounds in the gallery, like, there was mad sounds. I was just like, oh. How old was the oldest? 16. Okay. So for him to so say 25, we weren't babe, even. Bag of youths. Uh, it was mad. It was mad. Bag of youths, man. Mm. That's so sad mm. as well, though. It's mad. Because it's just Could young. you imagine all the parents in that? In yeah. yeah, there was like all the parents. Because it's just bare youths, you know, like just not knowing what they're even, you know, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. Mad thing. It's crazy, man. But um, yeah, I got the 12, but like I got it handed down third. The first guy, I got 15. There was noise in the gallery, like, second guy got 14, then I got the 12, and then, like, I don't know, it sounds mad, but, like, I expected, a, uh, like, a because I got told to expect 15, okay. so when I got the 12, it was bittersweet, it was, like, All right, you got I three years it wasn't too bad, but, like I say, by then, I think my mind, I'd already, I'd been in jail five months now. So I'd, so I'd, no, it ain't enough, of course it ain't enough, but I'd, I'd accepted it. I'd yeah, accepted yeah, yeah, man's, yeah, man's yeah, yeah. now, innit? Yeah, you if don't it, like five is fresh, though. Yeah, five is 100%, Fuck but like... Know, to hold that... I don't right. know how to say, like, it's only looking back now... Because you're young that, as well, no, but because yeah, you're young. that's why I was like, I kind of was... A, I you prepared took myself. You took it. So to even say that, even to say that, that means that I've... I, my mind was in a different place, mm. you know, because like, like I've been out nearly a year, and to even be able to accept your man's going to do bird, like... That's, that must have been a mad place Man, I was in. It. You was young as well. It's been a mad place, yeah. You was young, because the maddest thing is at that age, you will take it on still. You think so? Yeah. It's easier, I it? went to when I was 16, and it's like, you don't care as much. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%, you know 100%. Not as much. I can't like, lie, like. If you used to get that now, now that mum's life, yeah. Been. You know what I'm saying? You know, I that's said a this, heartbreaker. I said, like, now get that, that man's now, out, a big man. Hmm. That's going to mess man up. Because yeah, I've seen, do you know what it is? I remember when I've been in jail, I've been to like, I've been to different jails. Like, obviously, mm. usually because of my sentence, I go to long term units yeah, in it, yeah. life of wings, things like that. But I've been security shipped to jails where, like, there's a mixture. There's guys on remand in for driving, hitting their wife, mm. all of that on my wing. And, like, I remember being young and so naive. I was 21, yeah. And I used to see all these grown men. Like, you know, when you're 21, like, a man in his 30s is old. I see a man in their 30s, man in their 40s. And, like, they used to stress. I see them smash up their cell. To see them self harm, and like, they're an idiot bird, or mm. like I didn't get because I I don't I don't have kids in it, but they were like my kids, mm. my kids. Next thing you know, they're jumping off banisters of ropes around their neck. Listen, look at these jokes, man. But by then, I've done like five years now, so I'm like without knowing. Seasoned. I'm basically institutionalized. Yeah, like, this is whole mm. minute. Like yeah, yeah, I don't stress about jail mm. because I don't know nothing else now. Do you know what I'm saying? That's mm. literally what happened to me. Like I remember, I was thinking like. Like, I used to say to people, like, you lot stress that you're in jail. Like, I stress when I can't go to gym. Do you mm. get it? I stress, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. I stress when my visit gets cancelled. I stress when I get a nick in. I don't stress mm. because man don't jail know no jail. different. Yeah, man yeah. don't know no different. Remember, this is home. Boys, boys this to is man. home. You turn from a boy to a man in there. Literally, this is home. Like, Wife, it becomes like. so normal. That's mm. no, gone. <laughs> it becomes so normal. Like, and, like, even my sentence, I used to plan it. I used to be like, if I get my, if I behave, I'll get my cat B. I'll keep behaving, mm. get my cat C and I used to and navigate like when I go here, get my cat D eventually work my way out. And like where I had a good education previously, mm. um, I would just always do education mental, mm. like and I would just help out like a TSA, like teaching assistant. Mm. But like screwboy. 
No, no, not even that, not even that. No, nah, def- like definitely not that. Boy, still. Definitely not that, because uh, man was on madness on the wing uh, still. <laughs> no, nah, you know me, that, yeah. Trust me, man was on madness on the wing. I don't but... care, <laughs> Now, you know that. Like, <laughs> no, nah, like, you don't know, innit? But yeah, you there's a lot of men that know Bobby me are going to see this. Man was definitely on madness still. Bobby Kassang is a screwboy, innit? Oh, is it? Yeah. How do you know? Because I was in jail with Bobby. Oh, okay, okay. You got Bobby. You got Bobby. Okay. But what was I going to say? I know, I'm always, I'm always winding him up. He's a listener. He's a listener. You know about listeners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, a listener. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, listeners are screwboys, isn't it? It depends, though. No? It depends, though. Because I know listeners that, like, they pattern. They pattern. He's a screwboy still. No, no, no. I, no. I've never been a listener. No, you have no, to be no, very no, clean I'm for a, that. I'm mind games. 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 No, but I know lifers that are, like, birdies. Devi were a screwboy car. You understand? Smarty. Yeah, he's got that, he's got that, um, Freestyle out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. moving like a screwboy still. Nah, um, yeah, I was the education man. No, I was doing things like that. And obviously, I was doing music in it. Like, I think, like, I started music when I was like 19. Um, I'm like a couple of years. In the bin, yeah? Yeah, I started jail when I was in. I started music when I was in jail. Mm. But before I went jail, remember I told you I had friends that used to do it as a hobby. Mm-hmm. And like, sometimes they say drop something out like, right at 16. Used to go to some leisure center. You can mm. just record in a classroom. No mic, just to mess around. And yeah, I started writing when I was in jail. And like, I don't know, it just went from there. Literally, I was, I used to, I was, I was singing and that. I was doing r and like, not even R&B, but you know, like Jeremiah kind of. Singing as well, Drake yeah. Kinda, yeah, yeah, like Drake kind of. I was singing my choruses, but rapping yeah, there. There's man in jail that was trying to sing as well. <laughs> <laughs> that nah, that's funny, not, nah, that big, yeah, funny yeah. to me. It's different, trust it, trust yeah, yeah. What was I going to say? Um, Wesley, I can't remember his name in a mile down block. I swear if I oh, could remember from, your from name. What now nah, he's from West now, nah, not not my man, not a kill. Oh. I said, Joe, what's his name? Man, me and Deccan was down blocking him. I swear he had a fight with Minnie. <laughs> he had a fight with Geisha blood. And he was in Holiday Bay where he was singing, mm. like proper singing, you know. Okay. Mm. Mm. And then like yeah, like when I was in Joe, like I remember I was just writing music. And then I was just I kind of become mad popular still. Yeah, like I was respected by the man them. But when it comes to music, like everyone was always like, yo, drop something or do something. You're rating it, rating it. I was doing, yeah, I started like first. So he was dropping stuff from inside? Nah, this is, these times I was just writing on books, in books, and I just dropped live, like mm-hmm. on the association. Mm-hmm. Like, come listen to this. Like, you man, come, like, we'll be bored. Might get some liquor, like some hooch. Mm. Man, they start dropping, start freestyling themselves, things like that. Um, and then, yeah, like, it's become mad popular. How was your learn. journey? Journey. How was your journey in jail? Like, journey. started off cook on wood? Um, pff, I can't lie, like, when I first came... Oh, no, no, when you went got went back... Yeah, so when I went back, back, I went to a jail called Ashfield. That's when you first... That's the first, yeah, so okay. now, man, no, I'm staying in it. And I'm in Ashfield. Ashfield, Ashfield Warren Hill. You went Warren Hill, yeah? Holly's Bay. Bay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nah, I never went there, but... Yeah. Warren Hill, that's yeah. that Holly so it used to be called the next same it, thing, next man. Nah, 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 they're different. Nah, back in the day, now nah, back in the day, Holly Bay was Warren Hill. Warren Hill was the um, juvenile um, section, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. old unit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. you an old? Nah, I was on. Um, I was on. There's, there's a long term of when I was on. Okay. Calford, Calford. Okay. Calford unit. That's like five years and over. But was you older then? Nah, I was when I f- now nah, sixteen. So yes, that's what I'm saying. Sixteen, so yeah. 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 yeah, but um, yeah, I lasted two months. Mm. Two months I got um this one I was in Ashfield. Mm. Basically one of my friends he was having a fight on the wing, some keys um like flew down the landing and then one you picked it up and he started opening doors. This is like <laughs> middle of association, alarm bells ringing, officer is like can't do nothing. He's just like, going at yeah. it, bruv. Like, can't do nothing. He's waiting for assistance, of govs are taking long, they're a bit scared because they're big use. And like the keys went flying. One guy I know, he's like, he's like, a, he's one of the rated youths on the wing. He's big youth. <laughs> he's all busting. He's opening doors. He's letting people out. Then he threw the keys. And imagine these times. Um, I think I had a visit that day, mm. so I knew if them keys go missing, like we're on lockdown. So imagine I've picked up the keys. I've put it on a table in the middle of the wing, on camera. Like I just put it there. Yeah, I got security shit for that. Mm. Imagine I've everyone's bang, banged up. The fight stopped hour later I'm thinking like within 20 minutes there's meant to be lunch but I'm thinking why is no where's the doors where's the, where's mm. all the noise no one's coming out all I'm hearing is a door open then the door close another door opens then the door close and then like I remember like I'm hearing them go up the stairs come round come to a man 
but they skipped me. And I was thinking, what's going on? And then once they'd finished the whole ring, my door would just come off whack. The door went bow, like slapped. There's a guy, like a tall guy stood at the back. He's got a camcorder. Um, there's guys with shields. They're like, get to the back of your cell. Say your name and your number. I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Like they told me, turn around, put your hands on your head. They literally handcuffed me. And they took me down to the block. And then like, they were telling me, oh, you've, you're getting done for escape. Like, you're getting done for escape, you're fucked. Like, they were telling me I'm finished. Mm. And, like, these times, I hadn't been sentenced yet, you know. So, this is all come, gonna you come. You gave me sentenced no, yet? No, this happened no. in May. Mo- f- uh, no, so, you're still of, jail. 5th of March, sorry. 5th of March, 2011. No, I'm telling a lie, man. It's it's around May times, early May 2011. So, two months in, I got found guilty in March 2011. So, I've been in jail for two still months. Still on JR. Yeah, Judges Roman, yeah, he yeah, knows, he on. knows. Yeah, Judges Roman, so I'm not sentenced, but I'm guilty. I was in jail them times. So, um, yeah, I'm down the block and they're telling me, oh, you tried to escape. And I explained to them, I put the keys back, like, check the cameras, are you not moving? So I put mm. it back, because it, it was a visit. Like, oh, my visit didn't even happen, by the way. Mm. His parents got told, yeah, because yeah. I don't know what they thought. I don't even know if they really thought that, but the fact that I touched it. Mm, someone that, needed to get blamed. Yeah, and I didn't know. So the youth that was busting doors, uh, he got in big trouble. He got battered. They took him before they took me. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know they battered him. Like, yeah. He was doing the madness because he's unlocking people on basic. They're not even meant to be out. Yeah, yeah. And when they were coming out, they were slapping him. Oh, my, oh, my, free me, free me. Yeah. It was it was like a it was like a movie. I can't lie. And then um, mm. I got took down a block and then I remember like they're telling me try to escape. I told them the reason at my visit. They said, yo, we ain't got no visit. And then um, they come back to me like later on at night and they basically like, they took everything. Like they took my cl- uh, my clothes, they took my quilt, they took my bedding, they even took my cutlery. They're like, oh, this could be a potential escape risk. Cause they took everything. You know, like when you got duvet cover, mm. but then you've got something called a fro, the little fin, mm, they just mm, left mm, me with mm, a fro. Mm. I was just thinking, bro, this can't be legal, bro. I'm in my boxers and socks, this can't be legal, man. Mm. <laughs> it can't be legal, but they done that, and then the next day, the bus was outside. Psh, I'm going Warren Hill, straight to Warren Hill. Then from I, there, and then I went straight down the block. But in Warren Hill, I had the E-man suit. Mm. Warren Hill, I didn't last long, two months for assault. Um, then I went to, I went to felt. Oh yeah, so from Warren Hill, I got sentenced. Mm. So I went Old Bailey, got my twelve. I've come back. How but when did I that f- feel? So it, like I say, it was a bit of sweet thing. It was like. It was pain that I got the 12, but I needed to know what I was getting to mm. even get on with my mm. life to get mm. in. I needed to know what's man doing that. Like, am I doing a 16? Am I doing it? Because it could range from anything. Mm. So when I found out, I felt a lot better. Like, oh, yeah, cool. At least I know what I'm doing. Like it I told you, to. I was trying to navigate my centers. And then, yeah, I went back to, so I had to go Felton because that was the closest jail to the Old Bailey because yeah. we come back so late. And even my first night in film was mad because they, they didn't find me a TV for like two hours. Mm. I was thinking to myself, like, I should have been bugging out like most of my would, but where man got the sentence, like, it's not even like I was going to really sit there and watch movies all night. I got the 12, like, I was mm. just like in my own thoughts in it. But they found me a TV and then the woman was like, oh, I ain't got aerial. And she gave me a pencil. She's like, you know how to use this? I said, what? She showed me, she balanced the pencil, lead in the telly, pencil against the wall. I was thinking, this is like the worst job I've ever been in, man. The cells are so dirty. Mm-mm. There's no, like, even the windows, like, it's just so cold. So mm. cold in the room. Like, we're, we're yeah. woken up by the peacock's wife. Yeah, there's, pe- there's, yeah there's pieces. There's there still. They're there. You see them. Headed in the pot of tune, innit? He's not lying. There's really pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, and that was the jail that I can see. Uh, hey, everyone was on smoke still. Everyone was definitely on smoke. But them times there, like, you adapting it. Like, I, was, I wasn't I was that same 15-year-old that was scared at the start. Like, by mm. now, I've had fights. Like, I can handle myself in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I wouldn't really start anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, mm. that's just that. That's a troublemaker thing, innit? Like, you don't really need to do all that. But I was there for, like, a few weeks. But um, where I'd been lifed off now, obviously, you felt him, you know, it's a like Roman jail, innit? Yeah. Um, they don't have long term units. There's only a few of them in the country. Imagine there's only three long term units for juveniles in the country. Mm. One was Ashfield. No, 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 no. Juveniles, like under oh. 18s. Mm. So you get it? There's only three. Ashfield, one, the one was Ashfield, security shipped out for the keys. Mm. One was Warren Hill, security shipped out because of the assault. 
the last one was Weatherby. That's in Leeds. Yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah. man went all the way to Leeds. Weatherby. Oh my days, bro! Mm -hmm. Like with the Leeds, the Leeds Joe. Yeah, they're right up there. No, they're cool. They don't kind of they they they, they, they right love London there. man still. They're they right used to listen. Right Remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they yeah. they rate the thing still. But equally, they do their thing. But obviously, yeah, all, they, all they, their rappers they, are from they London. They do some dumb crime. Like yeah, it's, no, but they they do things now. No, no, no. But it's still dumb. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They're doing dumb stuff. Like they'll get caught for it. They're not thinking about not getting caught. I was in jail. I was in Doncaster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, no, yeah. they do. But, um, there was one thing, one one club, Casa Locos, like. But every everyone was we we in there for our shooting outside Casa Locos. This one for shooting outside Casa Locos. Everything outside Casa Locos is nuts. Swear. I think you can be judged. Don't you not do anything anywhere else? Like yeah. we got monkey, R.I.P. Banner them, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um whiskers and them water there. <laughs> mm. Whatever be now. And um yeah, man's a, I'm on a long term unit. I'm with people from London. Couple of people from Birmingham. Big up C one as well. Yeah, oh, big, up, big up, big up, yeah, big up C. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, like whoever be was different. I'm meeting. It's the first time I've been exposed to like people from up north. Mm. So, Ashfield was in Bristol, but there's a lot of London men in there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in jail from London, as you can imagine. Like compared to like little long term, I see. Yeah, little cities and that. But um, I'm meeting man from Liverpool. I'm hearing a Liverpool accent for the first time. Mm. Shout out Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, that's Manchester. No, that's, I thought that was a scouse. No, no, we I'm going mad. <laughs> Shout out lad, we shout yeah, yeah. lad. They do, the lad, lad. lad. They, they do the lad thing okay, still. I'm mad, I'm okay, mad. But there's like, youths from Bradford, youths from Brom. That's where I like, met Brom youths properly. Mm. Like, Manchester youths. It's a mixture, in it? But like, yeah, the Joe was a decent Joe. I can't lie, it was all right, man. You get a bit of gym and that. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> How long you do there? And then uh, so I went there when I was seventeen, did a year, turned eighteen, and now I become a young offender. Mm. So I go to YOs now. Mm. Um, I went to one called Swinton Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I in um, Swinton Hall. I know Swinton Hall. Uh, like yeah. yeah. So yeah, I done three years in there still. Bear Birmingham man. Then. Bear Birmingham man. Yeah, that's their job. Are you done a nice little? Done the three. I literally yeah. done it till I was twenty one. Okay. Then I went adults. And where did you go? Um, so what's mad is like Winston Green. No, no, no. Where did I go? I went, I went to, I got security shipped again mm. to a jail called Brinsford. Yeah, Brinsford, yeah. But, um, that's why old though. That's why old, yeah. But, um, where I'd already, well, I was two days away from turning 21, went to Brinsford, and then in Brinsford, like, where I turned 21, they're like, yeah, you gotta go adult jail. Mm. They sent me to HP Hule. Okay. And, like, so I'm 21 now. I've been in for, like, just under five years. So, no, let me say, I've been in for four years, and basically, like, um, so I'm 21, I've been here for four years because when I got my guilty, mm. I turned 17 four days. So I'm basically 17 when I got my guilty. Mm. I've been in jail four years and like, I finally was in a jail where the age goes up to, like it goes up to whatever age. Yeah, yeah. And I remember being in like reception and I was thinking to myself like, oh, like I didn't really feel comfortable. I can't lie to you because remember I've done jail with kids in it, like people mm. my age. Yeah, yeah. And then when I'm in reception, I'm seeing guys like checking in Big and man. they're looking yeah. bolo. Mm. And it's like, once again, it's like, man felt good for my age group, but then seeing wham guys, bro, and I mm. thought, oh, like, imagine if they try to beat me up now, like, mm -hmm. I'm finished. Like, I'm, in a, I'm not even in London anymore. I'm on my own. Like, a lot of times where I get caught up in situations, I have fights on that, I'll get shipped out. But what they do, like, as you know, they ghost you away from home. They don't send you closer to home, they send you further away. So, like, every time I've tried to come back down, if I get caught up or if I like lose my temper, I get chipped away further. Mm. And like that, obviously that puts a strain on like family visits, things like that. It puts yeah. a strain on you mentally yeah, as well because you're not even around your own culture now. Mm. You've got to like try. It's like when I was at secondary school, man's got to, got to fit in with the Scousers now. I've got to fit in with the Bromutes. Mm. And like, it was different, but it helped me like, I think it helped me learn more, I can't lie. I'd rather they up north me, personally. It's, it's, it's a bit, yeah, it can get, That's see hard. for me, in my position, remember like, I ain't got a release date. Mm. So if I go down south and think, yeah, I want to be close to home, but I might get into it because you know how London jails are compared yeah, yeah. to these other jails. Man, if I go to a jail, come on, man. If I go to a jail in like Ipswich or something, mm. no one ain't troubling you, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they mm. might have their little, they got their, they thing. Got their thing. They don't yeah, care about yeah, me. Yeah, they don't yeah. care about me, man. Who cares? Like they got their thing. Mm. And like where I'm alive for like, if I wanted to be closer to home, visit, because everyone's like, go close to home, you'll get better girls mm, visiting mm, mm. you. Man, them come at three times a week. Yeah, but... If I'm in a jail where it can potentially go off all the time, mm. 
Mm. I'm never gonna go home. You rather That's just get on with it. Never gonna go home. Do you know what I'm saying? So like a lot of lifers that I've met from London, they always go up north. They mm. love it. Like it's just you're calm in it. And mm. the the beef that's going on, it's Birmingham beef. Mm. It's not in the beef. So you're just cutting true. It's not to do with you. You're cutting true, that's what I'm saying. And I think you can you can do your sentence better mm. knowing that yeah, I might, I might lose it all tomorrow because if my man might come, I might lose it all next week. Like you can actually study, mm -hmm. you can actually do things, you can get learn a trade, you can do something. Because if you're doing bird, you you can't go in with no skills, no, you know what I'm saying. You can't go in with nothing and come out of nothing. That's mad. Like you have to gain something from prison. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So as a lifer, like you kind of have to accept you live here. What am I gonna do in my life? It's the same as being on road. Like you can't do much in prison, but you can still come. I know a man. I met a man today. He he done 12 years for, it wasn't even for murder, he done 12 years for some something. But he, he's got this diploma, this degree, this, that. And like, he made me feel like, wow. wow. You but he, he was a grown man though, innit? Like, he's like 40 now, but mm -hmm. I feel like, fuck, like, fuck, he done, he done his thing. He done his thing, yeah. Obviously I grew up in there, innit? Mm -hmm. But I didn't come out of no degrees and I can't lie, but mm -hmm. this is one of them ones, yeah. I felt like, yo, he done, he done a lot, like he's all, so got some scholarships and that. I'm thinking, mm. wow. What was the maddest thing you see in there? Maddest thing. The thi I I didn't see it, but I see the aftermath. Mm. And then basically, I think um, so someone when I was in Liverpool jail, um, someone got so, so in Liverpool everyone's got cellmates. Mm. Everyone's they call it two up. Everyone's two up in a cell. Um, a guy got shipped out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say neck. Mm. No, no, no. Just, no, my neck's been going mad. Why for that? Though? <laughs> <laughs> so it's all just. What was I gonna say? This you, um, someone got shipped out, and his cellmate was from Scotland. Mm. So that's another thing. Like when I was in Liverpool, I did a year in Liverpool jail. It's a good jail. Walton, Walton yeah, proper, 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 proper Liverpool jail. Oh, I done, I done a right, year really? there. Um, Sorry. Right. <laughs> I done a year there. Um, like. Carrying the show again, are you? Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've done a year there. And then basically, like, yeah. If you're not... F uh, one thing I say, like, it's probably the same in every jail. Like, if you're not from there, you don't really get leeway in any situation because you're not you're not one of them. Do you mm, get it? Mm. So... I was patterning Walton. No, I was patterning. Yeah, but I support this, 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 Oh, okay, so okay. That was... No. Yeah, now I was on server in that. Yeah, so, I, you know... I, I, I was, give I was, man support Liverpool. Okay. So they can't, they can't believe a London man support so Liverpool. So they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, obviously nah. all the blues, they were okay. pissed to me, but the red nah, army. Nah, I got shown, I got shown love in there still. Mm. But um, big gym as well, amazing. A, a guy, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decent, amazing. If, what's it called? The, you play badminton. Mm. <laughs> what's it called again? <laughs> <laughs> the sports hall. That's it. The sports hall. Yeah. Big, yeah. Sports hall's <laughs> spacious. Um. Yeah, when I was in Liverpool, yeah, this you he got shipped out mm. and um, his cellmate was meant to give a phone to someone. Mm. So when he's getting shipped out, he's like, yo, take the phone and give it to my man. Bro, the cellmate, the Scottish guy, he just thought, nah, I'm, I'm just, he swapped it for some spice, bro. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. He swapped it for spice. And then um, it took a few days, but that guy that got shipped out of the jail, he got a call in to one of the mandem. So did, Yo, did, did, did my man get that? He's like, what, what? He's like, I asked him. He said, you took it. He's like, oh, I don't know who told to do what. But the aftermath of that was like, basically, the guy that finessed the phone and swapped it for the spice. Mm. When he's going to get his next bit of spice, got the guy that's up. got it, he just got, not even opened up, the guy that like, stabbed him in his eye. Mm. And I remember like, we were, I'm on server, you remember? So like, when it's lunchtime, lunchtime's the only time where there's like a good hundred man out, you know? In that jail, there's five floors. People yeah, it's are the hiding. Big, it was the like, biggest. It was the biggest. Um, the, one of the biggest jails. Jails. Yeah, in, in Europe. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, definitely. UK. You're meant to come out for your food, get your food, and bang up. You got 20 minutes to do that. Some people are just out for an hour because it's so big. You can just run around. When you see the govs coming, you just run downstairs, run downstairs, run down there. It's a <laughs> big wing, a too. massive wing. G wing is a massive wing, and basically everyone just heard a mad scream. I remember I'm in my whites because I'm serving. Everyone's hopped up, oh, what's going on? I've come running out, I've come running out. And we just see this guy on the landing screaming like he needed medical attention straight away. And like, it's almost like the eyeball had gone inwards. It was mm. mad, do you get what I'm saying? And he was just bleeding and everyone was like, oh. And I was just like, oh. Like, it was real. It was <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> no. It was crazy. And then when everyone found out what it was over, mm. everyone was like, oh. It just kind of lets you know like. Did he lose his eye? 
But we never see him again. I don't know. Okay. Like they just took him. They was gone from the whole jail. I don't yeah. know what happened to him, but it kind of is like sometimes you can be in jail, and like you could be having jokes. You could be going through. You could have a week of everyone's just busting jokes. Mm-hmm. This happened. You go, him, You go, chill with these man. You go, and then like the smallest thing, and it your whole life could change. Yeah, it mm-hmm. kicks about your whole life could change. Like it's not just the kicks of like you could you could you could it end up extra in charge extra charge yeah you could be doing something you might be pushed into a corner mm. where you gotta react first and mm. and literally I've seen people just like they might be like top man on the wing like the, they're the guy that's loved by the guards or they're just top boy the one guy the hentress guy on the wing whatever and then the little situation his whole life changed like he couldn't hack a beef mm. or he couldn't handle a situation and, and he's just snitched yeah. everyone's like raw he's fuck. my man yeah. he was staunch as fuck but it's almost like, you know, like things can change you, innit? You might be staunch, but if someone passes away in your family, that shit can change you. Like, he might have his cat D coming up. He's not trying to risk that. Like, I've seen a lot, I've seen even millionaires, like they've they've done the back door, like <laughs> they've got into issues on the wing and they've just moved wing. Like, and you think, whoa, not mine, man. Like, Ooh. serious guys, serious, but Joe, Joe can get like that still. But yeah, your whole life can just change over one situation. And I've seen it happen too many times. Mm. It's just crazy. I've seen some real names. Like, Move mm. off the wing. Yeah, not even real names, like because remember where I was up north, I don't know of them on the roads. Okay, but I've been on the wing with them to know they're serious because okay. people do everything for them. Man, man, <laughs> wipe their floor for them and that like, do their laundry for them. I think fuck that, like, it must be serious. Mm-mm-mm. Must be a serious guy. But some things happen, innit? Then I've seen like the, the dweebier suits do mad things, bro. Do you know absolute mm. madness? <laughs> so how did you um? So how did you move on from there to get him? To getting home. Um, how so, did you work your ticket? So basically, like as as I was going through jail, I'd say t- uh, 2019, mm. that's the first time I was allowed uh, open prison. Mm. Um, and basically, I didn't I didn't even make it. I didn't even make it to open jail. I didn't even make it to open jail. Like, and to be honest, it's mad because I knew I weren't gonna because a year before that, I'd like I think I smashed the window so petty like I didn't get to go to gym frustrated and I was frustrated and I, I must have just pushed the window to close it but it smashed mm. when it smashed they pressed the bell all the gloves come and I was like I'm moving mad man like what's going on like it's like just moving mad aggressive and then I didn't get my parole like and then um, was I your max bench press then or now in jail nah now's a myth but I know in jail I've done I've done, one, I've done I've done 150 still what's that 150 key, that's 65. 65, yeah. Yeah. I've gone three and a half I ain't done on. I ain't done on the roads though. Three and a half clicks. 60s on each side, power man team. Yeah. You, you 140, that's yeah, 140. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've, I've saying, done it yeah, first yeah. on the roads, yeah, I've done it. But I can't, yeah. You dealt with the power man team <laughs> still. Saying, um, yeah, bro, yeah, the parole. So even the parole, I'll be real with you, like towards then I had a video that came out. Um, so like I told you, I'm still rapping by the way. All Is these that the years, one that came out? Yeah, all these years mm. I'm still rapping. But um, I was going for my parole and basically I never got my parole, but it never even made it to a parole. I just got like the paper pulled away. And like, Mm-mm. I didn't really understand how, because even my solicitor was like, they'd done it unlawfully. Like, um, they didn't really give you a reason. When, when was yeah. the first, when was the first jam roll? How long parole. Jam roll, yeah. How long have you done? Uh, eight years, <laughs> eight years now, you know. Oh, you got you got really? the first. So the first one came up after eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's only for open. So instead of doing you free before your end, oh. you get open jail. You can so if you're a lifer, you can do three okay, years. Okay, so you had the jam roll for for open prison. Yeah, for three okay, years you can okay, do. Okay. So that's nine. That's nine out of the twelve, mm. basically. And you didn't get that. No, one. I didn't get it. Okay. Still, and then um, so I found out later that basically the video that so. Even a video that went viral, basically, um, I went to a jail called the Mount. Yeah, I know. Um, and like, I've never been in a jail like that. Like, mm. it was just free for all. You can just do whatever mm. you want to do. So it was like it, pff, bare phones, like mad phones. Mount in that C cat. Yeah, C cat. Yeah. yeah, I'm in Cat C now. So from Liverpool, I served every eleven months. I did. I did nearly a year now. And then yeah, got my seat. I even done a song for them. Like <laughs> I was in a radio class, the music production class. Yeah. Um, the smoking band was coming in. I did like a rap about the smoking band. They uh-huh. played it on NPR, which is National Prison Radio. Mm. My governor was loving me off. She gave me my seat. I went to um, I went to the mount, and then basically, when I done this freestyle, um, everyone found out. Still, even the girls found out. 
Yeah, really? yeah, even the gloves found out. They 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 told me. You had your mask on as well. I, I was fully covered, <laughs> mm. but like, it got mad views. Um, mm. The link went. Yeah, come on, big So SP. the maddest thing is like, them times there, like, I was like, it's the first time I made Insta. I never made Instagram in my life. I was like, raw, social media, like, everything's looking mad. Quality's mm -hmm. looking mad. People my age have got cars. They got they're in Rari's, mm. Rolls Royce. I'm thinking, oh shit, girls that from my school. Mm -hmm. Looking mad, 10-10. Ten, ten. Mm. Some girls that weren't looking good are looking 10. The best looking girls finished. And I thought, wow, like, times changed. And man was like, them times I'm writing, and uh, I remember it was a one time, some guy from Leeds, he, he said to me, you ain't got nothing out? I was like, nah, I ain't got nothing out, you know? And mm. then he's like, oh, you need to you need to put something out. And then um, I think some guy, um, yeah, the same guy, sorry, it was a day, I think it was like a birthday or something. Everyone was just like waved on the wing, just drunk and that. And um, he was he he wanted to film me rap. He's like, "Yo, do that freestyle." So he's filmed me, and he's let me send it to like my people on the roads, like my brethren, and like just so they can see. And then um, it's ended up going. It's ended up going to one of my brethren on the roads that knew my SP. man SP. Mm. Yeah. And then he ain't. He's in another. He's in another place. He's not even in where I am. Mm -hmm. He's in another one. <laughs> Try not to. He's in another one. He got sent the vid. And he's uploaded it. And like, I didn't even know it was uploaded for a few weeks. But when I found out, it was on like 50K mm -hmm. in like a couple of weeks. And the comments were going mad. Like everyone's going mad. Like, yo, who's this guy? Who's this guy? And I was thinking, raw, like, I got bridges on the roads. They do music. They put their video on Graham Daily. It was only getting like, se uh, it was on like 17K in two years. Mm -hmm. So I got 50K on an independent channel, not no Graham Daily or anything. So I was thinking, yo, this is mental. So it just kept on going up, kept on going up, kept on going up. And it got to a point where like, remember I was on surgery these times in the Mount. So like, I was I was, I was was number one on the service. I had to do a lot of like, the books, numbers, things yeah, like that. But I was on. number one cleaner. I've been number one surgery. So I'm I saying numbers. So you know, yeah, yeah, like, you know, so you know that's yeah, not screen yeah, yeah, You have to be, you have to be able to say no. So when wham mutes come on default, you gotta say no. Nah, screw bro. still. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. I'm joking. Man. I could never be a screw way, but nah, you know, you know. Yeah, but, um, pattern, though. So because I was pattern, you know, yeah. I guess it was <laughs> pattern, bro. So Number one service pattern. Pattern, bro. Man, man, man have to know You could put man on diet, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but well, man could yeah. put man on but diet. But at the same time, like you, the jakes they rate you. Like, yeah, I was. They getting, told they used to tell man who the um wrong ones are. Isn't it? You get it. So man just smash up the wrong ones. <laughs> yeah, so fun. like um, yeah I was patting so they, they just showed me like yo you need to be careful you know one African man said be careful everybody knows be careful be careful everybody. I, can't hey. even, I can't even do the accent but hey. I'm embarrassing myself you get me but <laughs> Charlie so, so you can't but you can do the Japanese he wasn't accent. even yeah, mm -hmm. no, nah, but no, nah, but Ghanaian accent. Nah, but he weren't Ghanaian he was like Mind South games. African he was like okay, South African yeah right. so I can't even do that anyway mm. not even yeah but um, he told me to be careful and then like one by one over the weeks, different govs are just hinting. Like, one gov, she was like 40 something, she was like, next time you do a video, make sure I'm in her back. I was like, oh mm -mm. my days. But when he's like saying it, I'm not laughing. Mm. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking nervous, about, but deep yeah. down, like, my mm. heart is hurting. Yeah, my heart's breaking. His bit, my like heart's this. hurting. Mm. I'm thinking, how? But how? Who told them? Like, mm. I'm thinking, but I still feel like someone showed one. Because that's what Come it takes, on. you show one and then mm. they tell each other. Mm, 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 mm. Like man was in group chats and like, they're telling me, yeah, he was in our group chat. Someone threw your video in our group chat, the like, officer's group chat. And they mm. were just saying it was sick. I'm thinking, this is, it got to a point where like man just accepted it. I thought, oh, just run with it, man. But I never uploaded it. That's why it's so mad. It's like, it got uploaded. I didn't even want it to go on YouTube. Like, it, mm. I think it, it was just for my people. But it got uploaded on YouTube. And then yeah, it was just doing numbers. And then I think like, that's the reason I didn't get my parole. But, they couldn't really say it because they couldn't really say that's you. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you can't see, you can't see who that is. Yeah. Basically, it's SP's fault that you didn't get parole. Nah, nah, nah. Here you go. Nah, it weren't, it weren't, it weren't. It was my fault. Because you didn't tell him to upload it. Nah, it was my fault, it was my fault. Oh, mm. <laughs> nah, no. it was my fault. <laughs> no, but, I'm um, just so <laughs> mind you. <I'm> so <laughs> but um, what was I saying, what was I saying? Um, and then, yeah, I didn't get my parole, you know, so I literally had two ways like, I wasn't sure what I was going to do next. I was like, am I going to carry on? What was that? What are the ways? Was that the well, ways I thing? didn't hear. She said he literally had two ways. Oh. So literally <laughs> had two ways. Go on, go on. Yeah, you know, you got ways on your yeah, phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did, yeah, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was thinking, like, am I going to keep doing the music? 
where am I gonna chill? So mm. like now I had like a few years until my end of tariff. So like even with parole, yeah, what people don't know is like when you go jail, you have a release date. Mm. You have like you might be sentenced to five years, six years, but you always do half. You serve half yeah. in custody, and you serve the other half like on license, mm. on on probation, what you call it. And then basically, when you are lifed off, like I got lifed off, I got HMP, which is like a children's life sentence. Um, you got to do like the full, the full whack. You're basically sentenced to life, like the rest the of your life. Queen, the king and queen could grant you. Can, you know what it is? Everyone says this, I yeah, know. but. <laughs> mad, no, someone try to say you got a right. When the queen died, you know when the queen died, I know bare people on H and P must have been. What they thought they were going home? They must have. Must have been I remember dumb that, to that, think that, they're going that home. was that was no. as well. You know, like right, nah, the queen bro. died. I remember when mum was younger. You get me? Nah, someone people. It's a rumor, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's they what say I'm saying. Like, the dumb rumors. They was that, telling yeah. me I have to write a letter to the queen to go home, and I was thinking, nah, she ain't gonna. How many letters she gonna read? Could you imagine? Do you know what I mean? But um, that as well. Uh, yeah, so you can't actually go home until the yeah. That's what I heard. I heard. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. Still, it's better HMP. than they call them the myths, the mm-hmm. myths. But um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, when you get sentenced to life, because some people always like you didn't get life. You done twelve, but like your sentence Your tariff to life, is still life. Yeah, yeah. But you've got a recommended tariff. These are numbers I mean, your, your that you can. Your license is still life. Yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. yeah, your license is still life. But you've got recommended numbers, so like you might get twenty HMP or twenty life if you're an adult, but you're sentenced to life. But you can apply to go home after twenty. Like apply, it doesn't mean you're automatically going home. Mm-hmm. So enough times, everyone's saying to me like, "When are you home?" I say, "Man's home in a few years." But I don't know, you know, if I'm going home. It's mm-hmm. up to them. It's not yeah. up to me. But you can't really think like that in there. If you think like that, you'll lose it. You're like finished, you, yeah. you're finished, man, because. Yeah, I don't. I don't think anyone thinks that. I remember I said earlier, like everyone holds on to hope. Yeah. I don't think anybody thinks that. Like, you always say, "I'm going home." I all took years yeah, off. Danny's been coming on for about ten years. Big up Danny. Yeah. Free up Danny. Mm. It's mad still. <coughs> it's mad still. But um, sent us to life. Uh, what was I getting at? Twelve. Mm. Twelve. Twelve. Life sentence. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. The parole. And I'll be real with you. Yeah. So I had an option now. Like, do I carry on doing music? Do I go home? Um, and I think I just I just ran with it a bit more. I can't lie, like I lost my parole. So everyone on the wing was like, you might as well just carry on, bro. Just keep mm. dropping that. Like. And like, it almost kept me going. Like it kept me sane, I can't lie. Like I felt like just doing a madness, like I've lost my parole, I'm finished. Because I felt like, all right, cool. Remember I can go for Cat D three years before my end, but um, that's never happened before. Like people always, if people don't get their Cat D, at mm-hmm. the end, you can go for Cat D. So like, I might do over tariff now because I have to go Cat D at the end of the 12. Mm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Open at the end of the 12 mm. and then do like a year or so in there before I go home. So I could have ended up basically going over and like, um, I basically chose to like carry on dropping, but he just kept me saying, I don't have to explain it. It's like the love I was getting from the roads wasn't the same as Joe. Like I was getting love in jail, but you know, you know how people are. Like people mm-hmm. don't really wanna hate in a bit. Kind of like I even had people tell me, "Yo, them men are saying it's nothing special and that." Like, mm. yeah. but oh, they're Bad not. Mind. They're not even doing that on road. I see this guy is on link up and that he wasn't even doing nowhere in there. Mm. But I clock in jail. Like, but I don't. I don't know no better. You know, mm-hmm. I just think that's how things are. So when I'm seeing comments from civilians, like people really saying, "I love your music." Like I've had people say they made me like loads. Of, they've made me made them cry. I thought, wow, like, it's really touching people. Like, mm. it made me think, yeah, you know what? I think I can do this when I get out. And, like, it kept man going. It kept me sane. And, like, for a while, like, even this year, I don't need to say names, there's youths, they've been dropping consistently from jail. And, like, everyone knows what's going on. But sometimes, like, when, when you're doing your thing, I can't lie, like, even the govs just, psh, they're just doing their thing, man. Like, mm. they still do their job. They'll come and spin you when they have to. But, more time they rate you, man. Cause they're thinking, yo, you're doing your thing. Look at the views. Look at man, they're getting record deals from Joe and that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like what's his people name? Can't even that, get that, what's that Bourbon and Mutes? Mars name? Malone. Mar- yeah, Mars he's Malone. Yeah. Bro, he's one of the coldest, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah, lie, man, like he's man, they're getting now. But the maddest yeah. thing is on this channel we started the um, jail rap because I used to okay. post. I used to post people in jail okay, you know, okay. when they rap like Sharper and Louis Town Blue. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're I feel like, it from my engine. They're out now. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, I don't know them, but yeah, Sharper and that they. I used to post them, Luchavelli. Okay, okay. Luch, you get me, he's the next life. Okay. He's out now. 
But yeah, managed to post them. Wolf mm. as well. Okay. You get me, but Where's yeah. Where's he from? Is he from South? Yeah, yeah. I don't know him, but I think I think I know someone that it's someone's mm. people's people. Yeah, one of my come people's people's Wolf yeah. soon come down mm. road as well. But okay. yeah. But it got bit, it got a bit bait in it. I think I posted one mm. and I think that was Luch and then the victims, people them saw it. Okay. And then they, they ended up on the side. And What's he that. rapping about though? Just rapping about oh, but is whatever it, is he's it a rapping bit greasy? about. Kinda, it was wavy, in it, but he, they just didn't like that. He's to be honest, there. yeah, you know they, what? They, they, I don't think they would like anything. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I was yeah, about to right. say. Man could be doing R and B or reggae, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but I understand it as well, though, innit? I do understand. Get me so he was like, no, nah, get so. it, okay. Mm. But yeah, so boom. So when you come out now, nah, mm. now nah, actually, so yeah, I had to go for parole. That's so what? when parole was coming up, literally that like, backseat. Just doing my surgery, just mm. like COVID, even COVID, like this is another thing, like COVID mm. had come in. So that's another reason why the jail was just mad. Like, mm. Understaffed, we're banged up. No one really, I wouldn't even say no one cares, but the jail is not running, the whole world ain't running how it's meant to run. Exactly. So why are Gov's gonna just be on it when they're going through a madness there? Youths can't even leave home and that. So mm. the home life must be mad right now. So yeah, that's, that's why the jail was kind of just flooded and the Gov's are just kind of just laid back. Um, and then yeah, my last year, parole coming up, just stopped away from everything. Like I started training more. Um, just like I even had an injury. I nearly lost my finger. Mm -mm. Like I crushed my. I got my finger crushed in like forty dumbbells. Yeah, it was mad. Like my finger would like burst open and everything. It was mad. Mm. They had to like to put it back together. How do you manage to do that? Um, so when you put down dumbbells, mm. you're meant to like you're you're not meant to have dumbbells down when you've got dumbbells in your hands. As I'm lying on my. <laughs> As I'm lying on that, yeah, mm. <laughs> backwards. As I've dropped the weights, like I've let go like that, but then they've caught, and then there's there's a weight there, and it's hit, and it's just squashed my finger and mm, bow. Mm. It's just like, yeah, the meat come out. Them gym injuries, mm. it was mm. mad. It was definitely mad. Still, like I'm always getting injured. It was mad, like, and then um, yeah, even that that helped me in parole because I told him what happened, and I like I can't lie, like I wanted to go mad, like even healthcare, they were violating me, man. They were trying to. They weren't even trying to really tend to a man like that. They weren't even, they were violating me. I can't lie, but I wanted to go home and like my pride, my ego, I put everything aside and I just wanted to go home. And like, I can't lie, I went into a mad depression because I couldn't train for like mm -hmm. a month. I went skinny, I was so stressed. Like, but when my finger got better and I started to gain strength again, I started to go to the gym and that just kept me going that whole year, that last year till uh, my parole actually came up. When my parole came up, it was, uh, it was, um, don't know a video link because COVID hadn't really been fully lifted. I think no, COVID was fully lifted, but if it's easier, like yeah, you know, like by that work time from, yeah. they they yeah. worked out. Yeah, you know, like with COVID, now they worked out that like, people could work from home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. everything yeah. else, they just kept it like it just that. saves money yeah. and all mm. of that. So um, usually you'd have like on a parole board, you'd have three people on the panel. Mm. You have your solicitor, but this was all done on a screen. Done on, yeah. so on a screen now. But Simple. yeah, but it was still as uh, obviously I think it would be worse if they're there in the flesh. But mm. it was still very intimidating. Intense. I can't lie to you. Like it was probably the screen was that size of that, mm. and free, free, free. Like they got people watching, just it's watching. Even more it. intense because mm. you're just seeing it, their bolts. Yeah, that, yeah, that's why it's mad <laughs> yeah. because all five faces are in your vision. Not, yeah, yeah, not just, just seeing, if yeah, I'm just looking at one. Yeah, at least you don't five, have to. Yeah, you don't have like, to. Even look. when someone blinks, you just go like that because yeah, you can see like, everyone. Oh, yeah, all, and they just just all eyes on you, and like. Like I done on here, like they made me run it from the start, man. Mm. The whole thing, and like I spoke about, like they asked me every incident, every fight, every nicking I ever had. They asked me about it, questioned me about it, wanted to see my stance on it. Mm. Obviously, they asked me about my life before the incident, mm. during uh, the actual crime itself, like what things happened, what I done, what whatever, um, what I done whilst I was in custody, and then mainly what I'm gonna do when I get out, that's the main reason for a parole. Like, mm. they wanna have confidence that if they release me, I'm not gonna reoffend. Mm -hmm. They wanna have confidence that if they release me, I'm not gonna like seek revenge. I'm not gonna be violent, full stop, do you get what I mean? Um, but importantly, like, they wanna know what are you gonna do? Because like, I could be a reformed man, but if I ain't coming out to do anything, how am I gonna live? Do you get what I'm saying? If I'm not... <laughs> if no, I, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh that was a genuine, yeah? yeah. <laughs> if I come out, and like, like I said, I could be a genuine, nice man, whatever, change man, not angry, never gets angry, but what are you gonna do? Because like I say- Are they not also looking for a remorse? 
I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna oh, get no, there. No, no. I haven't finished. I haven't mm. finished. I haven't finished. So, but but I could say if if I wasn't, yeah, if I didn't have a job or if I didn't have any sort of stability, yeah, the statistics say that he's gonna You're reoffend. Gonna he's yeah. gonna like I say like I didn't. I came out too old. Like I'm 20, not old, but I'm a grown man. It's not like I'm getting mothered anymore. Like mm. I got mm. a fend for myself. I got to work. Mm. So they want to know what's he gonna do for money. And yeah, they also want to know um, what are your like what are your views. So like remorse will come into it uh how do you feel about like what's happened and obviously like responsibility as well and um everyone always used to tell me like you know to go home you're gonna have to say you've done it was your virgin no 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 i'm saying if you went no 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 that's he's pissed bro mm. i know i know a lot of men that were though. yeah mm. i know and then they're real they'll tell you that's what i'm they'll saying like, I know it's, a lot like, of men like that it's a serious question yeah. here that i'm asking a minute <laughs> like did he have to lose his virginity clean in his 20s mm. Oh, I thought you meant in jail. I was gonna say. <laughs> what are you about? I thought because you said twenties. How old? Did, how old did you come out? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I thought you meant in jail. That's what I was like. Wow. Why for that? Mm-mm. No, but I thought it was a joke. Innit? No, no, but you but could have <laughs> got a woman screw. But why for that? Anyway? No, woman no, screw was when he gets a D or whatever. True. But yeah. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Sorry. When he gets a what? Cat, cat, open jail. Yeah. When he gets a what? You know what I was saying. Oh. Open jail. Yeah, Tiffany Gardens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was you at again, sir? They want to oh. know about what you're going to do when yeah, you come when you, out. But, um, so, like, where yeah. you stand, um, your views, sh- if you show remorse, things like that. And, like, it was mad because, you know, until you tell people, you don't really... Sometimes, like, you might... You know, like, have you ever explained something to someone and they've been shocked about it after? And you're like, oh, I didn't even know that's how I felt or that's mm. how... Like you looked at it or that, that you didn't know you did so that perspective mm. on it, you get what I'm saying? And like even growing up over the years when I've been in jail, I'd always like instead of saying I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent from the start, like I've always as I've grown up, like I started to understand like cool I still like went along and like, you know, someone lost their life. At the end of the day, it's like like I say, remember as human mm-hmm, beings, mm-hmm, we're very mm-hmm, selfish, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. we would go, Oh, look at me, look at me to us, look at me to us, but like we don't really take perspe- like take ownership of certain things we do. Like sometimes our actions will get us into situations and then we'll try to blame others, things like that. But um yeah, like as I grew up, like I kind of accepted it more. And that's that's kinda how like I think I dealt with it better as well though, you know. I, mm. I swear, because mm-hmm. if I was screaming, Oh, like I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be it the whole time, I felt like it would have turned me crazy, man. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I felt like it would have turned me yeah. crazy. And like I think the fact that I kind of didn't do it also kept me sane because like I say, like not everyone, but I know people that have caught like murders mm. and they couldn't deal with it. Mm. Like I know men that go on like they don't care about it on the wing, but over years you hear like they fall off and they couldn't deal with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we weren't like, whether, whether you're a serious man that does what, we weren't born like that. Our mums weren't treating us like that. So like, you can't say like I've been a savage from birth. You can never say that, and like you always know like shit. Like someone died, man, and I've done that. Do you get what I'm saying? And like in jail, what's crazy is like you could ha- you could be in a room full of people in jail for murders, and officers might chat to you, treat you like normal, but society they don't move like that. They yeah. they they're not trying to be nowhere near you. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And like you can be so caught up in a reality that's not real. You think like oh, I'm in jail for a murder, or I didn't do the murder. I was involved in a murder. It's not that deep, but like, yeah, society will move mad. Even less than a murder, they'll move mad. Like a stabbing, they'll mm. move away. Do you get what I mean? So, so how, did, how did you feel when you actually, when they gave you gave the nod? Pro- yeah. Um, I was very, I was very over, like I was over the moon. I was gassed. I was happy. But I'll be real with you. I didn't, I couldn't understand it. You're nervous as well. I couldn't understand. Um, I'll be real with you. Do you know what's mad? I wasn't nervous. Mm. And do you know why I say I wasn't nervous? Because I didn't know. To what to be nervous of what to expect i'd forgot so like most people they're nervous when they're getting out because they know oh, the bills nah. the kids oh fuck mm. i can't be lazy anymore man i gotta really go out there and get, get really, it for my family yeah. or like fuck it's like, like I ain't drove, yeah i ain't drove in years and i got a pattern yeah, up this and that yeah. for me i was in a bubble like i was just like you I didn't know what to think. None of that. I didn't know what to, to get. I was so, I literally had forgotten. You went jail what, as a you. Yeah, I'd forgotten yeah. what it was like to be free. Do you get what I'm saying? So for me, I couldn't really like imagine 
Like most people, when they're going home, they're like, yeah, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. For me, it's like a dream, innit? You know, like when well, you- Well, you even do DCAT as well. That's what I'm saying. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? That's so what, no, it's true, it's true. So like most slowly lifers- Slowly integrated, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for real, most lifers- get slowly integrated, mm-hmm. just straight. My 100%, most lifers you do, and you do three years before the end, and you do the last three, mm-hmm. In open, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like Jojo. I swear, Jojo came out of C, B-cat. Yeah, C. I think it was, didn't it? Jojo. Yeah, no, that wasn't it. C. B. Cat. Oh, okay. Big okay. up Jojo. Mm. But C, um, or C, one of them. Uh, mm. Um, yeah, basically, like you're meant to get your freedom given to you in doses, mm-hmm, isn't it? Mm-hmm, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bit by bit, it's the we, it's the easy off because yeah, yeah. you've done a mad bird. Like, yeah, it, it yeah. fry you. Get you. Do you know what I mean? you. But yeah, I didn't get that, and they literally like. Yeah, I was literally thinking, yo, I was just gonna literally walk out the gates like, mm. after the whole twelve, and like, yeah, it didn't feel real. How was your relationship with mummy and that? Well, this is going on. When you came, yeah, when you yeah, came out, whole, yeah, oh like, yeah, yeah, it was mad. Kept that's that's, that's who came. That's who came. Yeah. I didn't do what everyone does. Bare mm. man that weren't there for man. Mm. Fuck all of that. That's just mad, bro. Mm. Mm. That's why I see how stupid mommy. that is. I've I've known too many men. They've met their bridging for the first time in five years at their fresh home. That don't make sense to me, bro. Mm. Why are you bringing mm. champagne today mm. Yeah. when man was down the block that time and man was going through it, but mm. you're sending my pics of you, man, clubbing? That's wild. Mm. I think that's wild. So, yeah, so I just done the family thing, literally, man. Yeah, man, mum, uh, dad, brother. That's, yeah, man, just done the family thing. They were over them. They were over them. They could not I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it. Where did it, you come up? Where did you walk out of? The mount. The mount. Yeah. It felt, do you know when it felt real? When they bust my door in the morning mm. and like they bust your door before the cleaners come out. They bust your door mm. with all the movement. So you might work in a workshop. You might work in a bolts and bars warehouse. You might be on scaffolding. You might be a roofer or you might be getting education. But all the people have got their books, ID cards. You're all lining up because when the gate opens, everyone just bops out free flow. Mm. And like the cops like, yeah, you're going reception. And that's when I said, oh. Yeah. Club, club. That's when I was literally doing the rounds. I was giving out all my shit because mm. usually people give out all their stuff when they go home. Mm-hmm. I was doing that, but see me, I still didn't understand if I was really gonna go home. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to give a man a stereo, mm-hmm. and then I get told I'm staying in jail. That's mm-hmm. mad. I'm gonna say give it, but I'm gonna look dumb. Mm. Imagine if he says no, but but obviously like I didn't want to give mm-hmm. all my stuff, and mm-hmm. then imagine I'm staying, and then I gotta look like a donut. So yeah, I, did, I gave it on the last minute. I'm giving it all out. Bam 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 bam. And then like the gov's are like, don't you want to go home, mate? Because I'm doing the rounds. I'm getting to all the man them. Yo, I'm going home. Everyone's beating off their door. Bam, 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 bam. And then they said, come, come. They go, go home. And I went uh, with free flow, went to reception. Like they're going through my clothes. They're checking me out. Was um, it a long thing at reception? I wasn't even long, you know. They, usually, they always leave me long. Is it? Nah, they usually. They always take the piss because they're not. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Usually <laughs> it's like that. I always hear stories like people start getting angry. Yeah, mm. They just want to go home. Get hurry the fuck up. Like, mm. been there two hours. My mine was quick. There was one. Polish guy, no, your Polish guy before me, then it was me. Within 30 minutes, healthcare, see you, they give you a license, you mm-hmm. got to sign it all. And then, yeah, man, I was stepping out. But when I was coming out with the gov, it was me, the Polish guy, an officer. I don't know if he knew, but it, he probably just asks anyway, everyone. But he said, how long have you boys done then? Polish guy was like, two years. Then he said, you? I said, 12. And when I said 12, even they both went, 12. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, but they made me scared when they yeah, said that. They I can't you're lie. walking out to like mm-hmm. a yeah, they made different me, world. Yeah, when they it? said that, I can't lie. It made me feel like, oh, bro. Like my heart was already, mm. but when they done that, I felt nuts. So, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my lot's changed, son. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, good luck. And then even the police guys, good luck. Mm. Yeah, said, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice the door the sliding. Case. It's a sliding door, isn't it? It slides sideways. Big gates are shh. Then, yeah, I just see all my family, they're there, they all got their iPhones, like, they're filming me. Mm. I was gassed, man, I can't lie, man. I hugged my brother first, mm-hmm. um, hugged my dad, what and I just that? hugged my mum. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm just going, man, not you, the brother first. No, <laughs> and then I'll hug your mum first, man. Don't be no, 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 but obviously, that was, mm-hmm. yeah, was the proper one, so that was final. I knew I was doing, that was the that was the proper, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, she was all crying and that, man. That was, it was a mad moment, man. It was a crazy moment still. Sick. Definitely a great moment. Yeah, yeah man. Fresh air, bro. Yeah, it was a crazy moment, man. Do you remember man. what you ate? I be real, I, I like pizza, innit? We mm. went to just a normal, we went Pizza Express. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was, I was happy with it. But one thing I'll say, like, I couldn't even finish it all. Mm. I feel like gel food is so stale, so bland. Mm-hmm. When I'm eating proper food, like, it, it made me feel nuts. It made me really? feel nuts. I was drinking as well, because, like, yeah. I think 
I think if I didn't drink, I would have been a bit tapped that day. I can't lie, like I, the, it helped ease the nerves. My, they bought me like Ray, mm-hmm. Ray Goose. I ain't even had these things before ever in my whole life. How, how have you felt? since being released how long you been out now I've been out like coming up to a year yeah. really? how, how, how has that felt um, hmm. it's good it's good it's good now mm. but I've had I've had some low moments I yeah. can't lie to you I've some low moments man like I feel like depression and yeah yeah all of that like the like everyone says the honeymoon period when you first come out of jail is like three months isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then reality kicks in innit nah. and then like for me it was more a reflection of I didn't realise how long I'd done until I came out and see everyone. And when else, I see yeah. what's, what the, the world's really saying, because like I've seen things on social media, but seeing it in real life, and it's almost like, like I say, look, I know people, remember I went to a grammar school, you know, mm-hmm. so school friends, like like I say, like they're not my brethren like that. So I didn't expect them to have me when I was in jail. Mm. So I didn't feel no type of way when they hollered at me, oh, heard you're finally out, how you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and like, mm-hmm. I'm chatting to them, but they've all got kids. I was gonna say, they've got families olds, and all of that. Six yeah. year olds. Like, like, they've all got kids and that. They've got businesses. Like, mm-hmm. they're doing their thing. They're talking about, let's meet up for lunch. I go on the Insta. They've got big yards, man. Big cars. Mm-hmm. It's making me feel a type. Not a type of way, but it's making me feel shit. Like, yeah, hey. like you've got yo, catching up to do. Like, that's how long I've been in for. Like, and when I see people looking grown. that I, Do you know what's crazy? Like, I even saw one of my friends. Um, she was in a parking lot. And it's crazy, like... We was never like an item or anything, but she was a girl. Like we were good friends, innit? You she beat, went to you beat. Nah, never, never, never. <laughs> <You're mad. laughs> and, uh, um, but we was bare close, <laughs> it? Like it was mm. cool. Seen in a parking lot, and um, I, was, I thought, is it her? But I didn't want to sound tapped if it wasn't. Mm. But I just said her name out loud, and she turned, and then she's she's like, and I said, oh, it's it's me. You get me? And then, yeah, man, she started crying still. It was oh. mad. Like she started crying, man. It was mm. crazy. Like, and that made me want to cry. I can't lie to you. Like, mm. she's like, if, she's like, because she told me, how long did you end up doing? And I was like, they made me do the whole thing, you know? Mm. Like, and then, yeah, that's when she started crying. And I was like, oh, mm. it was mad. It's in public as well. Like, it was so mad. Like, mm. get a number to get a sympathy beat. Nah, 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 nah. nah. She's all, she's all, if I say it, it's a bait. She's all, with pr- someone. Prop, she be somebody. Up, up, all the way. Mm. Yeah, all the way. No, but I'm saying you could have married. got a married and all that. Like, yeah. No, but no, but no, but no, but, no, but it wasn't even for that. It wasn't even like yeah. she was. I genuinely thought, oh my god, like yeah, it's yeah. that long. It's but real shit. It was sad, bro. Mm. It was mad sad. I can't lie. Mm. Yeah, it was sad. That's that was that was reality. Like a wake up call. Even just things like people come take me out to eat, and I just see like the way of living for them is mad compared to mine. But man's all paying rent in a room in Woolwich, mm. like a room, bro. Do you know what I'm saying like? Mm-hmm. Not that I'm just the people living in a room, but I'm comparing right now, isn't it? Yeah, because these mm-hmm. people are living in the rooms, mad still. These we can okay, yeah, yeah. because some people do, innit? But yeah, 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 come on. But um, but that's not they're not trying to stay there, though, is it? That's just somewhere. Yeah, you know the ones there's somewhere to move on to. Oh, bro, no one's trying to stay there. Fam, the 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 room I was in, the yard, they were all like fully grown adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but it gets like that. But I'm saying it's still you're trying to move from. No, there. they've been there for years. <laughs> Been there for years, man. Like. Mm. Uh, gets like that. Gets like that. That's what I'm saying. But um, yeah, man. Like you do, you do a lot. You do compare in it. That's mm-hmm, what it is in life. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. like you don't have to chill with people below to feel good. But if everyone's doing too like good, do you know what I mean? Like even to me, what I think is good might just be normal. But I'm not there. Yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. I won't save enough for ten years. Do you know what I mean? I didn't get all my degrees and that go uni to get this job and that job and move. I didn't get all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? So. When I first come out, I was working in a cafe though. Hmm. I was a coffee barista still. Come on, mm-hmm. that that, that uh, um, number one server. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's why. That's why it's so mad. Like I was thinking, how did I go from that to this? Like it's the same thing yeah. almost, but the difference is, man was dealing with angry prisoners on the wing mm. to no middle people. middle class bougie people in Shoreditch, mm-hmm. like fifteen pound sandwiches, six pound coffees, like real upper class. Mm. Yeah, so. So I'm not sure it's Dalston, Dalston. Dalston. Yeah, Dalston, yeah, very up and coming mm. area. But um <laughs> up and going. <laughs> up and going and um yeah, like I done like nine months there, man. It was good. But for me, I needed that man, because mm. see, just knowing criminals, mm. I didn't realise how unhealthy that is in the real world. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I know people still have people that are involved in things, but if you if that's remember, that's all I've known mm-hmm, since mm-hmm. since sixteen. I've never met 
a scientist. I've never yeah, met yeah, yeah, a yeah. professor. He grew up in the I've jungle. Man just grew up with, he's doing the same when he gets out. He's coming. He's Back here, you must have seen so much people. So many, man. So, in and out. Oh, in, in and, and out. out. Listen, yeah. I've met, him, I've met him, there's a one specific guy from, um, from Warsaw, yeah. I think I counted it. I met him seven times, yeah. But every time I met him, he had new kids. Every <laughs> time he's like, I got another one now. I got two more now. And then in the end, he ended up having 11. Mm-hmm. And he used to brag about it. He used to tell everyone, yeah, man, mm. I'm good out here. Hmm. Good out here. He was moving mad. Mm. I've seen the system come back, 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 back. I've mm. seen people like, some people that got out and got killed. Mm. And I thought, whoa. Imagine getting out after years and getting killed. Yeah, I thought, on. fuck, mm. you know. Yeah, you might as well have just yeah. done a c- couple more behind the that's door. What, that's what they say, innit? If you stayed in jail longer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sad still. Have you met anyone since you've been out? What do you mean? Have you got a girlfriend? Got a girlfriend? No, nah, not at the moment. Mm. Do you want to? Mad, isn't it? It's a bit quick. Get just, just, it. Do you know what it is? It's just for me, like. You just want to fuck think girl, I, in it for a no, sec. No, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's like, I don't think I'm ready to, like, mm-hmm. fully be committed to mm-hmm, someone at mm-hmm. the moment. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, obviously eventually that's something You've got to find yourself first. That's like, what I'm so saying. All right, that's another thing. I, mean? I knew who I was in there, you know. I fully, knew, that's 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 why I fell into such heavy depression, yeah. Mm. I came out and I was like, who who am I, bruv? Like, because mm. I knew I was patterned in, like I say, man, them and officers, like I was popular, I was good. I come out, man was an, I literally said it to my boy once. I was saying, bro, man's a nobody. Man is a nobody. I'm seeing young youths. Like, I'm not to say that materialistic, but seeing young youths wearing designer, two grand, two grand this, two, I'm, I'm here working for 1300 a month, and I was thinking, bruv, this, they're making, they're just shitting on man without me knowing it, but I'm mm. not looking at it in the angry, I'm just going, I'm just getting depressed, I'm like, this is wild, these men are splashing, these men are doing this, I'm a grown ass man, like, and that's another thing, I didn't realise I was a grown man till I came out, because mm. in jail, I don't know if you agree, like people act immature in there, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah They are very immature in there. And, like, <laughs> go on. They are very immature, so it's mad. But that's what keeps you going, though. Yeah, if you act yeah, your yeah. age, you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna lose your mind. Yeah, you have to have fun. You have a couple granddad that just move like granddad. Bro, they move mad. Play fighting and hitting, <laughs> hitting each other there. Moving mad. But um, mm. yeah, that's that's when I realised, yeah, I didn't know who I was. I was lost, man. I was so lost. Like, I didn't even know what I was good at and that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I knew I was good at, like, I did music and gym and that. <laughs> and that, but I didn't even know my strengths. Like I didn't even know what I'm like. It was crazy. So I had to make a lot of mistakes. Like, do you know what I mean? But um, that that so the ch- cafe job I got, I got that through a men- mentorship program. Mm. And basically, I had a mentor. Pick them up. That, yeah. Uh, sorry, switch back mentors. Listen, they they done a madness. Like I can't lie. When I was in prison, um, I don't know if you know during COVID. They, they, uh, the HM, HMP service, HMP prisons, they did a rollout of laptops. They started giving laptops out in prison. Mm-hmm. Their laptop wasn't connected to the internet, but the officers get to choose like what goes on. They get to choose like, it's like a, it's something to do while you're banged up. Cause we were like 23 hours locked away. Mm. Um, there's like sports things on the educational, religious music, quizzes. Like it was very, it was the best thing that probably ever came out of jails. I can't lie. Mm. And it was touchscreen. So, all them men that have done years, like you need to get used to like apps. You need to get used to like being able to use a laptop. Obviously, everything's done electronically nowadays. Um, yeah, basically on the laptops, like um, there was a lot of things that we were looking at, like about getting out, getting released. I saw this company; they were called Switchback Mentors. So it just said like, "Are you out in three months? Are you from London? Would you like a mentor?" And, like them basic questions. Hmm. And I thought, you know, what? let me just go for it, like, because I felt like. Need something. I need something, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Everyone else that I know that's a life. Like, they go cat D. Mm. They, go, <laughs> they go open. So mm. they get drips and jabs. You get did the you have any? It. Did you have any counselling? When I came out? Yeah. No, no, Or no. even leading up to? No, you know. No. No. Nothing. See, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That Yeah, they don't even, they don't really offer that either, though. No. They don't really offer it. Like, they offer it, I feel like, more, uh, cool, put it this way. They offer it, but I feel like they should ask people, do you want it? People in jail ain't coming forward and saying, oh, help me, I need counselling. Because mm. as men, we don't really speak about them things anyway. Yeah. We don't really say, I need help. People, you might even not know you need help till it's too late, till you're mm. doing something mad. Mm. So, yeah, I feel like they should, it should be they compulsory. should, yeah, they need to ask, man. Especially like, yeah, man, you wouldn't know to ask for it. That's, it's not like, like I say, especially in the black community, I feel like it's not really spoke about like that mental health and, mm. you know, things like that. It's more, man up. Mm. Like a yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Up. Like it's yeah. more like you gotta be tough, but that's mm. that's where like they say, isn't it? Men 
commit suicide a lot more because men mm. don't talk about these things. Where Do you women remember when you was on your man up wave? Mm. Mm. Do you remember? Until I had the man up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah that, it's true, it's true, it's true. Especially in jail. They say, mm. They'll say man up out here. So imagine in there, you, ha- you have to, like, it's mm. even more so. Yeah, it's true, yeah. So. so. Uh, and so how's it going now? Yeah, it's going all right, man. Like, things are taking off. Um, mm. So obviously, like, I do music as well. Mm. That's not, do you know what it is? I was going to say that's not paying. It's paid a bit still. And to be honest, you don't really get paid straight away. It's, mm. it's more of a foundation of Sometimes, you, you know what it is? Sometimes it's about no, what you at, like. <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> uh, sometimes sometimes it's about <laughs> what you like. <laughs> Why are you know, laughing? Me and him got that joke. But listen, listen. Sometimes, listen, cliche. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's not about what's paying. Mm. It's about what. No, no, it's you're like enjoying yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. You that's that's what I was saying. I was going to get to you. <coughs> so, <coughs> man spent a lot of time mm-hmm. behind bars, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? This is your time now. No, 100%. The so only reason I said... The only reason I said it's not paying well. is because like, a lot of people are kind of against... Not even against me doing music, but they, they tell me like I'm wasting my time. Yeah, I could imagine. And when I say... Like, I mean like people that... Not even... Fucking family members, man. Like yeah, they're saying, imagine. like, yo, like it's a waste of time. They're just looking out for you, though. Yeah, I remember feel they you. just, they just, saw you. <coughs> they're looking at it from a different angle. Different, gen- it's a different generation. You know what I mean, as well. they're looking at it from it's a different, different angle. Like, look, twelve, you done twelve behind the door. Yeah, listen, it's it's not gonna happen. Life, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Now he Japanese thing as well. No, he you can. They know you can pattern. Yeah. You know them one day. They know you can. <laughs> no, but they know they can pattern him yeah, into a yeah, place yeah. where. But it's what you like as well, what you love, in it. Yeah, I feel as you. As well. Because I always um, even think I'm going to like cream, because obviously, managerless, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, remember R10 Records, I was going to pattern that back up, I'll chat to him anyway. But, but, um, but yeah. what was I saying? Yeah, so like, no, the only reason I said it's not paying, because like I say, when people say, what do you do? Usually they're like, meaning, what do you do for a living? Mm. So, like I said, I was working at a CAF. Um, I don't work at a CAF anymore. Like, I, now I work for, like, they call it, I'm not really working for a specific company or an mm-hmm. organization, but it, I'm basically in the penal reform sector. And like, what we do is we work with campaigns and organizations and charities that want to get justice for like. Is that what? So that's what, that's what the, the top joint enterprise right now, like, not guilty by yeah, association. The top says, um, Jengbar, joint enterprise not guilty by association. That's one um, charity that I work with quite closely, obviously because that's what I went prison Big for. Up. Um, we also work with like IPP Justice for IPP prisoners. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, big up Dog Mill as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we work Funky for Funky D. Big up, big up. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, work for another another organization called Howard League. But like, we're basically like Howard League mainly aim at like uh, children's welfare whilst they're in prison, whilst they're in custody. So you know, like if there's mistreatment, mm-hmm. if officers are beating them up, if things are going missing, if like they're treated unfairly, like even like might be racially might be getting like whatever in it. Um, it's basically like a voice for them and it's basically like people that are going to get onto the prison for you mm-hmm. because you might not have family that can do it for you. How did you get in contact with them? How did that come about? Um, basically, uh, when I first went to prison for this, mm-hmm. my mum was like, as you can imagine, she was lost. She didn't know what mm-hmm. to do and she was Googling like joint enterprise. Like, what is it? What is it like? And um, the, obviously the, the charity has come up online They'd only started in 2010. I went to jail 2011. They were mm-hmm. brand new. Mm-hmm. But it was made up by a, a group of mothers that literally all their sons or their husbands, some even girls go to jail for joint enterprise. Their mm-hmm. daughters, even a mother went to jail for joint enterprise. Like a grown mother. She's still in jail now. She got like just under 30 years. Mm. That mum deserved it. The one with her two youths. Them two boys. Two and she drove, she drove the two boys. No, 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 no. You know what? I, that, that, that was on the other day, innit? Yeah, I, she drove her two, she drove, she drove her two that, youths yeah, and they jumped out and done their thing. Yeah. That's, that, that actually happened. That, imagine that, the mum, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I thing. see that the other mm. day still. Um, mm. Now, nah, not even that one. This one was a one, just a two, you two boys. Wait, sorry? You did drove. Why would I have done that? You did drove Nathan and Tammy still. Me? No, I'm joking. Oi. I'm good, man. <laughs> well, I was I saying um, no 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 this was the, something else this was something else this was a mother that was just watching her sons beat someone up but they said that apparently she should have like stopped them stopped them yeah mm. but but yeah but yeah it's just not just um, <laughs> men or young black boys like even women white women all people like it's mad joint enterprise scoops out everyone but um, yeah that's they got in contact with me um, through my mum obviously they give them my mum give her my details 
Like I was even on a documentary, Panorama exactly documentary. Mm. Yeah, like big up mummy still. Mm. I was even on a documentary um, in 2014. It's still on YouTube now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Guilty by Association. And like, they basically like, they used about five joint enterprise cases that they wanted to like, highlight to the public that this happened, this happened, this happened, but this person got this. And like, obviously I was one of the cases and like, it shows like my case, it breaks it down, shows where I was, things like that. And like, even after the trial, everything had come out. The person that, <coughs> that, that done the crime, of course, like he, he even admitted it. Like, mm -hmm. I think he started to take ownership. So even from then, like he wants, he wants jam roll now, ain't it? I don't know what that is though. Parole. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. This was at, like we've been guilty, mm. but he took ownership from from that year. Okay, like, so okay. this is at a very like we just got the guilty, and he said, yeah, cool. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, they still, they still wanted everyone. They still wanted everyone like for the. the sorry, what was that? What was that? Where was you going with this again? Sorry, they still wanted everyone. Don't worry. <laughs> following cream in her madness. What is it? My what madness? It? Yeah, because you. What was it again? What was it again? Bringing him somewhere mad. I didn't bring him anywhere mad. Did bringing I bring him, him somewhere, somewhere mad? mad? No, exactly. Don't worry. Forgive her. I can't remember. Shut what up. Are you doing now? No, but what doing now? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So I was on a documentary, sorry. Mm. But they Panorama. highlighted the case, Panorama, and basically, like, Forgive her. through then, through there, that's where, man, that's where I got in contact with them. And then obviously, when I've come out, Mm. got in contact with them again and like they basically like asking me like do you want to like be the voice do you want to do things and like there's other people that have come out um, from joining the press as well mm. but like they don't really want to get involved do you get what I'm saying and I don't blame them because at the end of the day they've done big chunks of their life they probably just want to forget about it mm. it's, it's impossible to forget about it's been a big chapter chapters in my life in our lives but I don't I'd blame them for like wanting to just not think about it, do you get what I mean? But um I just felt like I don't know, like I'm just I'm still quite passionate in like what I believe in and like yeah, they just they just want someone it's not even they want someone but like I feel like I can help in it and it's not even just joining the prize that I work with, it's like even just making sure like children are being like looked after carefully in custody, like as young as like fifteen, mm -hmm. things like that just getting justice, like like I say, there's a lot of unlawful things that happen out here. In there, there's no social, there's no phones that you can just pull out and film. Where right? when there's misconduct, mm. or when people are getting beaten up and killed yeah. in the block, things mm. like that, like mm. there's no one there to like expose what's really going on. And they're very, they're, they're bullies in juvenile. Bruv, wire mm. wise it's crazy, well. man. It's mm. crazy. Like wire wise, they're like crazy. bullies, man. Mm. Like, I've, yeah. I've I've been beat up myself by guys, big men, in yeah. their thirties. Like Come they beat man up. Standard for, for a joke. And Especially just, in Wales, that's why I say they're bullies. Mm. And Do I just thought, raw like. I didn't know that, like, I didn't really know police did that because I was so young. They wouldn't, they wouldn't really do it to me at 13, 14, 15. But I didn't realise that people in power, they can kind of do things. Yeah. It was a bit scary, I can't lie to you. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's just, yeah, that's how it was going. Yeah, so boom. Nah, respect. For, um, that's a, that's mm. a bit of change, bro. Mm. Mm. 12 to go in there as a little mm. kid. Mm -hmm come out and still have your um, faculties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Enough respect for that, man. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? I'm going to give you respect for as well. Mm -hmm. For um, being able to, like, proper, like, introspect, have good introspect. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the way you look into like yourself. Perspective. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper, yeah. I think you've grown up yeah, with yeah, a good under understanding mm -hmm. of um, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I'll just repeat that it's unfortunate that mm -hmm. you got caught up in that because yeah. I do believe mm -hmm. that no nah, I don't think you deserve to do 12 yeah. years for it mm. yeah. but at the but same time at the same I, time no, like there's I say, a victim in it victim, and they might mm -hmm. say someone oh, lost yeah, his life they're, they're mm -hmm. dead, mm -hmm. it? someone mm -hmm. lost his life and like at I say I, I was part life. of that to get yeah. I was part of that so I don't really shy away from that mm. no nah, respect for that man but yeah boom fire round two pack or biggie ooh two pack I don't even know why I said that I don't even listen to them you know that's what I was thinking. I don't ever listen to them still. I've been keeping young in it. I was thinking. Mm. Yeah, I don't listen to them. 90s, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of these, I don't even know yet. Uh, I'm just, just try, try. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the younger <laughs> ones. Jay-Z or Nas? That's not younger, but you don't <laughs> listen to them. I didn't listen to them. Uh, cool. mm. no, no. <laughs> I know. I listen. <laughs> Shush. I'm just going to skip all of these. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. we got a few to skip for you then. Yeah, no. You know, his story's actually been very good. Very. Mm. Like, yeah. Trust me. Yeah. It's a proper story, that. 
Yeah. It's normally, and you come a long way now, as well. Now, normally people Even finish like you this story after 45 was, minutes. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, yeah, okay, you okay. proper had a good yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say as well, you were saying about, you know, like coming out and seeing where a lot of people have come from. Yeah. Like they're doing things, they've got kids yeah. and that. But you also got to remember that you've come a long way as well. No, Because a lot of people couldn't be like how this is after I doing it so long. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I fully so agree. So just go at your own pace and yeah. don't watch nobody else. No, you get me? Maya Jama or Alicia Dixon? <clears throat> My drama store. I used to have a crush on her back in the day. Of course cool, you did. Mm. Steph London or Miss Banks? S- Steph store. Tim Westwood or Charlie Sloth? Charlie. Rich Tree 2 or Swiss? I don't really, Rich, I don't know my man. Swiss. Blade Brown or Dubs? Blade store. J Spades or Ficky? Oh, spades, Spades. Potter Paper or Clavish? No, Potter, Potter, Potter. Big Rimsy Potter. or Nines? Rim store. Moe Stacks or AJ Tracy? I like AJ still, I can't lie. RD or H? Ooh, H and all. Snap Capone or Scraps? It's not a snap still. We got snap. Free snap. K Trap or Fredo? K Trap, K Trap. Central C or Digga D? It's a, it's a central man. <laughs> J Hus or Dave? Dave, Dave. That's a Dave still. Meeks Manny or Bugsy Malone? Meeks, you know, yeah. Mist or Millions? Ooh, Millions, though. JK or Devilman? JK. I don't even know about that. Stormzy Devilman. or Chip? Ooh, Stormzy, though. Gets or D Double? Gets. Kano or Dirty Dogs? Uh, Kano. Bashi or Crazy Titch? Bashi. Free Titch. Frisco or P Money? Uh, P Money. Titchy Stride or Footsie? Tinch, I, d- I don't know about them still, can't lie. Wiley or Dizzy Rascal? I thought I listened to more Dizzy, yeah. Skepto or Jamie? Uh, Skepto, Skepto. Heartless Crew or Soul Solid? I don't know about Heartless Crew. More Fire Crew or Pays, you go mad to get it. I only know more Fire still. Sizzler Capon, or do I need to find Japanese artists? No, nah, I know about Capon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! No, nah, I know about Capon. No, nah, but you get. <laughs> she's racist, you know. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Why are you laughing? Make you laugh. No, it's true, it's true. Nah, but, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, but he's, he's going mad. Huh? They're, all, they're both going mad. That's what they're racist. No, no, do you know any Japanese artists? No. no. I, thought, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I thought that was a funny thing to say. No, I don't even know. No, nah, but them uh, Japanese people, they love bash you know? Yeah, yeah no. they do. And the China man, them, they actually, like, proper, they got sounds and that. Mm. I know. Alright, so I'm gonna look your bridge is getting mad. So getting I'm, mad I know he's getting mad, he's big laughing. Up glitch, at you. Big up glitch on my producer still. He's laughing yeah. at you. But so skip all the Jamaican stuff. Yeah, I didn't really. Like I've been real with you. All I knew. Like Jamaican. Like, all I and knew you know was, what I thought? You, I don't know why I thought you had a Caribbean mix. No, no it's Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, people yeah, do say that still. You do, because I've got literally cousins that look like that. So I changed these to Burner Boy or Whiskey. I know. Whiz, Whiz, probably Whiz. Whiz, yeah. Burner Boy or Whiskey. Who's the other one? I just didn't say UK though. I can't remember. Who's the other one? Davido. Davido or who else Davido is from, or, from um, Africa? Davido or someone else? We're going to have to. Get Asa- Asake. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. He, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't Davido or Asake? English. Bro, I don't even listen to them. Davido. I don't even listen to them. All right, McDonald's or Burger King? <laughs> like these, man. Pizza or Domino's? Pizza Hot or Domino's? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Domino's. Come on. KFC or Morley's? Ooh, Morley Stone. Look at the sack coming out. <laughs> Look at the sack coming out. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that one. No, huh? Or Pepsi know. then, obviously. <laughs> Coke, you already picked Coke, but what? Nah, nah, Cola. In the jail, is that what he's in? Nah, ch- Mad <laughs> thing. All right, cool. <laughs> Fanta or Tango? <sighs> Fanta. Come on. Uh, orange or apple juice? Orange. Carrot cake or chocolate cake? Chocolate. Chinese or Indian? Chinese. Come on. Italian or Turkish? Oh. Ooh. Te- Ooh. Italian. I'm Turkish still. Uh, is it? I just, uh, nothing Tur- beating Turkish you be, you know, uh, I realise. I, I just love Turkish. Turkish? Yeah, Turkish. Like the mix in it. Lamb, shish, kebab. Don't like yeah, that. but Italians like p- p- pizza pasta and all that. Pizza 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 yeah. pizza you get me? Rice and peas or jollof? 
Yeah, I'm sneaking it, but rice and peas still. Mm. He's sneaked. <laughs> <laughs> sneaking it still. Fish and chips or pie and mash? Fish and chips. Car or bike? I've never drove a car, so bike. BMW or Mercedes? I like Mercs still. Audi or Volkswagen? Audi. Lamborghini or Bugatti? Lamborghini. Ferrari or Bentley? Ferrari. Jeep or coupe? Oh, Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. England or America? England. Eh? Fury or Usyk? I don't even know who Usyk is. Mad thing. Joshua or Wilder? <laughs> Joshua. Zhang or Dillian White? You don't know boxing? Nah, bro. Right, let's skip with boxing. <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Nike. Jordans or Air Max? Jordans. Puma or New Balance? New Balance. Gucci or Louis? Louis. Fendi or Dior? Dior. Versace or Mosh? Versace. Amiri or Givenchy? Uh, Amiri. Selfridges or Harrods? Selfridges. Designers or sportswear? Designers. Inside or outside? Outside. Galting now, restaurant or cinema? Restaurant. <laughs> Mad man, you know. <laughs> yeah, thinking about it, you see what? No, it depends. Yeah, nah, it <laughs> depends thinking like... about it. Looks or personality? Oh, that's a tough one, though. Mm. Not for me. But... Uh, no, nah, personality is important. It's I different. Look straight away. Is it? No <laughs> delay. I need her to be looking well, good. She's crazy, bro. I don't care. <laughs> you got to look good with your craziness. Natural or surgery? Natural. Bad girl or good girl? Good girl. Black girl or white girl? Or Chinese girl? I'm joking. Black girl or white girl? Uh, black and white. Black and white. We ain't got Chinese black. in this one. Chinese or Japanese girl? Japanese. Come on. What? Do you know what? Black, white, Asian, yellow, even Chinese girl with a light on my pillow. Hold on. Is that your thing? Come on, fam. Why for that? <laughs> girl's breast or girl's bum? Girl's bum? He's a G, you know. <laughs> Pardon me. Don't everyone, no one ever says girl's bum. They always mm. say bum and be gay. But yeah. <laughs> Her on top of missionary. Missionary. Doggy style or reverse cowgirl? Doggy. Six toys or no six toys? Nah, no six toys. To bow or not to bow? I've done it, <laughs> but I don't do it. Mind games. But I don't do it anymore. He's like, he's like pussy still. <laughs> no, I've done school. it. Yeah, yeah, but school. I don't do it anymore. Fam, you've done it, you've done it within a year as well. That's mad. <laughs> if you've done it when you was younger, <laughs> no, if you've done no, it no. when you was younger, yeah, that's, that's even madder. That's wild. If you've done it before you went to jail, that's madder. Because that era. So now you've done it within that, a year. That era is dangerous. You're that definitely era, one of them. That era weren't even doing that. That era was yeah, that's obviously you're with them. You're with them now, but it's too much gel, isn't it? All yeah. the bass mag, the pool, yeah, you see, you know, you're thinking this, you think you're doing something sensible. <laughs> Hold on, money or love? Love, money, career of your dreams or the love of your life? Ooh, I have to go for love of my life still. All right, we're going to your your the, the, your type of questions now: police station or court cells? Oh, a police station, you, get, you get phone call and No, but they don't yeah. court cell, they don't, they don't get anything. so thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but you don't above. get anything. No, but still, yeah. you can't even lie down on the court. No, you know no, what no. I'm talking it's about? A, a little a bench, bench is so tight. There's it's, no mattress. It's tight as well. But anyway, police officer or prison officer? Prison officer. Remand or convicted? Oh, fucking no, convicted. Ooh, actually, ah, that's a mad one. That's a mad one, because Remand at least you might be able to still bust. bro. But... No, 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 Remand's better still. You get more money. HMP, YOY, or just HMP? Like juice. Oh, like adults? Ju yeah, juice. Oh, adults. adults all day, man. 10 do 5 or free your IPP? 10 do 5. In it? Oh, mad fam. I know it's not. I'm going home. When I know, I know when I'm going home, innit? Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Mm. But man. imagine that 10 do 5 or free IPP, they could be out after free, but they're not going to. But yeah, <laughs> toilet cheese or food pack when you reach reception? Uh, Food pack, food pack. TV or stereo? Yeah, I was a stereo music. Yeah, come on, the freeze or the ones? I was always up still. Yeah, freeze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Education or job? Education. Pool or table tennis? Table tennis. Come on. <laughs> Football or weightlifting? Yeah, weightlifting. Association or gymnasium? Ooh. that's that's a tough one, you know. So I don't think I can pick that one because I'd rather go gymnasium over association standard. But <laughs> it's a tough one, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather go gymnasium. Exercise or shower? 
For a shower. Canteen day or visits day? Visits day. Canteen standard <laughs> for the visits. Jim Woodley or number one servery? Number one servery. Church or mosque? Church. Tuna or mackerel? Mackerel. Custard creams or bourbon? Custard creams. Racist. Ritz or Jaffa cake? <laughs> uh, Jaffa cake? What's Ritz? Ritz is he? Ritz is a hard. This is done with the cheese, isn't it? You can't have cheese. Nah, you can't nah. have cheese. Jaffa cake, Jaffa cake, Jaffa cake. Ritz is bad though, but yeah, boom. Walkers or Golden Wonder? Walkers. Walkers. Cheese and onion or prawn pussy tail? Prawn pussy tail. Ready salted or salt and vinegar? Ready salted. Snickers or Mars? Snickers. Mad thing. You want the thing with the nuts? <laughs> Cornflakes or Alpen? Uh, Cornflakes. Double or single banger? Oh, a single man. Come on. Fucking hell. <laughs> Speaking double. There's people that want double one. though. Yeah, I know. But big up Barry. Mm-hmm. But yeah, apple crumble and custard or Christmas pudding? <sighs> apple crumble still. Crumble. I like the crumble. Mm. Standard. Four music or E4? For music store. Simpsons or Hollyoaks? Hey, I'm a child, you know, Simpsons. Come <laughs> on, why for Hollyoaks? <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Aye. EastEnders <laughs> or Coronation Street? <laughs> yeah, if you ever picked Hollyoaks, you'd have went mad. EastEnders um, or Coronation Street? I've, I've, I've never watched either. All right. Remember, I gave a few questions, proper questions at the end of the new shit. Mm. Fire Ant. What's something you never thought that you would do, but you did? Get uh get released. Mm. You never thought you'd get released. No, there, uh, there was a point I didn't think I'll get out. Yeah. Yeah. What cliche? Imagine that that's your name as well. Mm. But what cliche or phrase do you most live by? Um, that mine's really the most. Oh. I just um. So it's a long one though. Go on. I just think. Uh, <coughs> God will never give you a challenge that you couldn't handle. Mm. Yeah, and I always believe that. So whenever a man's going through it or something mad's happening, I always believe I can you I get can through it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. That's good. How do you unwind after a long day? Uh, listen to music. Go go on YouTube, yeah. Listen, watch YouTube, me. yeah, I'm a YouTube. YouTube yeah. I'm in the YouTube over streets. Ne- over like Netflix. No, I'm in the YouTube, YouTube streets still. I'm, like, I'm in YouTube streets in more streets. than, nah, more than mm. the normal like, 100%, TV. No, 100%. Um, when you're feeling down, mm-hmm. what can cheer you up? Um, speaking to like people that like that comfort me, so people that care about me, or mm. if I feel like stressed, I'll go, I'll go nasium and I feel better. Mm. 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 For me, it's pum pum. <laughs> what is the best? Your pum pum can always cheer me up. What is the best advice? <laughs> Can't you see? I ain't been cheered up for a bit. <laughs> I need cheering up still. I need cheering up. You get me, DM me if you want to cheer me up. But anyway, I have to have looks. Can't look like Nella <laughs> or Mimi. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I'm trying to keep it going. <laughs> I need to keep it going until Nella says something back. <laughs> we need her to say something back. Anyway, well, what is the best advice you've ever received? Ooh, best advice. Good ones, isn't it? It's good one. I'm a good one. So I'm carrying the show today. Uh, to basically. Look at you. you happy? No. <laughs> you I can't believe it. It. I I've been carrying it every time. Here you go. I can't believe they're saying you're carrying it. You... And uh, um, since you've been pregnant, they're saying though. Mm. So it's the weed. It's the weed. Yeah, they're trying that to say. That means I've been more talkative yeah. since they're I've been saying, pregnant. Yeah, they say since hey. you stopped being like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just getting mad. But anyway. Mm-hmm. They um, like my input. Thank show, you. Our guest. Anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I guess. You don't try and style me. Cream, our guest. Move. What is the best advice you've ever received? Best advice. Um, to not tell. So basically, like, if you've got something good don't going for us. you. No, no, no. To not tell oh. everyone your, your, your plans. Your plans. Come, yeah. What? That's yeah, a big yeah. major. Yeah, I've learned that since I've been out. Oh, like, yeah. When I, major. I used to, any good thing coming, I, keep fucking I used up to tell that. everyone. Dad, you can't be talking because yeah. yeah. people see stamp on your plans. Nah, trust no, me. See real, the second you know. Yeah. It's, up. Real, you know. it's gone. I you're swear. better off just yeah. make, don't it's announce until you're ready to announce. I used announce. to think people were just No, but sometimes it's the bad mind, you know. Yeah, of course. It's not even that they're doing anything. It's just their bad mind. And they just think, I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. And they just, yeah, they've got to keep good news to yourself. You've got to keep it to yourself. Definitely got to like, you don't, yeah, don't, yeah, nah. don't tell people the process. Don't tell people the process. Just let it happen. Mm-hmm. 
Current mm-hmm. Affairs cream us. <clears throat> right. First current affair that I've got down that I saw, Cardi B has announced that she's single. Her and Offset have split up. Uh, she's always announcing Ooh. that she's single. Though. Did you see? Is it? And yeah. she got a you. Yeah, yeah, they, they got two. Yeah, that's what they I'm got thinking. a little boy and a girl. So she went on live and she's saying that she's been single for a little bit. Mm-mm. But here where the little mix up comes. Look at me with my mix up session. <laughs> the old dance section. So Blueface and um has basically said that Krishan slept with Offset in their house. Oh yeah, because Blueface is saying that's not his you, isn't it? Yeah, he, he kidnapped the baby and he's basically said that he swabbed the baby. This is all allegedly because I don't know if it's true or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but he no, kidnapped what? the oh, baby and um, apparently mm-hmm. he said he swabbed the baby and the baby's not his. But they had, al- they had already done a DNA test before when she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if, he's tro- if he's trolling or whatever, but he's basically said that Krishan slept with Offset. And now Cardi's um, announced that they're single, so. Boy. Don't know. Man, too. I can't lie, I thought they'd have been together for. Mm. for but for they split the up a couple of times, though, they Bef- have, you previously, know. Previously, yeah. is it? Mm. Mm. But I liked them together, I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. But, and um, <clears throat> also, did you see the security man or the cleaning up man that was mopping outside yeah, the McDonald's? Yeah, he violated the no. sleeping, you never see homeless it? man. You know, like when you're mopping outside the, the pavement bit? And he's got the mop bucket and he's mm. soaking the homeless man's um, sleeping bag. Mm-mm. Basically, well, yeah, well, McDonald's have made a statement, actually, and they fired him, you know. Yeah, of course yeah, they yeah. And yeah. I feel like, so, yeah, he should. He done a ma- that's mad. Because you need not, to have a bit of compassion for people. The man's sleeping on the roadside, for God's sake. Why are you going to put your dirty mop water all over, his mad, plate, all over the sleeping bag? Do you get me? That's mad. Yeah, I don't like that. And I would never do something like that, you know. That's what I'm saying. You could have got nicked for that if that was a normal person. Mm. If you threw what I know you can mm, get. So mm, mm, it feels like mm. you're homeless. He, like he looked like he was being so spite. It's the way he was doing it. It was so spiteful as well like come on man man. yeah he was that made it even worse do you understand what i'm saying it was wasn't it yeah it was a black man you know and he's just there liberties was was the homeless person white or black no he looked foreign in it white or foreign polish or maybe something like that but he was sleeping he he had his little thin little um, if it was the other way around everyone would be going mad and saying racism exactly i can't lie that's true Mm. true. it is true it is like imagine if it was a a polish man that done that to a black man yeah exactly they'd be outraged right now can you imagine do you know what i mean some big outrage and then now but don't do that to people do you know what i mean like i don't rate that at all yeah <laughs> and um, did you see Come that on. guy? I can't even remember his name. The one that was doing the jokes in front of his mattress, what need a bed sheet? Oh, oh. yeah, he's Rare Talks. Is, um, I, I, oh, is that he? I knew oh. I reckon he's the co host <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, on Rare yeah, Talks, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Sitting down. Arriet. Talking about his, if, if, say, if, you don't, if he spends thirty he's pound on Arriet. Uber Eats, do you have to yeah, get the pom pom? Basically saying he's gonna arry it. Yeah, like he said, it was trolling, and you know, he was a joke or whatever. But learn to read the fucking room. Yeah. That's not even a joke. Like, Jojo jo didn't even rate that. Yeah. I, I commented on his thing. Did you? I'm, I'm sure I got like four hundred likes. I swear to <laughs> totally. God, I was like, what did you first. say? I said, I said, I said, swear down, my man just. I said, swear down, my man just said that. Mm. Would he repeat that in mm. front of a judge and jury? Exactly. And everyone basically arry it. Like what, what was you thinking? Arrow. But he, he's, he's saying it was a joke. But, but whether it was a joke know, or not, why were we going to find that know, funny with you sitting in front of your dirty mattress? Clout, in it? With, a, with that need sheets and stuff. Clout's dangerous. And, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, a, and a black bag yeah, on the, the bed with a tissue on there, there and for that. For when he's bashing. Ugh. Clout's dangerous, though. Oh, gosh. The whole thing. Yeah, The man them know what the tissue, what we need tissue for. Oh. Car, you get me? I got tissue in my bed. Like, oh, dear. Yeah, car, I'm a madman, innit? I ain't like I need... Do you know what I mean? Uh, the whole thing was just a no. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm dealing with beer porn. Like he, oh gosh. Boy, anyway, Lord. do you know <laughs> what? <laughs> beer <laughs> tissue, but my but my bed's got covers in that. My I got the proper yeah. bed. You get me? I got the proper. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh Brother, man, gosh. the man come back to you. He had a, he had a bin bag on it now. And then mm. he's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's putting um, sometimes holes people in his try socks. too much to yeah, be viral, you know. You know, like they try to do so that. much for a little attention. No, on but the, didn't on you the not clock the tea? Ugh. There's holes in the tea. That's yeah, when I he knew he just looks so trampy. No, but even the, the, he has to. He's doing it to blow. He's doing it to blow. Yeah, he is definitely. He is, but for all the wrong reasons. Do you get me? But Harry, the man just basically said it's cool to Harry. The man said thirty buff as well. 
Mm. He's yeah, moving not, like 30 both. Like, yeah, if I, if I, if I, if I spend 30 both, like he's moving like from me, spends 30, 30 quid. Bags. That's it. <laughs> you have to let off. No. Like you have to let off. He like, needs to spend thirty pound and get some bed sheets. He's oh going no. mad. Like even even the even the, the, the um even the cheap liquor um losses is like what bills can get, get some pom pom for like a bills. Not oh. that I know. Not that I know. <laughs> like obviously, <laughs> if I know that, you know what I mean. Uh, we've are. all been young. Here we are. <laughs> we've all <laughs> been young. You know what I mean. <laughs> We've all yeah, been young. That, that that joke just didn't go well down no. at all. Like, what are you, you got doing, dreams. mate? You get me, no, Wolf and Stop. You got dreams. You get me. We've all been there. That, that was sixty pound though when I was younger. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> the cost of living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come mm-hmm. up Lithu- 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 Lithuanian things and that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and then, um, did you see Poet saying that he's left Gasworks? Uh uh-uh. uh Did Poet? Is Poet is left Gasworks? So, well, I don't listen. I don't know if he's left. Like, he posted a tweet saying it was fun, bye bye, or whatever, whatever. So people are like saying he's obviously hinted that mm. it might be over. I don't but know what for or you whatever. might be saying it was fun to um, Chucky, though. What do you mean? He, he might be saying bye to Chucky. No, it was Gasworks. Oh, he actually he's said Gasworks. Yeah, he's made oh, a tweet okay. about it. Yeah, okay. basically, like, yeah, it's like, so I don't know. Looks, so what's Alan going to do? I mean, I know. My for Joe for mm. the wine minister, you give me no joke. Here you go, <laughs> no, I'm poet. Joking, I'm joking. Hey. <laughs> poet. You will see my Alan. coffee spot. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> shout me my G. Hey. <laughs> give me no. They said me and you are more funny. Uh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> day. They said me and you are more funny. You get me. <laughs> but so, big up poet, same way. Big up poet. You know what I'm saying. And um, last but not least, um, R.I.P to the mum of the 16 year old, her name's Leanne Gordon. Oh. She was um, killed in front of her daughter, isn't it? Mm, Did you hear when? about that? In, like a triple shooting? Yeah, in when? East London. Do you know about these yeah. things? And I'm, where am I? Social, it's on social media. No? Mm-hmm. I'm in the YouTube streets, bro, mm. but I didn't mm. see that in the YouTube streets. I don't streets. know the ins and outs of it all, but. So mm. there's a triple shooting? Yeah, yeah three apparently. Got hit, but yeah. My mum died. Yeah. And the mum died. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Where was it? In East London, I think. East mm. London is a yeah. big place. Hackney, I think it is. Okay, I don't okay. know, it just because I hate saying things that I ain't get it right. Get it right. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But um, I think it was Hackney. Mm. But um, yeah. Is that your current affairs? That's all of them. There was you about four there. You didn't feel like telling them about Fecky's new album? Big up Fecky. Yeah. Do you Fecky's know what? New album. My bad. Yeah. And he's got some joints on there as well, yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. I've been no, feeling No, but it's not them. even your bad, because really, you should have been on there by now. Cause mm. I waited, you know what I mean? I nearly didn't, still. Mm. Mm. No, but Big Up the same didn't. way, though. But, but it's now I was going to do it. I, I wanted him to feature, and then yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, that would have been like good, that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm. it's a big, big album. Up, yeah, mm. big, big, big. Big I, album. Yeah, I do like what he's got, what yeah, he's put yeah. out so far. Make sure you look, go check that out. Yeah, you look, run that up, innit? Run that up. You get me one of ours. You get me one of yours as well, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah, so yeah, that's the um, current affairs. Current We've affairs. actually done the main subject, which mm-hmm. is... And the grilling, I forgot to speak on. you got grilling coming out as yeah, well, got, innit? How I've was that? got grilling coming out. That How was, was it, right. though? That was all right. I think, oh, remember, we're um, shooting the Christmas special. We might mm-hmm. be able to react to it. Yeah. Because I think that's Should be out. out by then. I think so, yeah. They just put out one... They put out one clip today mm. that I'm not sure of. I'm a bit nervous now, innit? Because now nah, it's like I basically admitted to sucking pom pom once, mm-hmm. innit? So now, nah, see, it's a madness now, innit? Mm. We've all done it. I thought I was, do you know what I mean? I was mm. going to be able to take, do this all the way to the end <laughs> and mm. never suck pom pom, you get me? Mm. But yeah. even the fact, I didn't think I, even when I'd done it, I was pissed off, but. I thought I was gonna be with my baby mother forever, so I, I didn't think I'd ever have to g myself up. Hmm. No Shall we wait or do that one? Look at the last thing I wrote. Lippy. Yeah. Wait for what? Well, that's what I'm saying. What? Then, what about Lippy? Mem- oh special. yeah, because he's, yeah. he's done about. When, the let when me he, land. Let me land. Mm. Lippy did not land. Big up Lippy. <laughs> Lippy did not land. You saw the comments. Lippy mm. didn't land. You get mm. me? Mm. Obviously, we all know, if you say Young Spray, you're going to get views. You get me? Me and Lippy are cool. He just said Young Spray to get views. You get me? Mimi is mental. He knows she's mental. He knows his mates are really mental. <laughs> Look, I'll give Here you more are. things for Here you to land. No, I'm are. giving him more stuff for him to land. Because mm-hmm. this is what we do. We give each other alley-oops. Mm. You get me? There's more. No, but Lippy, anyway. Mm. Big up Lippy. Yeah, big up Lippy. I might not really care about that. I did... 
Obviously, I phoned him and went bonkers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Phoned him straight away, no delay, but we're good. You get mm-hmm. me? I, I don't want to talk about it without it's, him. That's why I was cool. saying, yeah. are we going to wait? Yeah, get no, me. no, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, but, cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have a break and come back mm-hmm. with the dilemma. You get me? Cool. So my brethren sent me this picture saying, see, black folks do sleep with pets. I know to the untrained eye, it looks like my man's in the bed with his dog and the puppies. Yeah, to the untrained eye. But to a man like me, or to a few men them that know, knows that my man is doing the right thing. I would be that guy. Yeah, when you've got eight puppies, and you know you're going to sell each one for 20k, yeah, I'm going to be wrapped up in my duvet. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. You understand? He's ne- that's, that's, he's got about, about 90 bags worth of puppies there. I'm going to make sure the mum's comfortable, relaxed, so she could, be, could use some nice fresh milk to help make these puppies healthy and strong. So when I put them on gum tree for 20k, people know, yeah, I've got some healthy pups. If you notice, look, you see the dad in, in the cage. He's got no use. You stay in the cage. <laughs> yeah, if it was that, the dad would be there. No, the dad, ain't got, the dad ain't bringing it on. The dad's done his job. Now stay in the cage. Mummy needs to be relaxed. Yeah, so that's the only time they're gonna be in our bed. Yeah, Michelle, uh, where yeah, are Michelle, I play a song with coffee and Sam's with a big song. Over blood, blood clot. Oh, Tada. All the space around, sir. <gasps> Wait, how oh, the bumble clot, me ask you? Yo, I work for a carrier, brother. <laughs> blood clot. You might go make some money short time with you, you fucker, yo. It will turn. <laughs> we'll let me know. All right, Major General, I'll go on. Yeah, man, you don't need this. Respect. Yeah. We'll let me know. Boom. Welcome back to the RTM podcast show. Hope you found that funny. Get me that nice call, you know. You got the jacket on. But yeah, we're going to get into the dilemma, actually. Because mm. we've already done the main subject, mm-hmm. which was joint enterprise. <coughs> so... Um, yeah, this week's dilemma is... Oh, yeah, and big up um, Cliche as well for being so transparent as yes, well, man. Yeah. yeah. And taking accountability and everything. Mm-hmm, but I'm going to give him that in the outro as well. But um, so every episode, we have a different dilemma. Okay. Um, today's Dear RTM podcast show. Big up the both of you. Best podcast in the UK for me. But Spray, you need to let cream and the guests speak more. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Swear they're saying that Queen's been carrying the show, so what sense that You mean? really hate anyway, on that comment, innit? I can't believe Rose it. Rose Clark. I can't believe they're thinking <laughs> you're they carrying like anything. Input. You get what I'm saying? My dilemma, anyway, stop interrupting, Here we go. has been bugging my me idea. for a few weeks now, so I'm hoping you lot can help me by giving me some advice. I'm 37 and my sister is 43. Six years might seem like a big gap, but we've always been extremely close as we have no other siblings. I've always looked up to my big sis and I remember watching her get married when she was 22 and wanting to be just like her. 11 years and three kids later, she's still married and my parents and I absolutely love her husband who works hard to look after his family. Couple weeks ago, I decided to go and pay my sister a surprise visit at her house as I hadn't seen her for over a month, which is very long for us. As I pulled up, I noticed a sports car parked on her drive. I know Tyrone, her husband, has a white van and was at work, so I wondered whose it was. I parked up and just as I got out of my car, my sister came out of her house with some big, dark, handsome guy, hand in hand. She hugged and kissed him, then he got in the car and drove off. My sister didn't notice me and went back inside. The shock on her face when I knocked the door less than a minute later Mm -hmm. and she opened it 
expecting it, it to be her lover. I confronted her immediately and she didn't even try and deny anything to me. Almost like she was relieved to tell someone. Apparently she's been having an affair for nine months with this guy who's also married with kids. Now every time I see Tyrone, I feel bad and wonder if I should tell him what's been going on as I really think it's, it's not fair. What do you lot suggest I do? Thanks and keep up the good work. Be real with you, man. That's, that's your sister, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You gotta hold it down, man. It's none of your business. That's what I'm saying. You gotta mm. hold it down. That's what I mean, like, just keep that to yourself, man. What are you saying? Yeah, no, I wanted to hear from the guys first. Yeah, you're saying it's none of your guy, business. Yeah, we're, we're always gonna me, say don't me say Me personally, nothing. I feel like, because it's your sister, we're always it's gonna not say your don't place to go nothing. and tell that's her what I'm saying. what happened. That's what I'm saying. However, you can tell your sister how you feel about it. 100%, you can tell your yeah, sister, yeah, yeah. I don't rate how you're moving. I don't rate that. 100%. I like Tyrone, whatever, whatever, because mm-hmm. that's how it sounds mm-hmm. like to me. Fuck you. Do you understand yeah, yeah, what I'm saying? You know, like you can have a Yeah, she raised Tyrone. Yeah, she can't believe... Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You can that. see yeah, that he obviously checks for Tyro. Mm. Do you understand? Because if it was a, mm. he, you know, if it was a guy he didn't, he wouldn't he, care. He, yeah. wouldn't care. Yeah. he yeah. obviously yeah. cares for a reason. So you should need to sit down with your sister and explain. Do you understand what I mean? Course, but however, course. tell her to leave Tyrone, then, innit? Yeah, that's what I said. He needs to sit down with his sister, innit? No, mum says she needs to tell her sister but just leave Tyrone. The sister looks like she's in a cushy. Sneaky thing because he's mm. married as well, innit? So yeah. they both got yeah, they both got Do you understand lose. what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah, they're both going mad. Mm. And he's got the he's sports. got the sports car. Yeah, he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you love both. Said oh it. my! Yeah. You both no, said no. it. As well. But that, no. but that alone the is enough. Is going. That enough alone is to yeah, make her he's step. Doing she will step out he's on him. Like, that's that's why it's messed up. Yeah, she's this, going mad. She was st- it's mad. Husband's working hard. Hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? She's my my might just have businesses that he just manages. Doesn't do much, but he's got the sports car. He's out. He's out too much. She don't mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what we telling her? Just don't tell. Basically. Don't tell, but have the definitely have the convo. Have the Communication is key, man. Tell her, tell him, tell him. Mm, yeah, feel. yeah. Make her know she's tell moving like like a mm-hmm, slag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that must hurt him to even know that mm-hmm, his sister's mm-hmm. doing that, though, man. Mm. Uh, that must hurt him to know that his sister's even doing that. Though. You can tell you that he wrong. don't. You can. What? How has he got it wrong? He said it must hurt him to know that his sister's doing no. that. Yeah. What do you mean, his sister? His That's what I cheating. thought. I thought you said it's his sister. Oh my gosh, what's going I on? Isn't it a girl that wrote in? No, I thought you no, said it's his sister. It he don't rate how Tyrone's going Exa- on. Yeah. That's why I said uh, I wanted to hear from yeah, you because it was a guy. Do you know what I mean? A guy has found that his sister's cheating. His sister's cheated. Hold on, hold on. Oh no. I'm 37 and my sister is 43. It sounded like it was a guy writing it for some reason, didn't it? Did they even say it? Yeah, that, it is a guy. He just said, my sister's 43. Yeah, but it could be a girl, and it, the girl's got a sister as well. <laughs> I feel like A it girl could say it's her sister's 43. Oh, it's why true. did I assume it was but a I guy? Yeah, I don't know. It sounds what? like... Because I'm reading it. No, it you definitely just said it was no, a guy. No, but I know. It's and just me the and way my you said it. Like, yeah. It sounds no, like because oh, I'm reading it, and I'm a guy. You know what? Yeah. You're, I know you... I thought it was a guy the whole time. But I can't lie. the way it's written and the way that the word is... I'm 37, and my sister is 43. Guy or girl, same thing though, mm. isn't it? Yeah. I'm if it's a girl, it's definitely not a place to say the sister. I'm trying to even see. But if I feel like says. you have that talk with your yeah. sister. You know when you have them ones. You gotta let say, them know. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like what's going on. I saw. Now this happened. has got to be a girl. You reckon? Is he it? says I've always looked up to my big sis, and I remember watching her get married when she was 22 and wanting to be just like her. Oh, yeah, I didn't hell. hear that oh, bit. Yeah, with a little, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I, I don't know why it sounded be. like a guy. No, that's yeah. what I'm thinking yeah. in my head. Why am I knowing it's a, it's yeah. a girl okay, and you got a guy in mind? Yeah, no, she Cut. definitely can't say. Mm. Unless she wants Tyrone. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> she might want Tyrone. If it was Tyrone. a boy, Mum would look to box your sister, if anything. <laughs> mm. Like, not like that, but Mum would like... No, but that's why I was saying, if it is a guy, he needs to tell his sister to pattern up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know... Conk on the back of her head, what are you doing with? Not, you know what I mean? If it's... No, I'm telling you. Like, if I see my sister doing that to, like, her husband, Yeah, Conk, what are you dealing with? You understand? I wouldn't G her up, but... But you proper have a Conk with my phone or something. Conk, what are you dealing with? Big up Vic. Yeah, big up Michael. You get me? You know what I mean? I'll mm. conk her up for that. But yeah, flip him. Um, yeah, man, just stay out of it. Because at the end of the day, you could G it up. And then your sister clearly might be wearing the, the, the um, belt of the relationship. And if mm. she patterns it, 
But then now, you and your sister's not in a good relationship mm. because you G'd Especially out. when they stay together. The messenger yeah. is the one that gets on That's the outs. They both you won't even... Look at how many you men... You know what I mean? Tutus, they don't want you around anymore. Yeah. Look how many <laughs> men beat up someone for their sister mm-hmm. because that guy's hitting their sister. And they stay. And they stay. Do you know what I mean? I've seen a man go jail mm-hmm. for beating up sister's boyfriend, but when he went jail, they got back together. back together. Yeah, domestics went, is a went jail very for no reason. sticky Mighty. one. You're like, it's, sad. It's, it, yeah. it's definitely sad. Yeah. My thing. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, stay out of it. Anyway, every episode, mm-hmm. we have a um, different book suggestion mm-hmm. as well. Okay. But we've been telling the guests to like suggest a book for them to go and read. So if you've got okay. a book that you'd like to I've suggest. got a book here, but I can't like, I forgot the guy's name. You it's can't called, think of the author? No, nah, it's called Good Vibe, Good Life, though. Good Vibe, Good Life. Yeah. Good vibe. Why I re- have I, I heard it. of that? What's that about? Um, I've heard that. I think it's we it's might like a self-help mm. book. Yeah, it is. But um, good vibe. I good remember life. the guy. He's a mixed race guy. He's from South London originally as well. What's it? What's it called? Uh, good, I mean, what's it um about? Um, it's just it's about sure. having a positive mindset and how. So like a lot of people read books like that in prison, as you can imagine mm-hmm. why. But it's just about having a positive mindset and like looking at life always from like a positive perspective. Good vibes, perspective. good life. Yeah. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. We've, we've actually suggested that, that book this there, before. Yeah. I, I can't lie, I read that. Vex King. We've definitely suggested Yeah, 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 suggested that's, it, that's it, that's it, yeah. Yeah, the serious name. Vex King, yeah, yeah. And like, it's just about, even though you're in a situation like this, or in prison, or, you know, like it's always to look at the positives and like, if you dwell on the past, or if you kind of get consumed by negative energies around you, mm. um, it just kind of blocks you from really mm. elevating and progressing in life. It even tells you like one big thing I learned. It says like you could have a lot of people make this mistake in life. They will have family members or close people around them that just like proper take their energy. Of but course, but they will energy give them. Suckers. But they keep giving them chances because yeah. oh, but that's my brother yeah, or mm-hmm. that's, that's my dad or. Mm-hmm. But but it, that book literally tells you don't fall for that. Mm-hmm. Like you have to look after your inner peace, your mental health because mm. you might keep giving them chances eventually. Trust me. This this got my baby mother to leave me. What well, a book? Definitely. Mm. Now you're telling me what's in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 people. Like, at the end of the day, like, yeah, they have to look after the inner peace. This. Yeah, she was reading this at the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you have to protect your energy, mm-hmm, you know. 100%. And you got, you know, because people dad, man, will take bit, take from you till you're left with nothing for yourself. Okay. Do you no, understand what I'm saying? And to be your best and mm-hmm. to give your best, you have to be at your I have best. To get over in it. <laughs> I need to get over in it. <laughs> I need to get over it. Big up, big up. Anyway, that's a good book. Mm-hmm. RIPs and freeze though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who we RIP in and who we free in? It's all them and them. Do you know who I've it's got to free? Them. Who? King Aggie. Is he inside? Aggie, man. Oh, free Aggie. Free Aggie. Aggie, Aggie free man. Gav. Free Gav times a standard yeah. times a milli, but uh, yeah, Aggie. Aggie. Man. Just yeah. got a four do two quickly. Oh, oh, for real. Yeah. Oh, so, man. Yeah, just, uh, just demanding, man. A lot of lifers I've been in jail I was going to say, free up the lifers. Free up the lifers. Like, Kruger, a lot of people. Troy. Joint Enterprise, people Saquon, doing big birds. SK. 35s. Dying of them. Torn of them. Chev them. Crave of them. Mm, big birds, man. I'm getting free up everyone. Mm, Any yeah. RIPs? RIP anybody that never made it this year. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I always forget, you know, but someone anyway but yeah, yeah boom no respect bro yeah. i didn't even get to my final my final piece of the pie wife of the pie go on <laughs> no like i literally dropped um an ep it's mm-hmm. like a five track ep mm-hmm. it's called the previous life and it's like it's like the final songs of like me i wrote them lyrics when i was in jail mm-hmm. some of them have been released as freestyles like on youtube and things 400k 289k like they've got big views there big One. views yeah. obviously that one's got 1.2 mm-hmm. mil but mm-hmm. these ones have still got 400k's and that but yeah I've redone these songs and like I've recorded them mixed and mastered them and like yeah this was like my last chapter of talking about jail because I kind of blew up off pain mm-hmm. but I, I'm not in jail no more mm-hmm. now you want to talk I'm about not freedom s- I'm not sad anymore man's I'm, you get me I've been through struggles but mm-hmm. I'm happy now my music's changed my sound's changed and like, yeah, this is the last piece because like all my fans from years that have been watching me, mm-hmm. they're always saying, when are you going to redo this? Because they're just watching the jail version. Mm-hmm. So like, I've done it for them. And yeah, it's out. Is it's it out, out, yeah? It's out now, yeah. Is it stream, streamable? It's on stream, yeah. It's on the Make all sure platforms. Make sure you like, go run that up. Yeah, run What's that it called up, again? Yeah. The uh, it's called uh, The Previous Life. The Previous yeah. Life. Yeah, I've even dropped a music video called The Last Lap. I wrote that a month before I got out. Where's that out on? Um, that's 
that's on YouTube, mm -hmm. like the music video, but mm -hmm. the, the EP itself is so on, on your own channel. Streaming, own channel, yeah. Go on. Yeah, I've been doing my own channel. Good, I got yeah. I got like a hundred and fifteen k views on my Fresh Home song. Really? Yeah. Ocean Eyes, yeah. Even that yeah. took off. Yeah, so yeah, it's best. It's best to mm. just start your own shit, man. Hundred percent. So you don't have to rely on no mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. you know hundred percent. I mean? Don't yeah, get into no one. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. But yeah, nah. Respect for um featuring, bro. Yeah, nah, thank you for. Thank you for having me on it, yeah. man. Yeah, thanks like, for coming on and sharing your yeah. story. Yeah. Do you get me? Because we've been waiting mm -hmm. for so long to get someone to mm -hmm. do joint enterprise. Because mm -hmm. it's like, like I say, it's, it's, it's a touchy one. It's, 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 a touchy it's very one controversial. It's very controversial, controversial because even here, like, there's, 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 there's people that maybe, sh yeah, I understand mm -hmm. why you're in there for, but then there's people that, no. Nah. And mm. then even the people that, yeah, I understand, you shouldn't be getting the same thing mm -hmm. as. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think. To me, they should get a manslaughter. Mm. Mm. Unless would, every, would, unless when we that, read yeah. out, we knew mm. who was going to M's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? Nah, if we you. didn't know who was going to M's, why mm. am I getting at M's? Mm. Yeah. Also for other people to watch as well. Yeah. And mm. to see, because they might not feel, they might feel, yeah, I'm going with my brethren. They're not really yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, what yeah, the yeah. consequences that's could why. possibly be. Do you understand what that's I'm saying? That's why I mm -hmm. think your story is so important. Yeah. That's like, even with what I do with my work now, so... I don't do this preaching thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that like, I don't fault anyone that does preaching, mm -hmm. like not not even religiously, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like road yeah. preaching, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. ex-road mm -hmm. man that says yeah, da da da. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't fault them, but I don't do preaching. And the reason I say that is because I said this before, like there's some, like I know it's like, there's people that are so knee deep, you can't mm -hmm. say, oh, stop doing, like they're too involved. And like a lot of people will say, why don't they move? Why don't they leave the gang? Mm -hmm. But like what people don't understand is like, if you're too involved, your bait, your face might be on YouTube, you're rapping. You mm. can't just leave. Things have happened, you've done things like. So I'm not, instead of preaching, I look at it as like, why tell a man to come off the roads when he's on road? Why not chat to the youths when they're young? So like through my work, we do things like we go to schools, like not even schools, cause like <laughs> we go to like pupil referral units, things mm -hmm, like that, where mm -hmm. kids that are already in trouble. Yeah, on the way. Mm -hmm, youths mm -hmm. that are on yacht. Um, we're trying to go into a YOI at some point next year, like to go chat to, kids are already in jail, but like, we're trying to get them from young. Cause like I say, like, they say there's this thing in it. If you don't change by 30, you become stuck in your ways. Mm. And like, I feel like I want to inspire people. And like, I've really inspired people as it is. Like I've had people say when they felt low or suicidal, they mm. listen to my music and they used to feel like, if my man's calm, obviously I'm, I'm not calm, but mm. I've struggled in jail. Like, mm -hmm, let's keep mm -hmm, it real. I've mm -hmm. been up and down, but they're thinking if my man keeps going and doing this, I can't be complaining. A lot of people have said like, they they felt like they can't complain about their situation if my man's doing his thing. He's he's in high spirits. So mm. where did you come from it. today, uh, bro? I come from the House of Parliament. Still. What, what were you doing? Like so this? basically, um, through my job, I've met up with like people from House of Lords. Um, mm. I'm quite close with a lord. Uh, his name's uh, Lord Michael Hastings. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, like we get invited to this thing every few months, every quarterly. Uh, it's like a brotherhood. People will come together. People from Freemason. different. Nah, 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 nah. Sounded like you went to a Nah, 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 nah. People from different mm -hmm. walks of life. Like, mm. some people have been jail. Some people work in a community. Some people work in prisons. Sounded like you're on the square, bro. Some people, what's the square, bro? But what is the square? I don't know. Freemason, isn't it? Oh. We don't know about they that. They tried to get me on the square. Is it? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. They might come to me when I'm about to blow. Mm. That's oh. when they come. Why for that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in music, mm. Mm -hmm. in, in music, music. yeah, I listen, off, but yeah. Um, yeah, so we yeah, like so we get invited to this thing, and um, it's basically like a networking event where we meet people from all walks of life. I met a guy today talking about he is um like the medic for football, foot, like a football team. I can't remember the exact football team, mm. medic for a football team. Another guy he's involved in F1 racing cars. Mm. Another guy's a scientist. Another guy like um he's a preacher, but he goes into Do you meet any girls. They're, they're, it's, it's a brotherhood. It's just men. It's, just, know, it's just men. That's what I'm saying. Is it it's just Mason? Men. Nah, bro. It's uh, it's actually black excellence. That's what they call it. It's black excellence. Oh, is it black excellence? Black is, excellence, is the bro. Is Hastings black? Yeah, he's black. Oh, he's, a black. Yeah, he's a black. He's a black man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone in the room is black. It's all like... And it's all boys. <laughs> <laughs> there, you know, there was a woman there. And there was another woman there. You sure she was a woman? No, 100%. But, but there was about guy, 50 men. There's about 50 men. And one woman. Yeah, but like, <laughs> this guy's just basically up. like an amazing networking event put together and everyone can like, it's, it's basically helping people for, get bigger opportunities. Here you go. About nah, Hoovering, don't try it. Nah. 
Nah, I said either. No, no, no. She was like part of a big organization mm. that were like funding, um, Chains. help fund it. Huh? Anyways, do you know what? It's a chains, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Chains. Nah, no chains, no chains. Change. Yeah, come on. But yeah. But yeah, oh, but they're, all tr- good. they're all just trying to no, that's, that's elevate. Good, it was a great event still. Mm. No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So um, what you got coming up? Coming up. Um, so at the moment, like for the first year, I was like rapping with my mask on. And the reason I was doing that is because I was struggling to like adjust and I didn't want to be bait. Mm-hmm. Like where I had all these views and like, I just knew if I'd started doing it from when I first came out by now, I'd be bait. And like, I didn't feel comfortable really just being out there. I'd just come out, like I was still a bit paranoid of like, just, I don't know, just, I see police, I'm not doing anything. I just feel a type of way because I know mm. they have the power to put man back. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what goes on, things go on. They can mm. just, just pull you back for anything. So exactly. yeah, there was a lot going on in my ma- mind, but um, where I've took the mask off now, it's opened up a lot of doors for me. Like, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, like I just like I said, I carry on like uh, raising awareness about joint enterprise, um, and just trying to make, just trying to do good, man. Trying to give back to the community, trying to help people out. Um, and I always said like, if I can really go far, not just in music, like I'm mm. not trying to just put myself in a box. I just want to be good, successful, be someone that's looked up to, like inspire young people. When I die, like I would be satisfied knowing mm. that this 12 years happened to me. But I managed to flip it because it gave me the hunger, the hunger I've got. Like people, you can't, you can't be taught this hunger. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm. where I feel so behind, mm. instead of being depressed about it, because I have been depressed. Instead mm. of being depressed, I felt like I've got to be on goal. Mm. Like I do a lot of things. I go to free events in one day, mm. and network. I put myself really out there. I just want to, I just want a good life, so I can mm. just, you know, pay back my family. Yeah, just make your test, your testimony yeah. at the end of the literally, day. Literally, man. Yeah. Sometimes when people go jail, it's God preserving them. You don't mm. even know where you, you might not that's even have saying, been in. Do you know them ones there? So 100%. just look at the, the cup um, half full. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. How did you come up with your name? Cliche. Ah, mm. uh, so basically, <laughs> the actual word cliche is, mm. or it's like it's used in a way where, oh, that's a cliche thing mm-hmm, to say. Mm-hmm, meaning mm-hmm, it's like mm-hmm. it's something that's expected. It's a mm-hmm, stereotype, mm-hmm. but. When, like I told you, when I was doing music, um, so I used to do singing when I first started. I used to do like, it wasn't even a wave, it was proper singing. It was like mm. the weekend. I can't lie, it was like the weekend. I was in a band and everything. <laughs> but like, I was singing on the wing. Mm. But then, sorry, singing in music. But then when I go back to the wing, I'm doing, I'm patterning, making yeah, my yeah, little yeah, peas. Yeah. If I got a bang out, man's banging out. So everyone used to say, you're not the stereotypical person that bangs out. You mm-hmm. don't look like the stereotypical, but then you also don't, come across as the stereotypical singer. So I was somewhere in between of two mm-hmm, different worlds. Mm-hmm, and it's mm-hmm. almost like I was doing a bit of road with my friends when I was a kid, mm-hmm. but then I'm going to a grammar school. I was like, it's like split personalities. So I was like the opposite to a cliche. I wasn't a cliche. Mm-hmm. Sounds dumb, but mm-hmm. it just made sense. Like I'm not a cliche, so I call myself cliche. Mm-hmm. And then I just ran with it. Everyone was like, what kind of name is that? Because everyone mm-hmm. has these greasy names. Yeah. You don't spell, spell it like how you spell cliche. No, nah, no. Nah. I spell it differently, differently for a reason because a man said if you spell it like a real word, mm-hmm. when they type your name in, the real word comes, comes up, obviously. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you type a cliche, only me comes you up. Come up. Only comes up, yeah. Lit. But yeah, that's, that's cliche, yeah. yeah. Have you got any, are you singing in your new project? Um, I'm going to do, some do like more. Do, yeah, I've, I've yeah. done one, but I'm going to do more. And I just felt like it didn't make sense me singing when I just came out of jail, like, cause when I say singing, like, I thought I can do happy tunes, I can do like, you get me, the young Bainey kind of mm-hmm, wave kind of, mm-hmm. you know, all of that, like, but yeah, I just feel like now's the time where I can write, like, remember I just come out of jail, like, what mm-hmm. am I rapping about? What am I, t- I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I say I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm chatting, innit? Like, mm. a lot of men lie, but I'm not trying to lie, I can't lie, like, I kept it real from the jump, I've put my emotions on the line, I've told man, mm-hmm. when this happened, I cried in jail, when this happened, mm-hmm. I was depressed, mm-hmm. I don't lie, so, I needed to live for a year, so the new music man's gonna come with, it will make sense because man's lived it now. I've actually mm. experienced these things. So yeah, that's the, it's growth in my music as well as my maturity, and yeah. That's Anything sweet. else to say? Cool. Um, yeah, the situation I was in was like, it was devastating, not only for me and my family, mm-hmm. it's obviously devastating for the, you know, the family mm-hmm. of the victim. The young person lost his life basically for no reason. Um, it's a very sad thing that happened, but yeah, um, just condolences to the family, and yeah, just, I am remorseful in it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like, even when I went for parole, mm-hmm. I said to you earlier, like, mm-hmm. sometimes you don't realise what you're thinking until you have to explain it, 
Mm-hmm. And even when I explained it to the parole, like, it blew my head off because I've never said it out loud and mm-hmm. saying it to strangers mm-hmm. made it even worse. I was like, wow, it was like a, a mad epiphany moment mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I just hope like now... If they could find it in their heart to forgive you, you'd be grateful. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And like I say, I'm a changed person and like trying to do good for the yeah, youth you now. Age, little, you know was, saying, you yeah. young, you was young, you was a kid. Mm. I, think, I think second chances are... Mm-hmm. Um, you need to give um, kids second chances unless they're mm-hmm. like on Nazi shit. You know what I mean? Like James Bulger and them people, they can't get second chances because mm. they've done madness to kids. Mm. You only get one chance with that. Mm. But other stuff. You think they should get another chance? Bro, Joe is. I've had this, I've had, listen, I've had this convo that? in jail, yeah. How do you feel about that? No, no, look. They were young, you know. But watch, watch. I've had this convo in jail, they were yeah. 10. Mm-hmm. But then when I say things like that, I'm told, but what about you, though? You, some people would say you shouldn't get a second chance. No, but I feel like you, why not? You you weren't the person that bored. I know, but you, you know the public. But you see some some of the people in the public like mm. they will be more for them youths than me because mm. they will say, but they were young. You know they fucked up with young? me. They be like he was in a gang. You were young. That's what they will say. They say he was mean? in a gang. Mm. He's black. Like, I know nuts, what you're saying. They were ten. I know it is nuts. It's, it's not because one. they were young. You, if it's I was young, they were young. No, it's a mad one because they were young. You'd think no, they you they need another chance type of thing because they were ten. But it's like, when I was 10, I weren't stoning no look up. Yeah. I didn't want to think. Yeah, yeah. Man I can't, can't comment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't Let's comment. No, but you get what I'm trying to say? No, but yeah, I it's a different now. type. It's, it's so a and then look, look, let's, just, let's have it right. Because they've come out and re-offended. Yeah, I know, madness. One I of them is done. He the, got the caught with thing. bear. The kiddie thing. You understand? Bear pictures of abuse because your brain's f. It's mad. That's what I'm saying. Like the parole board went mad. Yeah. They didn't. Um, mm, check them mm, proper. Mm, I'm getting mm, mad anyway because mm. how did they even get there? <sighs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I feel you. You deserve a second chance. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. To me, after hearing all of that, I do feel like you. Um, unfortunately, it was an unfortunate situation mm. that you got yourself in, mm-hmm. and obviously, and it's it's very important as well because I think there's going to be a lot of children like him. You know, mm-hmm. mm. like do you know like what I mean? Going through it. No, just in general, like yeah. even see, like how you say go gra- grammar school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember my boy goes private school. I keep saying it, mm-hmm. but them sort of kids, it's gonna like you, they get interested in other uh, shit. Do you know what I mean? Like I know it. what I'm saying. So there might be people. Do you know what I mean your age? Just for, just to think in it. Use your brain in it. All right, cool. So if you do get a call or whatever, yeah. you might want to miss that one. Or yeah, you might yeah, want. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, like, that's why I'm saying it. I just try to raise awareness. I can't. Make a man do something, but mm. you should let people need to be aware because, like I say, we all didn't know until we got arrested. Mm. It was too late by then. Because there's a lot of times where you either end up going to prison for your friend or mm. you end up getting hurt for your friend. Yeah. It's one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's for your friend, it wasn't for you. Mm. And obviously, that's just how life is, but you should, yeah, just think about it, kids and. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, no respect. Oh, big up. Love for having me, man. Both yeah, man. of you. Cream. Yeah, big up, man. Thanks <laughs> for coming. Yeah. And us. your story. What was you doing? And your story. No, come on. No, but you saw and it. Yeah, okay. What was you doing? Something. It's not finished yet. Did I say You what? know, this is a good balance, though, you know. I was saying to him, <laughs> no, it had to be you two. Yeah. He tried to say, I'm going to get a next. I said, no, man, because... No, I didn't say I'm going to get a next. Okay, you man. did, man. I said, no. I said, if... <laughs> no, 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 no. If... Yeah, that was that was yeah. good because mm-hmm. I said if the timing don't add up, mm-hmm. obviously I know it comes to a point you have to yeah. be off in it. Do you get it? Yeah, not not like that. Not gonna piss you, sir. It's gonna cause beef. No, I'm telling you, he's not just gonna be here forever. Sir, sir. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? nah, that's what I meant. Yeah. But I said, nah, I needed. It's a it's a good yeah. balance. It's different. Thank you. There's gonna like be it. a point no, where she's gonna have to push it out. And I'm saying at that point, you might might just be me and Krennic or me and someone else. No, but I'm just making. Who's that? Who's that? That skin you? No, Krennic's funny, man. He's funny. If I see him, I probably know him. Just yeah. different. I'll just say, or it might could be me and Pabs. It could be uh, did, Saskia wants to come back. <laughs> mm. Big up Saskia. We didn't big even up pick Saskia. up Saskia. Yeah, we did. Did we? No. But Not on this <laughs> on this episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, Cream, now you're off your phone. Can you wish our guests yeah, say I some do. good stuff about our guests? No, I have. Like I literally, I like you're, you sound like you're going through a transition, which yeah. is good to see. Do you get me? And you're not making your, your situation like define you. Do you mm-hmm. get me? It sounds like 
it sounds like you went through that. Mm -hmm. You've realised why you, you know, yeah. do you know what I mean? You've taken accountability and you're moving on. I can see good things for you. Oh, and I hope that, you. you know what I mean? That we just hear good things from here on out. Do you know what I mean? Wish you all the best with your music. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, bigger hustler for mm. the link as well, man. Didn't even mm. know she had an 18 year old baby father, but. <laughs> Crazy. What? <laughs> I didn't know she had an 18 year old baby mm. father. Not the, uh, the girl what gave me the link to him. Oh, 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 oh. I've known her for a bit, but I didn't know. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, big she's big like 30 something. Here you look how the business. I just shot the people's right business. You are too much. You are too much. It's cliche that told me. Oh, for real. Yeah, yeah, I I oh no, God, he's capping. No he's capping. Oh my. Oh, he's I told you about the, the magnums. Anyway, mm -hmm. at least I didn't give mm -hmm. out the gum. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, yeah, anyway. Calm down. Find us. It was a joke. Yeah. It was a joke, innit? You yeah. didn't really mean it, did you? He's not really it's crazy. Anyway, I'm going mad. <laughs> really the most. The Where most. can they find us? Oh, yeah. It's not really yeah. the most yet. No. Follow the Queen. Ice she, cream, the poster girl find us? on Instagram. This is what she's there for. Yeah, look, you Go spoke tell, over it. You've got to say it again. Tell Sorry? Him, tell him, you want to tell them where can they find you? Where can they find you? She wants to make sure... Where can they find you, Cream? I scream the poster girl on Instagram. You already know the vibes. Follow my business page, poster girl yeah. underscore lashes. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on... No, actually, I'm going to make a new Twitter. But follow me on YouTube and everywhere else. You TikTok keep and saying you're going to make a new Twitter. It's I not am. hard. You can do it in less than five minutes. I know. Follow our, guests, our special guest. Yeah, um, Instagram, cliche100, C-L-E-E-S-H-A-Y, 100. Come underneath, we're TikTok, cliche1, just mm. one. Yeah, YouTube, cliche music, man. Go follow him. Follow me at young underscore spray underscore official on Instagram. Follow the page at RTM Podcast Show on Instagram. Clothing at RTM Clothing Original on Instagram. Follow me at young underscore spray on Twitter. Follow the page at RTM Podcast on TikTok. Mm -hmm. com, And you lot can hit up the PayPal and the... Um, Cash up as well. Mm. It's nearly Big here. All up. Baby's Big nearly here. Mm -hmm. We need. Run it. Run it. Run it. Here we, are. we need gifts. <laughs> Drop the ring. Baby's nearly here. We need gifts. Yeah. She's gonna be on maternity all leave and bear madness. <laughs> she's gonna want money while she's on leave. We need donations. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? It's a bomb. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah no. Nah. Yeah. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. Respect. Thank man. you, man. Mm -hmm. Both of you. This is the right. Yeah, yeah. This is you know right this is the one. first one. This really? is the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because he's got a good story. Yeah, so he has, he has. See what I mean? The yeah. first one. His story's out there. So like, you get what I'm saying? I did one, but it's getting aired after. Like this mm -hmm. one, this is the first mm -hmm. one airing. Do you get it? So. And this is, I know Melon didn't give you much time. I know that. I'll, I'll, here he goes. No, but I know that. No, mm. it's not here he goes. I know that. Our podcast is mental. Mm. We're but so we have long. a proper sit down. You know what Look I mean? Look how long yeah. our and podcast is. I know 100% you're not going to be, you're going to see it anyway. <laughs> the one with Melon, it won't be as long as this. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what you were saying or what, but <laughs> it's going to get edited where we don't edit her, isn't it? Okay, Do at you know all. I mean? Nah, so you're going to get the full, they're going to get all the jokes, everything. <laughs> you know, like the whole, but nah, you've got a good energy, mm -hmm, man, and, mm -hmm, and you talk mm -hmm. well. And yeah, nah, I respect it, man. Yeah. yeah Remember, you. I'm a man, I've been behind yeah, the door. No, you know, no, 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 mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been behind the door, so I, I know. It's not nice. I respect it, fam. Nice you get what I'm story. saying? For a man, you've gone and you've got your head down, you've got well, 12 bullets, there's a lot of bullets in that. You understand? So, I respect, man. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, you kids, try and learn from his mistakes. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just, Definitely. do you know what I mean? Don't, make, um, don't yeah, be too fast. Yeah, yeah to your decisions as well. Mad decisions, because mm -hmm. choices. Positioning. Positioning. Is key. Is key. Yeah. Do you understand? Definitely. Once you make, your choice you gotta live with that choice mm -hmm. so, yeah. learn to, to um ask for discernment so you can kind of know when you're not supposed to be somewhere when you know you're not meant to be there don't you're not meant to be there mm -hmm. do you understand what i'm saying move correctly really the most <laughs> car you're going mad really the most <laughs>